You can get my water bottle. Afternoon. Mm. Look, I kept my bracelet that Jamie gave me. It says Jan Jan. Oops. It says Jan Jan. Jamie made me a um a candy bracelet. And it says Jan Jan on it. I'm gonna treasure it forever. <laughs> no, no, not Natch Natch. Hello! Really awesome. I missed you guys. Um Tufel, thank you so much for the tier three. And the 46 months welcome back. Thank you. Yeah, I am. Um, I'm starting to do my makeup a little bit differently. Like I smoke my under eye now. Ever because I did it at the um for the rave, and then I was like, wait, I really like how this looks. I want to do it all the time. So now I'm gonna do it all the time. Cause I just really like it. <laughs> Hello! My weekend was amazing. It was such a treat um, to end off um, or start off August, end off July. It was really, really great. Thank you. I'm getting used to um, doing it though. I, I keep poking my eye with the brush, so <laughs> my eyes kind of hurt, but I really like how it looks. Oh, thank you. No, it was it was um, a great treat. Um, I was only gone for two days, or technically a day and a half. Like, we left the night, like, on Saturday. And then I just came back. I came back this morning. And I ate, had a nap, had a meeting, and now I'm here. Hello! Ah, oh, thank you! Well, okay, I didn't, like, buy, um, rave, rave outfits. I just kind of, like, put together some edgy, uh, pieces. Oh my god, is my mm, PC okay? Oh! My monitor, I think I kicked my monitor. Hold on. It should be okay. I kicked it, so it's kind of like, yeah. Yeah, I'm watching Master Chef today. Sorry, I'm just um talking for the first like five minutes of the stream just so people can like come in to the stream so they don't miss like Master Chef and stuff. Um, yeah, I froze for a second. It was weird, right? Oh, I haven't turned on my PC since then, so I don't know. Hello. Thank you. Seek Night 12. They were the eight months. Welcome back to Tito Army. When you're happy, I'm happy. Thank you. What episode are we on? We are on an episode 14. So we're probably going to finish season four today. Season four has uh, one, two. Well, I'm on 14. So I have to watch 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, twelve episodes. That's a this lot. I'm gonna Mars try Mars. to finish it. Um, blockification. Thing with the three months. Welcome back, Jen Morrison. Thing with the six months. Welcome back, Cardia. Eight. Thing with the nine months. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Um, yeah. I I haven't like. Hello. Jody and Sydney and Jamie all like go out a lot and have a good time and like really live life. And um, it's been Hello. really fun. Like they brought me to the fair and that was really fun for a day. And then um, this weekend was really fun. So they're just really fun to be around. Hi. Furious, thank you for the 10 months. Welcome back to Tito Army. When you're happy, I'm happy. Yeah, it was really fun to play with makeup and I get I got to like dress up and stuff. Uh, Dozer52, thank you the 100 bits. Thank you. Glad you're back. Hard this Summer was so fun this weekend. Got to ask what were your, some of your favorite artists to watch. So I just followed everyone around. Um, on day one, I loved Hello. Jaws. I think J-A-W-S is my first time seeing him, but he was so cool. Um, I really, really liked his music. Like, it made my body move, you know. And then, um, 
And then Hello. Dylan Francis was so good. Ikali was so good. Um, Bluish, thank you for the five months. Welcome back. Dorenzo, thank you for the three months. Hello. Welcome back. Dark Lord Omega, thank you for the 38 months. Welcome back. Um, oh, it's J A U Z. Yeah, I mean, it was my first time hearing him. He was so good. Like, he was amazing. Like, I was like, holy crap. Like, okay, because, like, <clears throat> um, there is some electronic music that I can't dance to. Like, sometimes it's too, like, wah, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and I'm just like, uh, what do I do? But, like, I like the, um, the artists that, like, add in songs you know and then have, like, a really fun drop, I guess. Like, I don't, I don't know how to dance to, like, the crazy, like, wub wub stuff. But, yeah. So, dubstep? No, I think it's called, like, I don't know. I don't know what it's called. Maybe it is dubstep, but it doesn't sound like it either. It was like a lot of bass. Hard style. I think it's hard style. I know really, I, I can't get into hard style yet. Just jump up and down. No, no, no. Like, you can't. <laughs> it's just a lot of bass. You like healthy. Yeah, that's what going outside looks like. <laughs> Oh my Hello. god, everyone is so beautiful. I'm like, everyone is so beautiful. Oh, there are so many people, by the way. My my group and I, we went through two Hello. hand sanitizers. <laughs> Kin Lee, thing with the prime. Brandy, me, thing with the two months. Welcome back. I'm surprised I have my voice because I was like, wow. Yeah. I like let loose a little. I did! I touched grass! I really did. I mean, it was probably fake grass that I was on, but I still touched it. Ba -na -na -na. Ba -na -ma -na -ma -ma. Yeah, I don't know how to shuffle. I don't know how. I want to learn. Can you guys teach me? Can you guys teach me how to shuffle? This John, really John and David know how to shuffle, right? and then I try, and it was embarrassing. Wow, your head's on fire. Thank you for the five months. Welcome back. Thank you. No, I didn't go to Lola. I went to Hard Summer. It was really fun. I had a really good time, but you know what? I missed you guys so much. Like, I'm really happy that it was, like, a two-day thing, because, like, I think... If I do go to EDC this year, I think they pushed it back to October. Like, a lot of people are saying they're going to go, so I might go to that. But if I do, I'm probably only go for two days because three days is a lot. Like, I'm really happy to be home today. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I definitely think, like, taking a break and, like, living life, like, going outdoors and seeing people. And I met some fans and it was sweet. It's just very um, exciting and motivating. Like, I get super inspired to come back and stream a bit. And it, may, it like helps me appreciate everything more. So, yeah. Anyways, I just, just know I love you guys so much. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Like, I think about you guys all the time. Like, when I'm outside and I don't stream, I'm just like... The distance, or is it absence? Distance makes the heart grow fonder or something? I don't know. It really is with you guys. Like, I love streaming. I love my community. I love you guys. Holy fuck. Yeah, I got to experience life. I think it was my first ever big event um, since COVID. So, and I, I definitely um, did my best to stay safe. Maybe I should go make like an emergency just in case, but so far no symptoms of anything. I don't know. I mean, like I know there's a variant, so I'm pretty paranoid, but I, this because I'm paranoid, I like wore my mask bro. as much as I could. The only time I took it off was to catch my breath because my streamer body, I couldn't, I couldn't breathe through. It was so hot there. I am bold, same the 38 months. Welcome Hello. back. Thank you. Davey, three, they were the 14 months. Welcome back. Thank you. And you guys, I love you guys so much. Um, we to the um, on my Discord, you could maybe find a link to where the Master Chef vods are being uploaded. We're just being cautious and deleting the vods just to stay safe. 
Um, so far, I haven't been striked, but I don't ever want it to like come back years later and be like, you, it, it's like 2035, you know, the year 2035. And then like, you know, all of a sudden Gordon Ramsay or whatever, they're like, they're like broke or something and they want to come sue me or come for my ass. And they're like, back then in 2021, you watched our stuff. So I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. No, it happens. It happens. You guys are laughing, but it happens. I got, I have oh, no. one strike and I got striked because I listened to like In the Club by 50 Cent. That's my strike in 2013 or 2015. I don't know, like years ago, you know? I'm like, really? That was so long ago. Fine. It was mean. Whatever. Um, Lego DJ thirteen, thank you for the eleven months. Bro. Welcome back, Gucci Batman. Thank you for the forty-one months. Welcome back, Zen Bound. Thank you for the eight months. Welcome back. Sorry, I'm yapping so much. I really did miss you guys a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> um, Master Chef today. We're watching Master Chef. Sorry, we will, we will. Okay, hmm. I talk a lot. <clears throat> Do straight. Yes. So there's a new um, part of the TOS. The new thing is that like your strikes get removed if you are like a good um, streamer. Like you are doing, you're like not breaking the TOS. Then they're like, okay, you know what? Like this person has been following the rules ever since then. So we're going to take out their strike. I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't think I'm gonna get my strike taken out because I've been watching Master Chef. But yeah. After that, we'll work on it. Yeah, I've never I never wanna take this uh, Jamie um Jamie made this and she did the like this. Oh, I forgot it already, but I just followed her. But it was like this, this, and then she, it was really cute. I almost teared up because I was like, holy fuck. My life was amazing. The plur, it's called plur. Okay. It was really cute. It was really wholesome. Okay. Feel sore? Oh my god. My streamer body. Okay, another thing is I'm really motivated to... <clears throat> Well, I don't know how long this motivation will last, but I'm motivated to get better stamina. Um, see, but I'm not going to go to the gym today because I'm too tired. But maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. It's, yeah, I need to do more cardio, but I hate cardio. Like, honestly, dancing is like the most fun cardio for me. I hate just mindlessly like jump roping or running on a treadmill or even walking. Like I'm just like, I need it to be fun. Boxing? Yeah, maybe. I don't know how to box though. Maybe. We'll see. Get a bike. Okay. So my mom loves biking. My mom is actually like, um, she's into fitness. She's like really healthy. My mom is 65. She's really old, but looks so young. Um... Hopefully I age like her. Um, and she has like those biking thingies. And I don't know how she does it. Because she can. She literally does it like for an hour a day. Like every single day she does it for an hour. And like whenever I try it like hurts my bum this bum. And like between bars, stuff. And I'm just like it's just so bony to sit on. Like, how do you Hello. do it? It's just so uncomfortable. Like, I hate sitting on it. Okay, dog, 1903. Thank you the eight months. Welcome back. Sting, 2458. Thank you the prime. Thank you. You can get biker shorts. They, they have the padding for it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Oh no no no. Um it's not the spinning one. It's the um the other one that's not the spinning one. But yeah. 
Rowing machines are the best. Oh, yeah. I used to use those when I used to work out this with Cyan. Really it's fun. Oh, my God. Okay, if you're here for MasterChef, I'm so sorry. I will watch MasterChef today, but I just want to take a little bit more time to talk. I this just... This is Luminosity X Choco Bars, bro. <laughs> I just want to talk to people. <laughs> Uh, Sarah six eight seven three the seven months welcome Hello. back. Az Nada three the six months welcome back. Fake engineer three the prime. Thank you. Thanks guys. <laughs> I missed you guys. Hello. Uh, Grinani, thank you for the prime. Architone three the twenty nine months welcome back. Thank you. Yeah. Um, my weekend was Hello. amazing. It was amazing, and I didn't feel anxious. Or guilty for not streaming. Like, this is I think I planned my bro. month so well. Like, I I stream. I made sure to like stream a lot, and then I took the two days off at the end of the this month, and I just felt like I deserve bar, this. Bro. And I just, I just went crazy with the dancing, <laughs> and I just feel healthy. I got some sun on my skin. Hello. Um. Yeah, I'm never, COVID, I'm never taking outdoor life for granted ever again. Like pre-COVID, old Jan Jan would be like, oh no, I'm going to stay home. Like I'd rather stay home. But ever since COVID, I'm just like, life is too short. I'm going to go experience things. Would I go to hard summer again though? I don't know. Like I really... <clears throat> I don't think I would like do it again, but I do love going to different bro. places. Like I've never been to that before. I've been to Escape and Countdown. I'm not going to go to those as well. Like I just like experiencing those raves like once and then I'm like, okay, I at least got to experience it. Uh, Mira Beth Rose, thank you for the three months. Welcome back. Neo Guri Guri, thank you for subbing three months in advance. Thank you. <clears throat> This is Luminosity X Choco Bars, bro. Oh, I love you so much, Ray. Thank you for the 39 months. Welcome back. Ray, you were so missed. I miss you so much. Can we plan to hang out soon? Oh, Ray and I are playing Valorant this Wednesday with Ryan, Wendy, and Peter. That's our squad. Wednesday at 12 p.m. But I want to see Ray in person. Guys, did you see Ray's hair in a freaking slicked back ponytail? Oh, hot mama. Ray is so attractive. Ray, you are so attractive. Literally, you are so attractive. Like, Miss USA, hello? Miss Worldwide, hello? I don't know what it's called. But like Ray is like worldwide beauty. Like her beauty is beautiful in every country. Does that make sense? Like every country has their own standard of beauty. And I feel like Ray is beautiful in every single country. Like she hits those standards. Oh, it's called Miss Universe. Mr. <laughs> Mrs. Worldwide. Da 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 Oh my god, I literally mixed up Pipple and <laughs> Mrs. Worldwide. That's so funny. <laughs> That's so funny. My bad. I was thinking, okay. I don't know why I thought that was it's Mrs. Worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh my God, Ray. You need to get sponsored or have an affiliate code because I love this. I rebuy it. Like, okay, on Amazon, it has the like subscription thing. I have it subscribed. It's subscribed for me. That's how much I love it. Like, I'm committed to this. I love this stuff. This is amazing. Chat, like, it's not sponsored. But I, yeah, I bought these because of Ray. And they are the most... Uh, they even help me with my bowel movements, I think. Like, my bowel movements feel nice after it. What is it? Well, okay, so it's an energy drink, but it's not, like, 
Hello. Not. It's caffeine from like a plant. Called Yurima Mate or something. The overshares. Well, doesn't everyone want nice poops? Like, I feel like everyone wants nice poops. This is luminosity. X um, bars, it's bro. tea caffeine. Yeah, so it's like basically tea. So you don't feel jittery. Like, I used to feel anxious a lot and like um, all over the place. Like, even nauseous where I have to end stream and I have to go lay down and like ground myself. Like this, I never, ever ever and it is delicious too and zero calories zero <clears throat> it's amazing like fizzy tea it's fizzy it's like a soda what's the plan for stream today um <clears throat> i'm gonna watch master chef today um, I have wasted 20 minutes of my stream talking to chat but i am having such a great time talking to chat I don't know why when I don't stream for two days or more than two days, I feel like I've been gone for a whole month. It really feels like that. Wasted. Well, well, I feel so bad because I know a lot of people really love Master Chef. Um, I just don't know. I just feel like I've been gone forever. <laughs> <clears throat> She's sleeping. Oh my god, Wendy. Um. When she came back, she came by and, and saw Hazel too. And it was really, really sweet. Talking to us is a waste. Well, no, no, I didn't mean it. I misspoke. Sorry, chat. Ray is so entertaining. Ray is always entertaining. Like, I can always match her energy. Like, if she wants to be all... <laughs> I will go, like, <laughs> with her. All the time. This is Luminosity Anytime. Definitely, bars, Drew. Bro. They were the 14 months. Welcome back to Tito Army. When you're happy, I'm happy. Thank you. We're barking on Wednesday. Yes. Yeah, I had so much fun. So, so much fun. No, I didn't toss my old PC. I'm going to reuse it. I'm, I want to set up a cooking, um, a cooking area for my kitchen. Because I want to stream myself cook. Because Master Chef is inspiring me to cook. Oh. Bark, bark, bark. Good. I'm so good. Yeah, like that my old PC can run and stream fine, I think. It's just that if I play video games, it can't handle it. But it can do our, like, just chatting streams, I think. Yeah, we're gonna watch Master Chef today. Yeah, I'm using my, um, the new monitor still. It is huge. Literally. I fit Discord, my alerts, um, Master Chef, Twitch chat, OBS. It's, it's amazing. Okay, so I don't know if you guys saw my setup before, but I had three monitors because I felt like I needed three monitors because I have a lot of things open. Um, this is but now with this, Bar, like bro. I can even play my video game. And have everything on. It's really cool. Dizzy B, thing for the four months. Also, it looks really um, futuristic. <laughs> I've never seen a monitor look like this. <laughs> I've never seen it. Take a picture of show, please. Um, I have like socks on my table and like grapes and an empty thing and two popcorns Hello. and a tea and um and a remote and i just don't really wanna expose everything is all <laughs> i did do a youtube video yeah i did an unboxing video <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Do you think chat's desk is clean? Okay. No, but I also feel... I don't know. Like, I feel like bars, disgusting. <laughs> I need to throw the popcorn out. 
Uh, Lubricate, thank you for gifting three months. Thank you. Um, Steve just moved, so I'm gonna let him settle in and then I'll Hello. hit him up to see when he wants to do like an IRL stream or something. Quantize him the 19 months. Welcome back to Tito Army. When you're happy, I'm happy. Thank you. Yeah, this my lead sign is custom. Bars, bro. Uh, Chaos Chat, I think for the five months. Welcome back. Um, Evil J91, thank you for the seven months. Welcome back. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Okay, I'll show you guys it. I decided, you know what? <sighs> I'm human too. Here we go. Hello. I know, I always cave. I always cave in. Okay, hold on. My webcam's kind of. Oh god. Okay, uh, I'm trying to hold it up, but this is the end of my monitor, and this is the other end. I can't move it any further. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, 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 you can't see any. Just look up, look up, look up. Oh, yeah, Hello. sorry. Hello. I, I was leaking Keone and I's <laughs> Discord messages, but it's just helpful. Yeah, it's a great monitor. I fit everything on it. <laughs> Sorry, Kyoni. <laughs> but then at least people can see all the shit Kyoni does for me. He helps me so much. <laughs> I just... <laughs> Hello. How do you play games on full screen? So I do the borderless window thingy because I always never really liked full screen anyway. And so it kind of just fits like this. Like it doesn't stretch all the way because I have tried full screen and it, it, it just like has black borders on the side. But I play normally. Like it basically fits what a normal monitor would fit in a game. Yeah, it's a it's a huge um can you show us? I showed it in my YouTube video. Yeah, I I love my monitor um and I'm I partnered up with Samsung recently too, which is really exciting. Just their monitors though, if you're asking about phone and stuff, no, I'm not sponsored by their phone and stuff. I use an iPhone. <laughs> but I am with their monitors and it is an honor. Um do you notice performance issues? No, not for me, but also um, for me as well. I have always, my eyes haven't, aren't picky, if that makes sense. Like I used to play on 60 Hertz a lot. I'm not saying this monitor is, but I feel like, I don't care that much. <laughs> Like, when I play in LAN tournaments, I feel like I do really well because I can adapt to their setup easily. And I don't know why that is. Like, I, I can, I literally play on the floor on my laptop. Like, I can adapt anywhere. And I just, like, play really well, like, consistent. So, I love playing on LAN because, like, I know other people can't play as well. Like, new mouse, new keyboard, monitor everything like they're just like it's foreign to them but for me i make it like my home really fast janet samsung ambassador i don't care well i mostly care about this monitor because it can fit so much so i it, i have more room on my table now to like <laughs> clutter it more i guess <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing. I'll feed them for the five months. Welcome back to Tato Army. When you're happy, I'm happy. Thank you. But um, yeah, my three monitors are definitely taking up a lot of room. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start watching Master Chef now. Thank you so much for talking with me for 30 minutes. Obviously, we're still going to be talking back and forth, but I love you guys. <clears throat> Does it look like it's easy to mount? Mine is like on a stand. I never really tried mounting it. Maybe I should. 
But the stand comes with like a thing where you can hide the wires. Like it has it has a a wire hiding pocket. And it's really nice. And it's like really clean in the back. <clears throat> but if you look under my table, it's not so clean. But in the back, it's very clean. <laughs> <clears throat> Your monitor has a weird orange hue to it, unless it's just me. Um, anyone else feel that way? I need to stop kicking my stuff, though. Yeah, I'm really bad at cable management. Okay, 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 okay. Let's do this. It could be my webcam. Oh God, what 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 is this? That was weird. This is Lou. Is it me or does it bar, look bro? small? No, right? Does this look fine, chat? Is this big enough? Wait, maybe I need to make my webcam big, uh, smaller. Looks fine. I I think it's my first time watching. Master Chef with my new monitor. I forget, honestly. I think this is better, though. Oh my god, where do I put chat? Okay, whatever. That's good. All right, let's begin. I'm so excited to watch. I've been craving Master Chef. Okay, let me skip. Okay, to recap, I really like. Oh no. What is her name? The blonde girl. That reminds me of like a Disney princess. We do sub mode for season four. Yes. I'm so sorry. We have to sub mode because there are some bad apples who keep trying to spoil. Jesse. Yes, I love Jesse. We love Savannah. Um, but it isn't long before the waves yeah. Wait, let me turn it up. It's quiet. It's fish tacos, for God's sake. <gasps> I just got spoiled. They're making fish tacos. Inside team challenge. Hello. Playonic, thank you for the seven months. Welcome back. Thank you. There is Joe and Gordon coming 90 miles an hour straight at us. We love Luca. The judges look pretty badass on those sea dudes. Graham? Where's Graham? Where's Graham? I see there is something looks like a buoy. <laughs> <laughs> Please God now. Is that Graham in his speedo? <laughs> oh my god. Graham takes the cake today. People at raves. Yes, Graham. Graham took it up another notch. We're gonna take a lot of pictures and I <laughs> there were so many butts in my pictures behind me. I had to like pick through it at the rim. I was like, oh, I forgot. It's <laughs> just there. Oh. <laughs> There's so many butts. <laughs> so many. Oh my god, one time I was sitting. And this guy in like a, a speedo. <laughs> this, I was sitting, you know? So like this guy walking in a speedo, like his speedo is like my eye level. And I'm like, oh! <laughs> He's like walking towards me. I'm like, oh! But I don't... I felt so like... I felt so... Like I... I tried really hard not to look, but I don't know why my eyes were... It was so hard not to! Oh, my brain! It was so hard. It was like... Oh my god. Thanks for making me drink my water. Thank you. You need to serve each server two identical, stunning tacos with one delicious sauce. Each of the yeah, they were everywhere. will vote on which fish taco they prefer. The first team to reach Hi, Danny. It's nice to meet you. Yes, I will right, raise it higher. 
Oh yeah. Good. Jesse, come over here, please. Let me turn it off and then. Here's the good Let news. me know how that is. Winning that elimination challenge, you had the best dish. So you. You Koi, thank you for pick. the sub. Welcome. And the second team pick. And the third team pick. I like where this is going. <laughs> and the fourth team Damn. pick. Damn! That's right. Basically, you now get to pick your team of all stars. Wow. Holy advantage. I like the free. The remaining cooks you don't pick will, of course, be the team you are up against. And their team captain is chosen by you as well. I am holding all the cards, and I love it. <laughs> I'm picking this person because they understand how to put flavors and spice the right amount of heat. Mm -hmm. So I think James is my number one. James, let's go. We don't mind James, uh, right? right? I feel Eddie. like... Oh, and Eddie. we don't mind Eddie, Welcome too. To appreciate it, appreciate it. James and Eddie are um, pretty chill. Right, uh, next pick. I would love Bethy to come join me. Wow. Bethy. Bethy's also chill. Now, your last pick. Wow. This is why I love player. Jesse. I want someone who's gonna have good input. Mm -hmm. Understands flavors and heat and spice as well. I'm gonna pick Natasha. Wow. Natasha, come on the blue team. <laughs> you have just handpicked your dream team. Yes. And you've left those five individuals that enter into the red team. Out of those five individuals, you now have to nominate a captain. I'm not gonna pick Jordan or Chrissy. They've already been captains, even though they weren't. Yeah, great. Lynn One got eliminated. Six. There's Luca who doesn't know tacos. That's tempting. Bree the vegetarian, or Savannah who just gets nervous and has a bad palate. All right. To Chrissy or to you, Luca? To me. Luca. Wow, Savannah. You are now the team captain of the oh. team. How do you feel? I feel great. I'm from Southern California. I'm from San Diego. She doesn't Sav realize what she's done, so. Savannah. Savannah's so sweet. She thinks that I'm going to crumble under pressure. That's not going to happen. Your one hour of prep starts now. <laughs> Off you go. Good luck, guys. The she's most she's sweet. The task for both teams is to decide which fish they will choose for their tacos and how it will be prepared. I'm thinking either um, tuna or cod. I think cod is the most forgiving of all the fish. I agree. Oh, Traditionally, you put it in a batter, you fry it, put it in the taco. Or we could do like a blackened cod with a really great seasoning. I would love fried, but it takes a lot of time. We have just 50 minutes to Let's fry. test it out. Let's, Does let's anybody know how to make a batter? I, Can anyone I, make I a batter? I can make a really good right. batter. So you're going to make a batter. We're going to okay. test it out. And then we need to make a sauce. I'm telling you, I can kill a sauce. With my philosophy as a captain oh. is to make sure that everyone agrees on everything that we do and to delegate and have a plan. She's a special ed teacher. On the batter. I want you to prep the fish. I they feel like... They can do it, you guys. That pisses me off, so we're going to kick their asses. Yeah. I feel like she's really good team leader. I don't know how you yeah. Do when I think of fish tacos, I I'm think of mahi mahi. Yeah, tender ass pieces of fish. Yeah. yeah. Yep. What we can do is just lightly sear it on both sides, and it's still it'll soak up the sauce. What kind of sauce we think? There's a bunch of pineapples over there, enough to make sauce for all of it. Do you want the sauce spicy or more on the sweet side? A little bit of heat. Yeah. Mahi mahi. I think is Lynn such was the last awesome one to fish. leave. Let's get started. There's only one sauce that I can think of that will complement it perfectly. Jamie, thank you for the 56 months. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, the blue team begins prep on the components for their mahi mahi taco. On the red team, Captain Savannah is making the slaw topping for their cod taco. Jordan, I think the cabbage tastes like nothing. Hello. Did you taste it? The cabbage? Did you salt it? Did you put any vinegar on it? No, because I don't want to overpower anything else. You got to season it with something. I put lemon juice. Savannah says she doesn't want to put anything uh -oh. on the cabbage, which I'm a little confused by. You put seasoning on it. Marco, to the 13 if months, welcome back. Thank you. Oh, no, not. Oh, my God. Why did you say that? But Savannah ah. is Southern California. She may be a school ah. teacher. That, that was horrifying. Woman, Why? <laughs> OGLC19, they were the nine months, welcome. Welcome back, Dean. No, they were the prime. Thank you. Not the finger. That's pretty unique. Oh, yeah. I mean, it really is. 
almost the, the best of the best, the all-stars. You know what was really surprising to me is her picking James first. Why did she pick James first? Because of his technical ability to deliver an amazing sauce. Mm -hmm. The key to the success of winning <laughs> this challenge is going to be in that sauce. On a scale of 1 to 10, how hot's your salsa going to turn out being? 5. I'm making it mild. With so much pressure riding on the sauce, Joe and Graham head this over to the blue team for Sleeping a taste. Sleeping Lemon 6, same of the three months. Welcome back. Thank you. No. Oh. Too spicy. No, Joe, get a big bite. Oh, no. No one's buying fish tacos for the slaw. It's the fish and the sauce that goes on it. That's what makes it key. Whoa. James is that a good or bad who? If I put out a crappy sauce, we're going to have a crappy taco. That's not like an, uh, an evolving heat. That's like a stab in the throat. Oh. OK, yeah. Master Leaping Chef's Lemon 6, same in three months. Welcome Disney back. Well, we love Luca here. Challenge. We personally Both love Luca in this stream. Tacos for 101 hungry servers. On the blue team, the judges are concerned with the heat level of James's pineapple habanero sauce. Oh, God. There's a lot riding on the sauce. It plays a huge part in the actual overall fish taco. Oh, yeah. I'm getting nervous. The sauce isn't coming together. You don't want to just overpower the taco. It's a little hotter than how I normally make it. These are pretty potent-ass habaneros. Red team, blue team, 30 minutes to go. While James tries to tame down the heat of the habanero chili. How are they going to the tame it? How do you tame down heat? His own signature sauce. I'm making a cilantro lime sauce. This sauce is going to win it for us. It's going to be fresh and it's not going to be too heavy. I the actually watched it season together, so it's, it's one, episode component. one of MasterChef Canada, salt like salt there, guys, going to bed. Cilantro lime sauce completed. It was pretty good. Is ready for red team Captain Savannah. You add to milk, her sugar. Fried cod. Alright, um, cod's ready. Alright, let's taste right. the cod. I fry this cod and it's gorgeous. I like I, mean, I like Jesse. It was, crispy, it was light. It was beautiful. Is there vinegar? Uh hot I, sauce? I put a little hot sauce. Cut the hot sauce. Oh my god. That's a lot. Chrissy made a deep fried version of the cod and we don't tell her to her face that it tastes like <gasps> it tastes like uh oh. Yo, hot sauce is way too much. This is more like a chicken fry. I think we yeah. should grill it. My fish is like so delicious. And I'm just like, you know what? Just do whatever you want to do. I think we should grill it. No, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm down. All right. With Chrissy's fried fish off the menu, Red Team Captain Savannah. I mean, it looks so good, though. Station. Savannah, you want me to start working on You seem to like everyone who we don't you like. <laughs> I'm kind of left with um, where do I put Chrissy? I'm not trying to keep Chrissy her out of it. is a little to what do we need to right, Chrissy, you want me to spicy. Charm almost burnt. And almost burnt. Natasha like is a little bit spicy too. So I'm just grilling tortillas. Um. <sighs> Honestly, yeah. just those oh, two. Sure. Money on I the dislike. Think the blue team is really going to come on strong. I think they need to fix that sauce a little bit, but I think they have a lot of talent. And uh, with Eddie at the grill, I got to go blue. Wow. Okay. Red all the way. Red all the way. Thousand percent. Mm -hmm. Sauce, pickled veg. The fish is perfect. Super moist. They blacken it. It's seasoned. All right, Chrissy, let's start assembling some. OK, we need um, gloves. Red team, 10 minutes before those surfers. Do you guys know how to serve? For food. While the red team is well under I'm scared of the water. So I don't even like going out, out too deep. Jesse, I have like those noodle thingies okay. to hang on to. Yeah, the internet. Okay. Carl Lizzo, my drizzle. Thank you for the sub. Oh my god, thank you for subbing six months in advance. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight portions. Yeah. Yeah, like I can't right, even be on a skateboard yeah, on land and I'll fall. Right Let's go, guys. Come on. Get ready. Here Scared of water? Why? What happened? Oh, we've got um, we're ready. I almost no. drowned when I was young. Seven, I went six, to like a friend's five, birthday party when four, I was like seven. Three, two, one. 
and then I almost drown. And then, um... Ever since then... <laughs> don't really like... Water. Uh, Teku theme the Prime, welcome! Oh it is the biggest mass of people all once, and we're like, I think we only have 15 tacos made. Mahi Mahi tacos we got here, guys. The Master Chef Fish Taco Challenge is underway. All right, one of you guys. <laughs> Luca, come and help us play. Yeah, it's not fun. It's okay, I'm team. here. I and remember. For their favorite, the first team to 51 votes wins. Come on, guys. Like, guys, we're gonna eat a lot faster than that. It was really scary, yeah. Grilled mahi mahi tacos with a chipotle ranch slaw and a roasted pineapple habanero sauce. The red team is serving spicy blackened cod Okay, that too. Yeah, I'm scared onions, of what the ocean cabbage, has. Lime sauce. There's a little like, a what if there's... There you go. Scary monsters. Mary, thank you for the three months. Welcome back. The thank you. Is about to wipe out. All right, guys. Hey, and, we need you. All right, hands on deck. Guys, we might run out of sauce here. All right, I've got no more tortillas. Okay. Come on, Jesse. We got Hold it. Up no, you're not getting there. Stop me. I told you to get organized. I'm getting overwhelmed. My team's getting overwhelmed. We're all stupidly working on top of each other. Guys, we're out of fish. Come on. We can't run out of fish. It's fish tacos, for God's sake. We're screwed. Guys, fish immediately. Oh, no. For today's Master Chef challenge, the red and blue teams are serving fish tacos. If you see other people out, it's usually safe. Yeah. We need more fish. True. We need more fish. Come on, guys. Please. But like, what if Come you're on, just that down. unlucky? For the and you know, there's like a surface. shark, and it's like, ooh, I'm hungry. And it's like, not this person, not this person, this person, and it's you. You know? As the blue team struggles to keep up the pace, the judges check in with the surfers to see whose tacos they prefer. I thought the blue was awesome, especially really? with the sauce. And the red? The red I'm a big fan of. So you're going to go red? I'm and going red. Blue. Yeah. All right, thanks, guys. How is everything so far? Blue, off the hook. Is it? <laughs> if you don't like the blue, I'm all about the red. It's really good. It's really good. I say red. 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 Teku, they were donating $3. Yeah. If a chinchilla or a hamster were to fight, great. who do you think it's would win? Like Aren't chinchillas hey, bigger? Are, enjoy. You're welcome. Oh, yeah, but hamsters are freaky. The they're like savages. The like, they eat each other, right? Ugh, I don't like hamsters. Thank you, guys. Things are coming together. Like, we're bouncing back. And our team taco is freaking amazing. It is so good. I'm so proud of my team. I need fish. Hamsters are scary. A miscalculation leaves them scrambling to get out their final tacos. What are we waiting on now? We're just waiting on some fish. We're pulling it up fresh for you. We need fish as soon as you can get it to us. I'll have more for you in a second. I'm so hungry and you got me waiting. I'm sorry. Luca, Aww. we got more fish. Thanks so much for waiting. Here you go. That's what I always say. Patience is the key to good food. There you you go. know it's going to be delicious because you had to wait for it, right? I like the red team because uh, the, the sauce is just just what made it. I think I like the blue teams because I really like pineapple. Seems so mahi. even. How many more I think I would like people. the green That's sauce it. more. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Guys. I appreciate it so we much. We have not loved it. Surfers, we would like you to come up and cast your vote on this surfboard. Stand in the middle and then. Go left or go right, depending on which taco you thought was the most delicious. The this first is team to reach 51. SD, my better. guy, On thank you for the nine time. months. Welcome back. Thank you so much. I actually want red team to win. I want to come out on top and show the blue team that. I think they did really well and worked well together. Oh my god, look at the way they vote. <laughs> what an interesting way. Oh. You're epic, man. So red taking an early lead. Yeah. I rule 95. Thank you for getting five subs. Thank you so much. Thank you. Red team, yet again. Red is on fire, in fuego, red hot, baby. We're looking good. Oh. 
Red team way in front. Hopefully we'll get a vote today. We are ahead by 10. Oh my votes. gosh. And I'm thinking to myself, is this possible? Yes! <laughs> it's looking like a landslide for the red team, guys. Oh my god, Savannah! <laughs> this is the first time I've been on a winning team. Oh, Chrissy, don't jinx it. Better not be red. Ooh. Woo! Woo! One for the blue! <laughs> Chrissy! <laughs> Chrissy! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no! Boom goes the dynamite. Two, three, four, ten, fifteen. Blue team are pulling it back. Why is it never like um? Getting them left and right. It's Someone always so close. Like I want to see it be like. You know, like, I just want to see someone get shit on. Like, you know, a team is just like... Yeah, I feel like it's a stage when that happens. Like, scripted? Like, that's the... That's when I know, like, okay, you guys are scripting it, right? Like, there's just no way. Like, I've never... What? What? A strong takeover by the blue team. Come on. Oh, no. Mage Crage, thank you for the prime. Thank you. What? The blue team requires one more vote to win this challenge. Dude, I cannot believe Chrissy said, oh my god, Savannah, I've never been on the winning team before. <laughs> wow. I really thought oh, Reds was well better. I could not tell you how excited I am right now. Hallelujah, no pressure test. <laughs> Red team, you have lost the challenge. Oh my god, Chris. The dreaded pressure test. I am beyond <laughs> Oh my god. And watching them celebrate, I just want to put my head under the sand. Oh. <laughs> Dude, we marked our answers off. We did amazing. We did everything we could. Hey, win with dignity, lose with dignity. You did good today, Savannah. Thanks, you guys did a great job. We had some of the best teamwork I've seen out of any challenge. Exactly. For sure. Everything on our taco was amazing. It was. I've never been on a winning team. Ever. I know. Not once. I know. I don't think that's something test. you want to team. say, Chrissy. <laughs> I have the potential to be I feel like at this team, point I, am, I would not want to break that like I just I wouldn't want to complain about it out loud like I just, just, just... <laughs> It's a common denominator at this point yeah down, Thanks for making me drink my water gore please I don't think I deserve to be here I've already been in four pressure tests I'm tired of pressure tests Yesterday, you all cooked for 101 surfers. Jesse, your team won and are now safe from elimination. But you and your team have also won something else. Please, take one. Jazz, awesome. thanks for making me trick my water. Loving it. Nice. So you're probably wondering why you're standing there wearing your hometown's baseball team jerseys, right? Yeah. Next Tuesday night, there's a very special Thank game you. live here on Fox. The 2013 Major League Baseball All-Star Game. For winning yesterday's challenge, you guys will be watching it with me at City Field in New York. Wow. You like baseball, Luca? I don't think nobody here loves baseball more than me. Oh, Luca. I'm the baseball fan out of this group. I love the Yankees, Aww. my hometown, the All-Star Game, and I'm not invited. This is like a knife in my heart. I the want Luca to have the world. Thank you. <laughs> He's really precious. Oh. Yeah, I feel so sad for him. Let's go to the All-Star Baseball Game. Seems kind of appropriate. <laughs> Unfortunately for Savannah and the Red Team, the surf proved too big for you to handle. Savannah. Name me the weakest performer of your team yesterday. Oh. I delegated tasks and everybody completed the tasks that were given to them. Name me the weakest. Chrissy. Bree, oh. weakest performer. Chrissy. Chrissy, why? In terms of her compared to everyone else, 
she was literally heating up tortillas. That's the only job I was given. At least one of you will be leaving this competition tonight. But not all five of you are going to have to compete. You lost as a team, so you'll decide as a team one person who will not be participating in tonight's pressure test. You will all go into the wine room for five minutes. And when you return, tell us who you're saving from the pressure test. Oh, my god. Off you go. This could be very, very bad. There's a little bit too much tension between us, and it would not be healthy for I like anything. Luca and Savannah the most out of them. In the moment, we all agreed on everything. But the minute we get in front of them, everybody's tune changes. That's the truth. Yeah, like so I was the worst so on the team. It's not, you, can't, you can't take it personally like that. No, no way. Not. Three times I told you that I didn't think it was a good idea to see No, you them. didn't. I said, maybe we should put the tortillas on the grill. And you were like, oh, OK. How did and I tell you to sudden, cook them, though? You told me to, you didn't tell me to cook them. I said to cook them almost burnt. No, you did yes, not. Did. You said, don't burn them, or we won't be able no, to them. No, I didn't them. say that. It's what you me. said. I said, almost burnt. burnt. Oh, Savannah, <laughs> you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Savannah, don't like Quincy. What is wrong with her? No, dude, I'm so sick and tired of you bitching about everything. And here you oh! are coming in like, oh, you guys, oh! such a bad team. Oh! You too, who are you? Oh, oh let's you fucking go! Oh, 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 yeah. Good. I fucking you drama! Oh my god, Bree! Okay, Bree! Then I hope you go home. Oh, Bree! You need to watch the language. Oh my god! So who do we think should be saved? Jordan. Yeah, I think Jordan. Damn! Bree right. stood right. up for Savannah! Come out! I think Chrissy's just a bully. I think that she's insecure, and I think that she secretly knows that I Okay, I mean, like, pop now, off, bestie. I love Bree. Please step forward. I love to see it. Jordan, head upstairs. Thank you. Good luck, you guys. I'm safe right now. Rightfully so. I deserve it. I'm looking down on these people fighting for their life. Tonight, for this pressure test, the four of you will have to cook a stunning Chicken breast. The art to cooking a perfect chicken breast can never be underestimated. Simply sauteed. The skin is crisp, basted in butter, and incredibly moist in the That center. looks perfect. You have 40 minutes to cook a Holy stunning, moly. delicious chicken breast. This is not a big pressure test. Chicken breast, 40 minutes? Easy. One second, Gordon. When I think of chicken, I think it's something completely different. Oh. Southern fried chicken. Oh, Crisp, yeah. Perfectly oh. seasoned on the yeah, outside. Yeah, 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 yeah. Juicy on the inside. Tonight, I want my chicken <sighs> southern fried. Southern, southern fried, fried chicken. Both these guys are wrong. So I like my good. Chicken stuffed with beautiful mozzarella and delicious prosciutto di parma. I've never had that, but that looks bomb. Sauteed for me, fried for Graham. And okay, the fried chicken's joke. so and good. Okay, yes, Korean fried minutes. chicken above so, all chickens, now, and then southern fried. Southern when fried. You, it will be your last 40 That's like my list. In the biggest culinary competition in the country. Make your way to your stations. Let's I've go. always wanted to have like stuffed chicken though, with like the On your cheese stations, you will find or whatever the heck was in it. To cook is southern just deep fried? Yeah, but like the seasoning is ways. like has the paprika say, Cajun kind of taste to it. Better hold on to your knives because this bitch is coming for you. Like I don't think KFC is southern fried. I think. I think. I don't know, it could be wrong. I'm a little nervous. I am a vegetarian. I have never cooked chicken before, and I'm just gonna trust in myself that I can do this. I'm doing great. I never made fried chicken, but I always feel I survive. One thing I don't cook is fried chicken. I mean, I just made it to the top 10. I can't go home now. This is nothing for me. Luca's never made fried chicken. Savannah's never made fried chicken, and Brie doesn't know what the she's doing. This is crazy to have 40 minutes and get all this done. Gordon, your sauteed chicken. What is the secret of it? Not cooking it too fast. Center takes time. 
Graham, the secret behind fried chicken is what? I mean, you need a gorgeous crust. So you need to soak it in buttermilk, have it spiced up, a little hot sauce, mm. salt, and then... It's the seasoning for flour, southern fried chicken. That is my favorite. The seasoning, because so I love oh, spice. Complex because and when it when the skin is like and make a sauce. so seasoned. Fuck yes. I'm all right. Who's leaving the competition? She needs to go home. Chrissy. Yeah, we are all sick and tired of her. <laughs> is that right, everybody? Oh! Yep. Public enemy number one. Everyone is so sick and tired of Chrissy. Yikes. Chrissy. Yo. Which of these three preparations are you most comfortable with? I'm comfortable with all of them. Okay. None of them really scare me. What was going on in that wine room? Savannah didn't want to take responsibility for herself. All of a sudden, I was the worst one on the team yesterday. So she was trying to blame you? I, I know what they're doing. This is a chance for you to knock one of them out of here. Absolutely. Good luck. Thank you. What's a vegetarian going to season fried chicken with? Tofu? Marie, you're a vegetarian. Are you comfortable with this fried chicken? Um, well... <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna find out. So you're relying purely on instincts now, aren't you? Completely. 20 minutes to keep yourself in this competition. Good luck. Thank you. I hope Bree does well. Smell like... Yes, Chef. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I could Which feel... Like her standing up for sure Savannah right and like talking back to Chrissy was like self-care for her, yeah, you know? So like, it must no. have been very therapeutic. Uh, I'm gonna start it right now. We've now got exactly 10 minutes to go. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Reese is doing horrible. She hasn't even put her chicken in the deep fryer yet. Please, you bastard. You gotta go, Bree. Time is about up, and my fried chicken is not fried, and it's sitting in a bowl of flour. I feel like I'm completely screwed right now. You yeah, got this! seconds to go. Come on. Tonight's pressure test is all about chicken. Saute, yeah, I used to like Chrissy, but then, ten, you know, nine, she's eight, one of those types of people seven, where when you get six, to know them five, more, five, you dislike three, them more, and that's three, kind of what happened. <laughs> Her true colors really came out. <laughs> and, I was, and I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm Fuck. nervous no. and hope that I can take Chrissy down. Her actions are completely unforgivable. If I lose a chicken challenge to a vegetarian, I might as well just give up cooking. I cannot stand her. She is the epitome of the girls that I used to beat up in high school. I hate her. Right. Why so would I'm you admit just explain how you beating chicken, up please. girls so in high skin, school? She's like literally skin, saying she was a bully. Growing up. Looks nice and moist. So the problem is I've got this raw fat there. The skin tastes fatty, and underneath this just tastes like it's poached. He literally you know, admitted to being a school down, bully. Oh, what a shame. Um, oh my god. Well, it doesn't taste of a beautifully sauteed chicken. Unfortunately, you didn't nail it. Thank you. Hi. Where's the, the crunchy exterior? I don't know how to make a batter, so I just winged it. Oh no, I it's raw. It's cooked. It's bad. I'm gonna try just the outside here. It really lacks seasoning. It's like balking at me, you know, with, with how under it is. Oh. So, Gordon's was bland, Graham's is, is raw. What are we gonna get from Mars, Siren, thank you for the two months. Welcome back. <laughs> yo, you sound sick to say, yo, Chicken Chrissy, what the cooked. fuck? <laughs> yeah. The stuffing's actually quite good. The Ooh. sauce is a little goopy. I like to see the sauce a little bit lighter, more acidic. This was very buttery and thick. By far the best of the three, but Joe, not so much. you mean bright. Right, Chrissy. Joe only uses we the word bright in finale. She's like a bulldog. She's just getting in everybody's nerves. Wait, I really like bulldogs. Nice to see. That's not Someone a good comparison. Well. 
Bulldogs are really cute. So slight issue straight away, visually, you can see. Slightly pink there. Seasoning, nice. I like that fresh cracked pepper on there. Beautiful when something's so simply done like that. But you can just see that slight. Bulldogs are lightness, so fucking but not cute. Not a bad job. Thank you. This is Luminosity X Choco Bar. Ninja V1, theme of right, the 40 so months. Welcome back. Chicken. Thank you. How often do you cook this? A lot. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. You can hear that crisp shell. Listen to that crunch. Oh. And that's it. It does sound it's good. good. All I'll give you that, Chrissy. That shit looks good. Great fried chicken. Good job. Oh, conflicted. Chrissy. My stomach goes grrr, but my Tiny brain goes. Stuff yeah. chicken. I expect this to be really good. Mimi. Then my stomach is like. Let's see what we got here. It doesn't look like a lot of stuffing to me. I thought you would have been more generous with your stuffing, Chrissy. The sauce is tart. I wish there was more. But certainly a very passable stuffed Italian chicken. Thank you. Luca. So visually, it looks overcooked. It oh. looks dry. How can you get that skin? It doesn't look dry to me. Oh my god, I'm so Luca biased. Lovely color. Season nice thing. It looks good. She's gone. Done. It looks moist. How's it going? How are you, Sean? Great. You've got a nice, crispy exterior. I'd say it's cooked 90% of the way. You can see here, slightly under. Oh. Um. Good flavor. I really like the spice you put in. Chicken's moist, obviously, on this part. Even more moist in the middle. But a valiant effort. Thanks. Luca, this should be the one, the Italian stuffed chicken. I hope so. What do you think? No, that looks home? good. He stuffed that a lot. I can see the cheese. This is a little raw too. Oh, wow. Huh? No. Am I supposed to eat this? No. After the chicken breast pressure no, test, it's Luca. being sent home, having served the judges. Raw it looked good until they opened it. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh. On top of being raw, it's not seasoned, it's stringy. Que pecado. Oh, no. Right. Brie. So you don't cook chicken. How do you know you've nailed it? I was guessing I put a thermometer in it, checking the internal temperature. First of all, you can see yours needs four more minutes. Seasoning, um, spot on. Skin could have been crispier. I looked but raw. You know, it needs four minutes minimum in the pan. It's slightly undercooked. Yes, yeah, chef. Damn. Hi, hey, chef. The batter's good. You can tell that you season aggressively. Let's see how it is in the middle. Brie. <gasps> oh, oh my god, that is like so see. raw. Raw. Th that Just is like, like raw, raw. The batter's tasty, but I can't even taste what's inside. Oh, Jesus. Damn. That was like the rawest. So, my stuffed chicken. Is this raw too, you think? I'm hoping that it's cooked. So am I. Well, it's not raw. Woohoo! The stuffing's quite good. Oh. The sauce is a little buttery. I wish it was more acidic. Okay. But it's excellent cook, I feel. Uh, for the first time since I got here, I'm genuinely nervous. Me too. Uh. All of you, this is a very, very difficult decision to make. We need a minute. 
This is Luminosity X Choco. Our League is 09. Thank you for the six months. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for liking me. Like who I am as a person. Thank you. Great. All agree. Three different preparations and just 40 minutes. That's the most unforgiving pressure test we've seen so far in this competition. Chrissy, step forward, please. I think what's become pretty obvious is that you may not be making many friends in this competition, but you're certainly wowing the judges. Great job. Continue focusing, because you're going to be hard to take down. Chrissy has a bad attitude. She's always threatening to beat people up and how she's going <laughs> to hurt them, and I'm sick of it. I just want to send her home. Please, <laughs> like, yeah, why? <laughs> why is she such a bully? I'm like, imagine just, just like threatening fault. everyone. Like, I'm go going to beat you. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> like, why? Save you remain. Ha, Porty. No, I hope you made it no, home but... safe. It was lovely seeing you. This is really tough, She's guys. so mean. She's from Philadelphia. My brother's in Philadelphia. Luca. And his wife is like from Downstairs Philadelphia. And, the rest of the and his like his wife is my my sister in law. Please. She's so sweet. The person going home and leaving. Like so so so, so sweet. You guys would love her. Ian Dolphin, thing with the two months. Welcome back. My favorite artist from Hard. This Brie. is Luminosity X Choco Bars, bro. It's not you. Make your way upstairs. <gasps> Bree made it! No, but not Savannah. Oh, no. Savannah. Savannah. You've made it into the top 10 of the best amateur cooks in this country. Um, and you should be incredibly proud. I like Jaws. I'm just happy that I had the chance. Dylan Francis. To be here. And Ikali. And, uh, I never imagined getting to this point, so I'm just grateful. Rez was good, okay, too. Thank but I was just like really tired by the time she came on, so I'm so proud of yeah. <laughs> here I've made it to the top ten. I love Savannah. It was amazing. Oh, thank you. I want people to know that you don't have to underestimate yourself or your abilities. I'm just grateful that I can say that I've done something extraordinary and uh, I'll always have this to look back on in my life. She's such a sweetheart. She has a heart of gold. Okay, I don't know her. But like, from Let's what I can tell, I can cut. She, I feel like she has a heart of gold. Okay, I drink a lot of liquids just now. Like, chat was making me drink a lot of water. I really have to go pee, so I'm gonna play some ads. I'm gonna quickly go pee. Everyone go use the restroom, get some water, get a snack. We're gonna continue once I'm back. I want to bring my phone.
It's so quiet. <laughs> oh, wait. Are we back from ads? Oh, we're not yet. <laughs> we're one minute away. <laughs> Hello! Dude, I really do need to, like, drink more water. I can tell by the color that I need more water. <laughs> Hello! Ah! <laughs> Not me oversharing everything. <laughs> uh, um, the ship, thanks for gifting the sub. Thank you. All right, 13 seconds left on the ad. Yay! Hello, <gasps> Hello hot beverage. Thank you the 26 months when you're happy. I'm happy. Thank you. Nocturna Fire, thank you the six months. Welcome back to Tito Army when you're happy. I'm happy. Thank you. Hello. Yeah, I'm, I have a pimple coming in right under my chin. Well, actually, it's leaving. Already, but yeah, I need to drink more water. Oh my god, it was really dusty. I even had a mask on majority of the time, and like, I had a lot of boogers. Hello. Thanks for making me drink my water. Asian palate didn't in the two months. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Hard summer was amazing. I just loved. Like being active and I got some sun and I got to see a lot of my friends that I haven't seen in a while. Like I got to see Porty. Porty was there. Mm hmm Everyone was just having a great time. Hard Summer is a music event, a rave. It was really fun. Alright, let's continue. Mm -hmm. I know, I'm rarely active. Let's go! I made history today. I'm the first Italian who made it in the top... No, general admission. I didn't go VIP. Walking into the MasterChef kitchen, I noticed a huge box at the front. Automatically, I'm thinking, like, it's some type of alligator, some type of big snake. At this point, I'm getting extremely nervous. Welcome back, everyone. There are just nine of you left. One of you will be America's next Master Chef. We'll see who has the edge right now in your next Mystery Box Challenge. Yeah, going your... outdoors makes me feel pretty. It's time to find out <laughs> what's under your boxes. Because I get to three, like please, really your mystery boxes. play with makeup One, and hair and outfits two, and stuff. I feel pretty. Three. Lift. And then I always come back feeling like oh, happy. Yeah. More confident. Sausage machine. Excited? And yeah, sometimes I forget. A like, oh, start feeling Hell gross yeah. about this myself. Who doesn't like sausages? I'll tell you who. Bad people. You will <laughs> use it to make your own incredible sausage with yeah. All Hard Summer was this. the first music festival back after the pandemic. So the judges lift up the giant box that they have in front of them. And it is a long line Is the video too meat. low? Oh no, Brie. And then I see that there's full vegetarian proteins there. Okay, hold on. And I'm excited now. So I just see all these different meats and I just light up because one thing that Eddie loves, Eddie loves meat, you know, I'm the meat man. <laughs> Besides this meat, you'll have use of a limited pantry full of herbs, spices, produce, and other items you can use to make your spectacular sausage dishes. You have 60 minutes to make your own homemade sausage and then feature it in one incredible entree. Your 60 minutes starts now. Good luck. Did that like say wild dogs. boar? This is a meat festival, baby. I mean, there's everything you could imagine from alligators She's vegetarian, to not boar, vegan. Brown, chunk, tons of different bacons, but I'm going straight to the king of sausage. Definitely pork today. So, sausages. 
Gordon, what would you do? I'd go for delicious pork and sage sausage with a Granny Smith apple grated finely through there oh. and serve that like a traditional bang as a match. Really? I've I never had wild boar. I do a little more veal mixed with that pork What does it fat, taste like? Roasted apple, caramelized onion, spicy mustard with it. Just keeping it very simple, kind of Midwestern style. Right, Natasha. Hi, Chef. How are you doing? Good. So what's the dish? I'm going to kind of do a play on breakfast. Mm -hmm. Two eggs, going to have like a hash with it, and then do a chicken, apple, and bacon right. sausage. So it's not forgiven. I mean, chicken, very lean, hardly any fat. It's going to go absolutely Hard. solid and yep. firm. So do, do, how are you do. balancing that up? What are you putting in there? I'm going to be adding a little bit of cheese as well, and there's some mozzarella cheese with it. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah. OK, good luck. Thank you. Yeah, Dancing Queen in Black Parade was so good. Doing a traditional sausage, one you would buy at a baseball game with hickory bacon and wild boar. Hands down, this is something that would be on the menu of a bed and breakfast if I if I end up having one one day. Good question. I don't uh, think they kind of vegetarians eat eggs, some but I think they. Some beer cheese soup. Um, the main component no, they don't. Is, uh, well on its way. Do they this eat is eggs? This is some do. Oh. Depends on the vegetarian. Three. I oh. see. So what's in the veggie sausage? It's actually seitan. I wound up not using the, the tempeh. So. La Paz Coffee. Really Thank you for the five months. I mean, you know, Welcome back. Thank you. Easier. You're not going the meat option. And, um, you know, you're making something out of the box, so. Yeah. I'm thinking that this is, this is They just don't eat one. meat. Really and I'm fish, right? They don't eat fish. my flavors to come together, so. Good luck, Brie. Thank luck. you. Vegetarians can eat eggs, but vegans can't. Oh, okay, I see. Eddie, you Thank you doing? for what educating me. I got a pork sausage going with a uh, braised cabbage, apple chutney. Here, I'm just gently poaching it. Just I have been a okay, carnivore I'm not my whole life. Just get a little crispy. That tastes delicious. But Thank to be you. fair, I've never watched yep. one of those like food documentaries, and I just know myself. I know if I ever Chris, watched yes, nice them, I would it. become. Thanks. Something. Either a vegetarian or vegan. I don't know. But I I think it would sway me. You're an omnivore. Oh, sorry. Yes, omnivore. Enough of the angry thing. I love it. I like being angry. Carnivore is just me. Oh, so like huh? keto. Yeah, What's going on out there? <laughs> yeah, I'm an omnivore. Sorry. Tashles look beautiful from here. For a chicken, chicken sausage, sausage, yeah, it's very difficult. It is, is looking incredible. Right now, for me, that man is born to grill. Honestly, he has that natural connect with protein. Chrissy's in the zone. She's going to do some very, very traditional Philly Italian flavors. Every time we give her a home style mm -hmm. challenge, she rises to the right, top. Absolutely. She's never won a Michigan. Chrissy just ever. said she likes being angry. Damn, I missed it. I'm not Just surprised though, it's really weird. You should be relaxing, garnish should be ready, you should be plating your dish. Like, what go, is wrong? Ten. About your presentation, the sausage has to be the hero. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Hands up. Let's go, guys. Come on. The sausage has to be the hero. Well, I don't eat a lot of hot dogs anymore because I watched this thing. It, like, showed you how sausages were made, and it's really gross. It's just, like, a bunch of random shit inside, I swear. It's like, oh. challenge. What the, the fuck? Now take one final I mean, I, I have eaten it, but it's like I don't dishes. go out of my way to get hot dogs anymore because of it. It was like really gross. Incredible. Yeah, it's literally Nine leftovers. Exciting <sighs> ways of cooking sausage. Incredible. There were three outstanding deliveries in terms of the sausage being the hero. <sighs> the first dish that we want to dissect, this individual smartly combined different proteins in their sausage. Same for nuggets? Okay, I didn't know it about nuggets. Spot on. Congratulations. Please step forward. I love chicken nuggets. Natasha. Chicken nuggets are like my after drinking, you know, Natasha, and then like this? you're hungry, you Basically, go to McDonald's, you get chicken nuggets. Breakfast. I did a chicken, bacon, apple, and mozzarella It's like my trunk food. My breakfast. 
I think just the simplicity and a beautiful breakfast and a sausage is a, is a way to go, and I didn't think anyone else would think of it. What else is in that sausage? So there's red chili flakes, a little bit of sriracha for some heat, oregano, rosemary. How do you stop that chicken from going dry? I just kind of watched the temperature as I was cooking it. I added the cheese in there, too, to add a little bit of moisture as well, and I did it over the pan and finished it just a couple minutes My drunk drive-thru story. That's delicious. I'm absolutely delicious. <laughs> uh, it's a posh breakfast. Really good job. Ruined my New Season Year's. <laughs> that year <you're> stuff. <laughs> I remember it too. There's nothing wrong with the leftovers. Oh, but it grosses really great. me out. Good <laughs> great flavor. Good Thank job. Thank you. For people out there who think this might have been too simple, you're wrong because it's a very smart play. Oh. The chicken's really well seasoned. Wow, Natasha getting a lot of praise. Complex flavors. The onions are delicious. And this sausage, it's a winner. Smart. Good job. Great. Thanks. Thank you. Wow. Joe saying smart so to the someone. Dish that we'd like to examine further. That's a big put compliment. By a home cook that definitely knows their way around meats and proteins. Eddie. Their dish was plated beautifully. And this person is step by step becoming a real contender for the title of MasterChef. Please step forward. Eddie. Eddie. Oh my God, I'm so five head dude. Eddie's climbing up the ladder and the judges are recognizing him day after day. My pistol's pointed at Eddie now, so when the time comes, I'll pull the trigger and we'll get rid of him. What's going on, brother? Describe to me what we have here. Pork sausage link with braised purple it. cabbage and apple chutney. I uh, use pork shoulder, bacon, brown sugar. I've never had paprika, apple chutney. Powder, a little Worcestershire sauce. I think. And I know I haven't had it because I've never read or said the word chutney before. You've got the, the meaty flavor from that pork shoulder, some spices, the sweetness from the brown sugar, earthiness from the cabbage, and then that apple that just makes it all come together. This is a stellar dish. Wow. Great job. Thank you very much. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You are starting to seriously shine because it's seasoned beautifully. It's garnished lovely. And that, for me, is the kind of dish that I could see in my gastro pub. It's wow. that delicious. Thank you very much. Thank well you. done. Thanks. Wow. Yeah, it looks beautiful. I love the, the third purple color. The final dish we want to taste is from a home cook that put together something really ambitious as far as an evolved dish is concerned. They took traditional comfort food and elevated it to really be a restaurant dish, something I could put on my menu right away. This person has never won a mystery box. Please step forward, Chrissy. I think that Chrissy is a good home cook, but because she has such a negative attitude, I don't think that Chrissy is ready at all to be a master chef. Free you and me both. Like, What's I feel like she's good. This she's just so mean. It's like so hard to be happy for her. It's like. Dude, you would pop off if you were just nice. Like, uh, literally. Polenta is delicious. The broth is an excellent idea. Very, very good. Peppers, go. classic, simple, but elevated. And I think that with this kind of plating, you're formidable. Thank you. First of all, it's nice to see you put food on a plate with finesse. And when you put food on a plate like that, it now confirms in my mind that you're taking this I don't think anyone's ever dropped the dish while walking to the front you. yet. It's delicious. Polenta, sauce, broth, uh, peppers, sausage, but it's spicy. The only thing you want to do is continue eating it. Uh, that's your best performance so far this competition. It tastes amazing. Thank you. Good job. Um, there were three stunning dishes tonight. The winner of this Mystery Box Challenge comes with a huge advantage that right now is pivotal at this stage. Only one of you can be the winner. 
You know, it seems like everybody's dish was spot on. So at this point, I really, you know, can't tell which way they're going to go. The person who will receive a huge advantage in the upcoming elimination challenge. I'm confident that my dish is going to be a winner. Hopefully, I'm going to win this mystery box for the second time. For the person who cooked the best sausage dish. <laughs> I love to win a mystery box. I gotta knock some people out. Oh, I'm so out sorry to hear that, Apollo. <sighs> Peppers give me acid reflux and diarrhea. I don't know why I'm laughing at that. Like, that's a lot of negative things that happens to your body. So, there were three stunning dishes tonight. Oh, Only no. one of you can be the winner. Yeah, I want Eddie to win this mystery box. A huge advantage in the Has he ever won one? Challenge. The person <laughs> who cooked the best sausage dish. Congratulations. No, Eddie has been really this, this unproblematic. Person, like, he is literally box. just vibing. Wait. Like, that staying in his own soup. lane. Cooking Eddie. well. Yay! Really good. Uh, so I don't are you, know. Are you ready to receive He's this just... huge advantage? Without a doubt. Let's go. Great job. Well done. He doesn't get a lot uh, of screen time, though. Good job. So I get really, I'm really paranoid that like as soon as they start giving him more Welcome. screen time, I'm like, oh my god, is he going home? Because that's what happened to Lynn. The elimination test, where at least one person will leave the competition. Under these three cloths are some of our. Oh yeah, he won the one where Joe's mom visited. True. All the time. Okay, Eddie. The first ingredient is a meat enjoyed by people all over the world. Ham. Oh yeah. Here we have beautiful Iberico ham, Serrano ham, and a spiral of cut ham. The second ingredient is wild and wonderful. It is the delicious fungus. Brie would mushroom. like that. That's right. The most amazing, incredible wild mushrooms. You have black trumpet mushrooms, maitake mushrooms, and beautiful Oregon hedgehog mushrooms. Oh my god, I've but never had those ones. The ingredient for your consideration, Eddie, is something unique. It is the most amazing. Hello. New fish player, so thank you for using your prime on me. Welcome. Tiger prawn. And then one of the most popular anywhere in the world, delicious rock shrimp. For your first advantage, you do not have to this cook in this challenge, so you oh, are Sunday. safe Sunday, thank you for the tier three so and the two months. Welcome back, thank you. You can you. choose which one of these incredible three ingredients this is your fellow competitors will have hard, to cook bro. tonight. Super 223, thank you for the two years. Happy two years, choose? thank you so much. Dark Without Water, thank you for using your prime on me. Welcome. Traditionally, mushrooms is the, are put on a plate is for a the topping show or quiet? sometimes folded into a sauce. Rarely do you see a mushroom as being the star Compared of the dish. Compared to me? So that's what's going to help me get rid of some people today. Now, not all of your fellow okay. competitors will have the opportunity to cook with these amazing, delicious wild mushrooms. You are going to force half Good. of those home cooks out there to cook instead with these canned mushrooms okay cheaper than the fresh nowhere near as glamorous and much more difficult to elevate i've never had dish. canned mushrooms so, uh, sort of i think process spam usubi one thing with the seven months welcome back thank you <laughs> yeah, not nice these compared to these i didn't seriously. know those the existed this right now is i a cannot buy this yeah wow their fate Rest yeah, I've had mushroom soup, like the Campbell mushroom soup can thingies. So you just heat it up. But I've never had, I'm like... I'm an ex-NFL player, so I came here to compete and I came here to win. In a can. I have my target on Jesse, James, it's and It's so weird. Jordan. I've taken Hello. their weaknesses and their they don't strengths look yummy. and placed the products accordingly. So I think that my strategy is going to pan out perfectly. Abomination TTV thing with the two months. Welcome back. Thank you. You did play a pivotal role in deciding what you all have to cook and at least one of you will be leaving this competition tonight okay back in the pantry eddie chose the star ingredient that you will all be cooking with tonight the most amazing mushrooms but it's not going to be that simple eddie selected that Four of you out of the eight cooking tonight will be using these amazing, exquisite, delicious selection of wild mushrooms. And the other half of you will have to cook with 
these. Oh my god. That's right. Mushrooms out of a can. <laughs> Strategically, I gotta imagine Eddie would give me canned mushrooms because I know for a fact he sees me as competition. Each and every pick, he used a lot of strategy. Eddie having a it looks so gross. I'm one of the best. I don't think I ever want to try canned, canned mushrooms. Are disgusting. No one wants to work with that. <gasps> Everybody ready? Ready? Yeah, chef. Your 60 minutes starts now. Quick, go and find out what surprise Eddie has left for you. I would only wear my ultra boost so I could run. Really? Yes. Really? I think it is so oh. sweet. Of... <laughs> I love Eddie because he gave Bree the, the, the fresh that ones. Gave me these beautiful fresh mushrooms is an advantage for me today. I'm going to dance the dance and make a little romance with these mushrooms. So, Eddie, thank you. Yeah. Wow. Jordan and James, you know, they feel safe because I gave them fresh mushrooms. But please, I want you to feel safe. I'm oh. banking on both of them just doing too much and forgetting the key factor, which is the mushrooms has to be the star Ooh. of the dish. These are beautiful ass mushrooms, so it's kind of hard to f them up. Not excited about the canned mushroom. I can't stand them, but oh well. Jesse, Mind she games. She's working on expensive yachts. Probably never even seen canned mushrooms. Definitely want to try and trip I've never with Jesse seen up. canned mushrooms either. And I don't work on expensive yachts. <laughs> I'm literally my first time ever the seeing these. Like, they're so thing, gross right? really looking. Oh, my God. Yeah, but he's going straight for his biggest. Why are they so <laughs> gross looking? Who do you think really wants out of here? I think he's having really? a competition with Jordan. By they just look fresh plastic. Very delicate, unforgiving. They look plat. They don't look would be real. Like giving him a card that he could overplay it. You know, Jordan's up. the kind of guy who could trip himself up and fall flat on his face. So I'm gonna basically do a mushroom cream sauce, and I'm gonna do mushroom ravioli. I have never cooked with canned mushrooms until now, but you know what? Like this is a competition. You're gonna be throwing whatever's given to you. So. I'm okay. Canned I'm mushrooms are the reasons I never order mushroom on pizza. Wait, do they put canned mushrooms on pizza? Bethy, how are we doing? Good. What's going on with this? I how am making doing? Sichuan. Sichuan? Sichuan with fresh wild mushrooms, homemade noodles, and I really want my the mushrooms to start. For the sauce, what are you using? I had Sichuan, lemongrass, like, ginger, pepper, garlic, and onion. Like you dominoes? Balance it with anything you have. So Pizza I Hut? In the Papa John? Any form of sugar. Really? Because those are my go to. Well, to be honest, I only get Hawaiian. Flavor that's missing. That's my one ingredient that but, I, it's killing me that I don't have. Okay. I really okay. I need sugar right now. And I'm Josh Stowe, thank you for the prime. Thank you. Just loan me just even a little. Does anybody have sugar? No. Uh oh. Sorry. I would give it Do you have sugar? James, do you have any sugar? Sugar? I yeah. don't. I'm gonna go ask people. Do you have sugar? I would give it to you if I had it, babe. I'm freaking out here. If nobody gives me sugar, I'm probably going home. Do you uh -oh. have sugar? No sugar. Ay, ay, ay. Do you have sugar? Do you have sugar? In the pantry, I forgot any form of sugar. Yeah, I'm a really? pineapple on pizza James, lover. Do you have any sugar? Sugar? I love I Hawaiian. Does anybody have sugar? I really desperately need sugar right now, and I'm hoping that someone Steve? will just me just even a little. What? Do you have sugar? Steven Septic? No. That's my one ingredient that I'm, it's killing me that I don't have. Jesse, do you have sugar? I would give it to you if I had it, babe. You know, Bethy wasn't the one that I was initially gunning for today, but at the same time, she's someone that I see that has a chance of winning. Hello. So if this is the end for her, then so be it. Want you to, thank you, you for the three months. Welcome no back, sugar. thank do you. Have sugar? sugar? Yeah. Yeah, right there. Can I use some? Yeah, yeah you're not allowed to go to the Thank pantry. You so much. I owe you big time, buddy. Bethy wanted some sugar for me, so I obliged. I'm not too threatened by her. That's not my competition. I want you to be at your game. If I want to beat you, I want to beat you with all your stuff. Okay, I feel like I would say yes, James, how too. Doing? I'm doing very well, chef. Like, I know it's a competition, a, but I feel like I wasn't raised and I'm slow cooking some to... in a brown with a couple of herbs and some onions. Do that Unless and I that person did me dirty kind of some to it. and, like, the I asked them for something and they didn't share with me, then I'd be like, He's okay, fine. For some but I feel like, yeah, I would say yes. Who's going home tonight? 
uh, probably Luca. Luca. And I think the point he's at now, he's just scraping the bottom of the barrel for something. I think I would, <laughs> it would keep me, keep me, keep me up Everybody at night if I didn't say home. yes. I got canned mushroom and I'm gonna make a mushroom soup. I don't see anything else you can do. Mushroom with soup it. sounds I delicious. I love mushroom some nice soup. Colors, some croutons. I think I'm in a good shape. But you know what the judge Would you say yes if Chrissy asked? Like. If Chrissy threatened to beat me up, then I would say no. All right, Chris. Hi, Chef. Ah, you lucky girl. No. So what are you gonna make? I am going to do an onion puree, grilled wild mushrooms. I'm roasting the beets right now with some walnut oil and goat cheese salad. Wow, onion puree? Yeah. A little bit all over the place today, Brie. Once it comes together, then you'll see it like it is in my head. What if Chrissy threatened to beat you up if I didn't give her some? Security! <laughs> all right, Jordan, you've got the fresh mushrooms. What are you making? Are you <laughs> mushroom, trumpet ravioli with uh, Gordon! Mushroom, 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 <laughs> is there such a thing? Uh, there is right now, and I wanted to bring another component with the beets. And the mushroom is definitely going to be the hero. Definitely going to be the Not going to be drowned out by the beets. Nope, a nice big portion of uh, ravioli for you guys. Good luck. Alrighty, thank you, Chef. Ray would be my bodyguard. Go, I'll never guys. forget me and Ray duo cued in Valo once. Wow, interesting. Jesse's doing a result. And so we were really like calming in game. And I was calming, and the guy in game said, Shut the fuck up, or I don't know. He said something mean. And Ray immediately was like, Fuck you. And then the guy said, Fuck you. And then Ray said, Fuck you. And then the guy said, Fuck you. And Ray said, Fuck you. And she just kept saying, Fuck you back and forth. It was so funny. I was like, I love you. She's so funny. So Ray, yeah, she's just like, no, they were going the back and forth saying fuck you for you me. It was so please. funny. The mushrooms <laughs> have got to be the star of this dish. She protects. For <laughs> 45 seconds in this competition. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Thanks for making me drink my water, by the way. I'll drink two sips. Hands in the air. Good job. Eddie. Hands in the, the air. Look at this. Don't hands, care. Please make your way down. That was a very, very tough elimination. We agreed that Eddie made some very smart decisions in positioning canned and wild mushrooms for who you want to put under pressure. OK, first up, Bethy, please. Tell me first off what you were given. I was given the fresh wild mushrooms. And what did you prepare? Um, so I did a Sichuan noodle dish with ginger, mm. garlic, toasted Sichuan peppers, and mushrooms. And I love mushrooms with um, Asian flavors. Okay. So um, I didn't think that would be a common theme tonight. So mm -hmm. I wanted to go that route. On a one to 10, what do you give this dish? That's like, uh, I'm thinking an good. eight. An eight. All right. Seems like there's a lot of noodle for the amount of mushroom. Uh oh. The first thing that hits me is this overwhelming flavor of sesame and ginger. Okay. So anything else after that I'm missing because that's all I get. Oh. Okay. It's not the star of the show. When I heard that you were doing something Asian, yeah. I was a little bit surprised, first of all, because I just don't think it's the right kind of mushroom. These mushrooms are definitely. I love my food drenched in sauce too. Or or, I you know, don't like the dry refined. taste of things. Sesame oil is all I can taste. I think that's why I like the Big Mac it's so much. You don't even know the mushrooms are there. Like if there's the not enough sauce, gone. like the Big Mac sauce is so good, and then I can also dip Bad. it in ketchup. You've got the delicious wild fresh mushrooms. Like, I need to just dip everything. When did you smell it? I was back there smelling it. <laughs> like, too much sesame oil. You've got nothing to enhance those mushrooms because everything tastes the same. Because you've just sprayed my tongue with this perfume of sesame seed oil. Bad day. Yeah, uh, someone's going home. Uh -huh. 
and it looks like you got one foot out the door. Um, I only dip my fries in ice cream if it's Wendy's. You've done an injustice um, to those mushrooms. Fries and they're um, yeah, the flurries. No, not flurries. And it looks um, like you got one foot out the door. Shoot, what are they called? Not good. I'm blanking. Frosties. Yes, I Frosties. I am feeling frantic. I'm feeling nervous. I'm feeling like I don't feel like I'm ready to go home yet. I just hope I like that dipping anything, it in that there. someone's dish is worse than mine. Natasha, let's go, please. So what were you given again? I was given the canned mushrooms. What is the dish? I've got a mushroom stuffed ravioli with the crispy pancetta. It and looks white great. Cream puree. Inside, we've got some tarragon mushrooms and a little bit of aged Greer. I think that the tarragon is a super decoy from the mushrooms. It really covers up that very um, kind of candy yeah. flavor that the mushrooms have. Oh, she dish. did well. Natasha's a really good cook. Pasta's nice, cooked beautifully. It's hard to believe there's canned mushrooms in the center. So um, I like the sort of three different ways that you've tried to enhance the flavor from a can. Puree, the sauce, and slightly pickled. It's like a $1 can elevated into like a $10 dish. So good job. Thank you. James, let's go, please. When I think of James, I think of a sauce guy. And I think it's going to be hard for James to make the mushroom the star of his dish, because that's not his MO. So what is this? It is a wild mushroom chowder. The wild mushrooms were that slow cooked in butter, really a little bit of creme fraiche with some fresh arugula in it. Bro, that looks good. It's seasoned well, but it is no. just way too heavy, what? too rich. And this dish is not. Maybe what we just need some level. rice. Some rice in that. Fuck yeah. Rice always pairs well salty, when it's. It's over extracted. Oh What's unfolding no. Here is incredible. Hello. Because Eddie, by giving you the most luxurious exotic uh, ingredients. Oh, do Druid. Thank you for the seven months. Don't recommend. Yourself. Dill Amazing. ice cream bought some accidentally and it's not good. <laughs> Thank you for letting us know. I don't think I would ever buy it anyway. Right. But I'm what really happy it's to really not get it. Mushroom risotto. Some Julian Ooh, leeks. Risotto. You've hidden those horrible flavors that come with processed canned food. The pancetta works. I like the arugula oil. There's no doubt about it. The dish tastes of a mushroom risotto. Good job. So Seriously, smart. All right, please, Luca. Hi, Luca. So tell me what we have. Cream of mushroom soup with canned mushrooms. Served with cauliflowers, croutons, carrots, and parsnip. This is the cream of mushroom. <gasps> oh! So just looking at it, it doesn't look like a soup. You know? Yeah! Um, visually, okay. it looks a little thick to me. That's really thick. Is that truffle in there? Yeah. At the end, when the croutons were, were nice and crispy, I just. <laughs> oh my God, you're right. It, oh, I can't oil. unsee it. It does look to like me, cat the puke. Soup itself. It is does. It's pretty good. It's pretty tasty. The only thing I would omit. It does would look be like cat oil. puke. Oh my God. Why, why do like cats puke that color? What is literally. Dish? It's my take on a mushroom cassoulet with crispy pan. That's literally what it looks like. A layer of eggplant, Not just hazel, beans. like Rangar and Stinky, Mimi. Pancetta, like I've all idea. seen their puke. Cover up that and it's right all right. always so looked that I mean, color. Considering what the product you had to work with, this is a pretty like impressive Like this weird gray brown color. All right, the vegetarian that was given fresh mushrooms. Let's go, Brie. Rangar's good. My parents love Rangar. Like, have? he this is, is their son. Nice. It is grilled sage wild mushrooms with a beet and goat cheese salad. Wow, beautiful. Thank you. A walk through the forest. My oh, baby. Dude, just stop with this whole save the world, yeah. friendly vegan hippie thing you got going on, because it's really pissing me off. Just cook and shut up. All right, chill out. Everything on it's really great. Jesus. The vegan goat cheese alone would be a great salad. What with just happened? Here. The peas, delicious. Better than anything is the actual mushroom, which we asked to be the star. This is one of the best things that we've seen you do. Good Thank job. Thank you so much. Thank you.
How did you cook the mushrooms? I sauteed them first with sage, and then I grilled Ooh, them Ooh, Joe keeps eating oil. it. Everything is cooked perfectly. Everything oh speaks to itself. For me, this is a dish that maybe if I went to, like, Brooklyn or, you know, some sort of <laughs> hipster neighborhood and I went to a little vegetarian restaurant, I would definitely expect to get a dish like this. This dish is fabulous. I'm impressed. Thank you. Uh, right, next up, Jordan. Yay! What is that, Jordan? Mushroom ravioli with a mushroom beet cream sauce and fried mushrooms stuffed with goat cheese and honey. You are a talented individual, and you completely overshot that one. Here's the problem. If I copied your dish and cooked it with a can, you will not identify the difference in the mushrooms. That's uh -oh. the problem I've got with this. And we're not with 20, 50, 70, 100 cooks anymore. We're down to the final nine. Damn. Ooh, Eddie did a good job giving him the fresh what ones. Giving? Fresh mushrooms. Looks like canned. You've kind of hidden Ooh. the beauty of all those mushrooms. Yeah. We we'll probably schedule a pasta making meeting with Natasha at your earliest convenience as well. All right. Eddie, what was your strategy giving Jordan the fresh mushrooms? Fresh mushrooms, you don't have to do too much to it. I thought Jordan would overthink it and try to do too much. Well, guess what? You're absolutely right. While you thought maybe he was giving Sheesh. you a bone or giving you a real treat or something that you could shine on, he played to your weaknesses. Eddie has taken the two front runners and brought them to their knees. I mean, it's kind of amazing. I mean, what are you gonna say, Jordan? Thanks for giving me fresh mushrooms. You can't. That's on you. Eddie has taken two front runners and brought them to their knees. I mean, it's kind of amazing. I think Eddie definitely is targeting me to go home. He struck gold today on his little mind game he threw at me. Well played, Eddie. This I'm gonna try to finish the season today. I uh, only right got, We've got a very tough decision five to hours of sleep Please, last night. I can't believe that the fresh so well mushrooms see. tended to trip people up more than the canned Have an energy oh, drink going. Why do you canned mushrooms? I honestly thought that you would do well either way. Yeah. I was really trying to get Jordan or James. James was way too rich. It was like a sauce. No, like I got trashed. Bethy, with a technical error, couldn't see herself going home tonight. Yeah. And that sesame seed, I've still got that taste there now. I knew it was coming. I know, who needs sweet? Because I had a ton of mushrooms on there. You couldn't taste them. That was a very tough challenge tonight. There were two standout dishes. The first dish elevated that canned mushroom in a way that we didn't expect, but showed great technical flair. Anonymous, thanks that for giving us up to sleep. It's overrated. <laughs> thanks. Natasha. Good job. <laughs> the winning dish tonight, this individual really made the mushrooms the hero. The dish of the night belongs to Brie. Congratulations. Yay, Brie! It was a vegetarian dish, and it beat out all the carnivores, and I'm really, really proud of myself. We're omnivores, Brie. You're both safe from elimination. I made the same mistake earlier. In the next challenge. We're omnivores. Now to the three worst dishes. And at least one of these three home cooks will be leaving this competition. The first of the worst took fresh mushrooms and absolutely obliterated them in a way that was almost an embarrassment. Please step forward, Jordan. The second disastrous dish was muddled, confused, overdone. Please step forward, James. I think Luca might go up. The third and final lackluster dish Step forward, Bethy. Oh, thank God. I'm sorry, Bethy. But I'm really happy, Luca. Eddie has managed to pull this because one off I really like Luca. You're right, the, the Asian dish, the Asian dish. On their ass. Wow. Okay. James, step forward. Ooh. James, you presented us with a bowl of sauce. Hazard not Spooky, thank you for the 14 months. Described. Welcome back. Thank you. Welcome back. Graham said it when tasted you're good. happy. 
but it wasn't the hero. It wasn't showing off what we gave you. James, you are not going home tonight. Fortunately for you, Bethy and Jordan's dish was somewhat weaker. Bethy has really station. pretty eyes. That the was Schwinn, horrifying. thank you for the six but months. Welcome back, thank death. you. And I think that Jordan might be going home today. He's my buddy, but better him than me. Okay, really off topic, but speaking Jordan, of eyes. Are you done? Definitely not. I just need to show Jody some strength and, uh, has really beautiful, like, Bethy, I don't even know what to lay. It's like no, hazel. Today, it's like sure. half and brown, half green. You know, I want to make you guys It's like proud. really light you know hazel at the outside and like green on the inside. And I never really noticed wow. it on stream or like I never really like. But we were taking Saturday, pictures and I was like, holy tonight. fuck, you have really beautiful eyes. The person going home. I don't know. Is. Yeah. Bethy. Yeah, they look brown on stream, but I'm like sorry. they're they're actually that like was not what we expected. Oh no, Bethy's going home. Jordan, please make your Hello. way back to your station. Bobo is taken. Thank for the seven months. Welcome uh, back. Lady, Thank this is you. Not easy for any of us. You're a talented girl. Let me tell you. Thank you. Aww. I think more than showing us in America that you can cook, you've showed us the we work like ethic Bethy. and the ability to perform on a consistent level. If I had to hire one person in this room to work in a restaurant, it would be you. Thank you. Come up here and say goodbye. Okay. Say goodbye. True. Yeah, she didn't get a lot of screen time. You know what I'm going to ask you now. Yes. So, who's going to win MasterChef? My girl, Jessie. Good night, darling. Good night. I've learned so much here. There is no way that you can leave this competition not a better cook. When contestants about the amount of effort here up, put into it. Great just job. Like, Thank you. My passion for cooking has only gotten greater. They really so loved her. Continue this journey. Like they're losing like their friend. My dream now does not that seem makes that me big. sad. I'm just like, like in reach. Wait, like, like that means like this. Bethy was a really oh, yes. sweet person, like off screen and everything. Like they probably bonded with her and stuff. Next week on Master Chef. Makes me sad. Yeah. Do you think they're gonna do another episode? I'm not sure. You have the same face every time someone is voted off. Shut up! I'm just sad. All right, I'm gonna play some ads. Everyone, go take a break. Go pee. Drink water, get a snack, buy about. I want to find my lip balm and I think I'm going to go pee too. I've been drinking a lot of liquids because when I first peed, it was like... I could tell I was dehydrated. Um, I'm going to get lip balm and pee as well. So everyone, shh, I'll be back in two minutes. Be right back. comments that it was like kind of quiet last time i'm gonna play some no copyright free music for you guys yeah okay we're back
Bye, Bin. All right, we're back. Let's start this. Thank you. Oh, it's gonna be loud, isn't it? Lip balm. I have kaffir on my lips because I put lip balm on and then I kissed Hazel a lot. Tell me if it's too loud. The eight remaining home cooks have been stranded in the wilderness for an epic team challenge that will test both their culinary creativity and resourcefulness. It's good? Okay. I have no Bethy idea went home. I am. I don't walk or hike for fun. That's not fun to me. That's like torture. <laughs> uh, I sadly morning. can thank relate. You, you. Absolute middle of nowhere. <laughs> Oh, a little louder would be good. Okay. Throughout this competition, we have seen you cook with some of the finest ingredients available anywhere <laughs> in the world. It's kind of a mood, and yeah. And you've worked in all sorts of amazing kitchens. And there's none better than the luxury of the MasterChef kitchen. <laughs> but we need you to show us that you can Ooh. cook anywhere and with anything. That's why we brought you out here. For this challenge, tomorrow, you'll be serving us a delicious gourmet dish created out of the ingredients in those survival cases. And you will all be spending the night here in this beautiful wilderness. Okay, I do want to try boxes, camping. Each team has only the bare essentials. One camping knife, a flint for starting your fires. Like, I already know I probably won't like spoon. it, but I want to try With these it. very limited tools, plus the absolute basics in terms of ingredients, you must make us a world-class restaurant No, I've never, dish. I've never, well, Free. Natasha, you two I've gone camping on a school trip, but we were never allowed challenge. to, like, sleep overnight and stuff. It would definitely be exciting. So we would go out on a school bus at, like, 7 a.m. I do know what I'm doing. And come home and at, like, 6 p.m. or something, or later. I grew up in South Africa. We and that was land. fun. Uh, I had three older brothers, so... I'm a tomboy. What's glamping? I'm not afraid of the wilderness. Bree, you had the best dish, so you get the first pick. My first choice is going to be someone that I know will be comfortable outside in the wilderness. So my first choice is James. Glamorous Thanks, camping. <laughs> I grew up camping. My dad took me hunting, <laughs> you, fishing so many times. How do you I'm glamorous camp? This is my camp. backyard. I know this. Natasha. Jordan, you're going to be on my team, buddy. <laughs> Jordan. My second pick <laughs> is Eddie. Eddie. Wow. <laughs> Eddie, let's go big boy. I'm sorry. I trust this person's palate. So oh, amenities. I, would like I see. To be on my team. Wow. <laughs> let's go. Welcome to the team. <laughs> so we are funny. Down to the last two picks. This is familiar territory for you again, Chrissy. Are you surprised this time? I'm always last pick. I, whatever. Whose team do you want to be on now? Natasha's. And why not Brie? Because I hate Brie. Oh, stop it. Wow. I don't like the idea of having a vegetarian captain my team. I would like to finish my team with Luca. What a shock, eh? Thank you. Two team captains, please go and join your respective teams. Thank you. Everyone loves Bree hey guys. in my Ciao. Twitch chat. Everybody happy? Yes, yes chef. chef. Unfortunately, the wilderness does have one similarity to the kitchens of a four-star restaurant. Nothing is ever predictable. In the restaurant business, people get fired every day. Head chefs come and go. You have to be able to work with everybody. So that's why we now. Yeah, are I mean, Chrissy has a 0% win rate anyway. So. The two team captains and switch teams. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're really going to leave me all night with her? No. After Chrissy announced to America how much she hates me, I have to deal with the beast. Okay, guys. Inside uh -huh. those survival cases uh -huh. are two different animal proteins that you could find out here. In one case, you have three rabbits, and in the other case, six pigeons. Bree, they know what since they're you doing. Have the best dish in the last challenge, you and your team now get the choice of which protein you want to cook with. Chrissy is literally so, so mad because yeah. Bree stood her ground. Cool. Everyone comfortable? Yeah. All right. We have chosen three rabbits. So, Natasha, that means that you and your team will have 
the pigeons. Hey, you Zawas. Thank you for the sub. Right Thank now, you. It's the survival of the fittest. Good luck. Good luck. Stay safe and stay warm. Okay. To the trenches. Let's do this. With limited daylight remaining, like I want to make a big tent, and like I want to have a sleepover with, no with all my friends, no and we're just water. like and no kitchen appliances laying in the home really must create a world-class restaurant quality but it's dish cute you know from the most basic of provisions <laughs> potatoes quail eggs we got some carrots this is all the oil we're working with that's it yep check it out yeah they're small dude yeah they're small go into the big metal box we have some vegetables we have spices just got the bare necessities, actually. All right, guys, we need to figure out what we're going to do here. Somehow, we're going to have to pull out a Michelin star yeah. dish with Mosquitoes a love me. That's my biggest fear. Peppercorns. So we got some work cut out for us. We got the innards, too. What do we have to cook with? We have a cast iron pan. We have some empty coffee cans that Jesus. we can cook in. And that's pretty much it. Oh, my God. This is a desperate challenge. Do they have we to make their own fire? Chat, I don't know they how to make a fire from scratch. Basic of necessities yeah. here. A hind quarter would almost be... I kind of want to learn how to. Just in case I ever need stuff. to. Yeah. I'm looking for sauces technique. I want a restaurant-quality dish in the wilderness. Split them in half and grill them. Tough one, Pigeon, because that is the most unforgiving protein anywhere in the world because it goes rubbery uh, within seconds. Right. How do you want to serve it to them? Do you want to do, like, a split? In the blue team, well, they know how to cook that rabbit. As if you go to camping, take plenty of camera no batteries. Mm -hmm. And goes dry instantly. Yeah. Not gonna lie, I'm gonna lie, I think I'm just so definitely section it out. I scare myself. I think when it hits up, nighttime, I'm gonna be so Captain scared. That's a radical idea for their gourmet dish. Here's what I was I'm gonna thinking. be so scared. We could do braised rabbit. And we have flour, right? Mm hmm. We, we could make pasta. Do we have eggs? I could definitely make eggs. pasta. That shows some balls. Yeah, it does. Making fresh pasta out here in the elements. Hello. Yeah. While the blue team starts immediately prepping vegetables for a stock, the red team is struggling to come up with a high end concept for their pigeon dish. What were we thinking about the bird? Maybe we can do like a dry rub and let it sit overnight. I didn't know hmm. you could eat pigeons. You can do a yuka puree. Like, that is so well, weird to think light. about because I see so many sometimes and they're just like, vibing, you know? Nothing and then I just never thought I could eat it. says gourmet, and it's definitely giving us a little trouble. Where's the sauce coming to play? Do we even need the sauce anymore? We definitely gonna need a sauce. We definitely don't have the Master Chef Kitchen backing us up in this one. We have nothing to work with. Sky <laughs> Rat. <figure> it out. <laughs> it reminds me of when Nightfall the conspiracy the camps, of when they no think that um. Rest. The blue team is busy butchering one of their rabbits and prepping vegetables when Gordon arrives to assess their progress. Oh my god, sorry, I'm just Hi so guys. interested. Hi, like, they're literally well, nighttime. Like, that's terrifying. We're gonna do a rabbit ragu, and we're gonna serve it over fresh pasta. You're making pasta? Yes, yeah. we are. Whose idea was the pasta? Cool. It was mine. Wow. So, no knives, no boards. How are you improvising? We got wine bottles to roll it out. We're yeah. good to go. Yeah. Uh, bloody ambitious. And you pull it off? Fantastic. Thank, Thank you, Chef. Chef. Good night, guys. Enjoy your night. While Blue Team's rabbit prep is well underway, the Red Team is test roasting one of their pigeons. Hey, guys. Hey. hey. What's up, brother? AJ Rutar, thing of the wild. four months. Welcome back. Thank you. Um. Oh, yeah, what if they did throw a filter? <laughs> you know what? No, honestly, we're still kind of working on it right now. We, Hashtag we not all at once. We to see how we could aesthetically put it in front of you guys, which is a, a nice, elegant way. We definitely don't know what we want to do, and the judges are here, and it's, it's actually embarrassing. The thing that you really need to come up with, I'm sure Joe agrees, is what the hell the dish is. Yep. Good luck. Thank Thanks. Much. Thanks, Joe. We're running out of time. We really need to put our foot down and think about something solid that we're going to put on the plate. And if we don't, then we're going to be in a pressure test. OK, I would be, like, really concerned if I had makeup on and they had me out there overnight be like, can I at least get a makeup wipe? In this grueling Master Chef like my challenge, skin. <laughs> is key. Our eight home cooks must use their culinary skills to create care. a world-class restaurant quality dish 
using just the very basic provisions in their survival boxes. This is a tough challenge because we need to make a restaurant quality dish, but we don't have the equipment of a restaurant. We don't even have the tools. After a night of indecision, Natasha's red team has finally decided on a plan for their pigeon. We're gonna do a slow roasted pigeon over the spit. We're gonna do a far. So they spent the whole night? Did they even sleep? How's it taste now? I don't know, it tastes like minerally. James is working on the sauce. Luca is taking apart the pigeons, deboning them and making sure that they're pretty, and Eddie's helping him with that. And I'm kind of just overseeing things that are going on. I mean, it's getting there. Maybe we add a little honey. While the red team is finally on track, the blue team is now beginning to falter. Can you hit the mushrooms with a, um, a little bit of the stock? Yeah. Rather than oil? I wanted to start the braise earlier than we did, but we only have one saute pan, and Bree wants to utilize the saute pan for the mushrooms right now. We gotta get this rabbit on yeah. soon. So we'll take the mushrooms out now. I don't know what happened from when we woke up and then the whole, like, next hour, what we were doing. Things are getting pushed back further. The emphasis on the rabbit just isn't there. Oh, no. Damn, I hope that we're cutting it close with this rabbit. Christy, do you want to get started on the pasta? I'm going to have to make it when we're 45 minutes to go. Uh, I can't rest it inside anything, so. Well, we could rest it in the tinfoil. No, the tinfoil will react with the Really? Movies. Yeah. I really try to motivate my team to get everyone moving. There's not much we can do with the rabbit because it's braising. It just needs to cook. I'm a little concerned about the pasta, but I'm still going to trust Chrissy and hope that she can get it done. Good morning, good morning. With service time quickly approaching, Gordon checks in with the red team to hear how they plan on cooking the pigeon. Are you confident the fact that the way you're cooking them is the best way? Absolutely. Yeah? Yes. We tried two last, last night. night. It was pulling off the bone. And it's definitely a gourmet pigeon dish. Yes, sir. Yeah. Get going, guys. Yeah, good luck. You got it. The red team presses ahead with their menu as planned, mm. while on the blue team, Joe and Graham are concerned with the braised rabbit. Wow. Uh oh. Is that going to braise off in an hour? Uh, it's been on for. It's been on for it's close to an yeah, hour. So for yeah, for a while. It's an good. hour now. You could have braised it last night, let it cool, and warmed it up. Like the longer it has to rest, the better it is with braising. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. Chrissy, can you get started on the pasta? Yeah. Making pasta in the wilderness is so hard. We are banging out pasta with quail eggs, which are like the size of a thumbnail. Plus, oh we're no! It out with a wine bottle. Oh. So I'm just hoping that it's gonna come out okay. Oh my god! I think we're gonna kick god. some ass today. Oh my so god! That looks so hard. Like, it's gonna take three hours to break. Exactly. You can't fast forward the cooking of a rabbit. The pasta was a good idea. Maybe the pasta could help save them. Just good. keep going. Keep you gotta, going you to gotta get like, fly. I'm a little concerned about time. The big worry for me and the red team is they're going to start spit roasting the pigeon. They think it's going to be tender enough to spit roast. Yep. Pigeon wants to be medium rare. Yeah. Can they get it there? They're seasoning the it. Yeah, right now, I'm just making sure that the, the pigeon is, is cooked. I don't want to overcook it. What do you think is going to happen? Red team or blue team? Uh, right now, for me, I'm hoping the blue team will pull this back, but we know cooking pigeon is far more difficult than it is cooking rabbit. So mm -hmm. right now, I'm going to sit on the fence. It's neck and neck for me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to finish wow. it in the pan, like soon. OK. I'm stuck. The rabbit's a little chewy. Pull it off the bone and keep cooking it. Make sure it's cooked. That is the most important thing, over-presentation. I think that it's more important to make sure that the rabbit is fully cooked, so I decide that we just need to take the rabbit off, shred it off the bone a little bit. The pasta is simply an accompaniment to the rabbit. As long as the rabbit is money, we're good. The rabbit is going to be cutting it close. Cook, rabbit, cook! Five minutes, guys. OK. Beautiful. That looks so pretty. What is you it? You hold the pasta back with the fork. Oh my god. You're good, pour. You're good, keep going, keep going, keep going. Two minutes, guys. Okay, 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 okay. Take this one's done, go plate it. Be yeah. careful, be careful, be careful. Come on, guys, we have like oh, one minute. Pick up the god. pace. Oh, god. Inside here. Relax. Relax. It's one minute. Relax. 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 Relax.
Luca's freaking out. We've got oh. one minute left. If anything, he's making it worse. Body saying the sauce. Inside that box. Put the mushrooms on. I'm gonna oh my the flowers. God. Quickly, really quickly. All three plates are done. I feel like, if anything, Natasha was freaking out. The on top. They look beautiful. More just now. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> the way she was talking. <gasps> and then I drop one. All over my life. No! We got this. With 30 seconds left before the teams will present their dishes to the judges, Blue Team Captain Bree makes a huge mistake. <gasps> Smaller portions. We'll just put more Smaller on that portions. plate. I don't even have time to panic. So we take from the two other plates and we try to even them out. It's all right, guys. Put this on this. Three seconds to go. There's still gunk on the plate, and we're really trying to wipe everything off and make it look beautiful. Where's the mushrooms? Mushrooms. Ah! Done. Done. It's okay. You don't look too happy. It was oh, my fault. Right. I'm sorry, guys. It's all right. Our future, our hard work, everything. Lying in the dirt right now. Let's get the show on the road, people. Come on. I am so proud of our oh, dish. Oh, God. I think the dish looks great. I think it looks absolutely marvelous. Oh my god, they have to walk all the way up. Man, I would fall. Someone else carry it. Good to see you guys. We're excited. Okay, blue team. Let's take the dishes. Let's go. Wow. Wow. Bree. Captain the Blue Team, describe your dish, please. We have a braised rabbit ragu served with pan-seared wild mushrooms served over a quail's egg pasta. Wow. What do you think of the pasta? Five Considering months. it was made Welcome in the wilderness, back. Thank you. I'm impressed to have any pasta at all on the plate wow. right now. I've never in my life camping have I thought of or experienced fresh homemade pasta. And it's in actually the woods. quite good. Yeah. Aww. The rabbit for me is tender. The mushrooms are sauteed beautifully. Mm -hmm. And what I need here is a touch more seasoning. Pasta could have done with a bit more seasoning. Rabbit's delicious. I can't believe you got it that delicate and that tender in wow. that short period of time. If we were in Tuscany, Tuscany. in a hillside town yeah. where they'd cook and braise rabbit like this, you yep. wouldn't be far off the mark. Bloody good effort. Really good effort. Good job. I can't believe that we had this insane miraculous recovery from the judges' Okay. Moment. Red team, please present your dish. Thank you. Let's go. Wow. Uh, visually, that looks stunning. Yeah, Natasha, visually, Captain, dish, looks so we good. We have a slow roasted pigeon, and then Did they get those the flowers pan, from the wilderness, tomorrow. like it's the grass. They're like, in there. and then we have some honey glazed carrots. <laughs> like I've seen that flower before <laughs> on the floor. Oh. Um, who cooked the pigeon? Uh, I did. Yeah, let me tell you something. Is it raw? Perfect. <gasps> oh. I yes. saw pink and I was like, uh-oh. Oh. Pink in the middle and so tender. Wow. You nailed it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's on the money. Very impressive. I would have loved to have seen uh, a bit more cook on okay, the Okay, Eddie. Crunching, yeah. Good job. Red team. Seriously, well done. Both teams. Blue team and red team. Um, really yeah, me smart, too. I got to beat it. I was like, oh, no. In the wilderness, up against all odds. Really well done. Well done. Good job, guys. Huh? Thank you, Chef. Thank you. We now have a lot of discussion to nail one of these dishes as the winner of this challenge. Please go back to your camps and look out for a smoke signal. You see a blue smoke, congratulations. Blue team, you've won the challenge. Red team, if that smoke is red, congratulations, you have won. You know the losing team will face the dreaded pressure test. Natasha, I'd like you to take that back to your camp for you to dissect and taste the blue team's effort. And blue team, I'd like you to taste that pigeon Take it back and dissect and understand what you're up against. Oh. I well, like that. The judges, I'm not worried whatsoever. I think our team did awesome. You think it was a smart idea to make pasta? I don't think so. You see how thick it is? Actually, the pasta is not bad. Stop it touching it, it like that. It. It's, huh? not bad. it's just done. It's not like it's okay. I guess I just have to, I guess. No, but like, I mean, blue smoke over there okay, I honestly confused. think COVID made me like really grossed out. With a lot of like, I'm so I don't like, think it's better than I'm a germaphobe now. Like, I'm just that. like, I do. 
Ew. Maybe just their pigeon. Yeah. Protein. I know, protein. but now I'm just so like. The dish as a whole, ours is way better. But they're stars I can never. better. They cooked the pigeon perfectly, but what did they do outside the box? <laughs> Nothing. We should win because we took a chance. We made pasta in the middle of nowhere. I'm just hoping that the judges are thinking the same way I'm thinking. That was amazing food. Let's get one thing right. Two gourmet restaurant quality dishes. Absolute wow factor. Joe, where are you going, red or blue? I think it'd be hard to deny that pigeon. They nailed it. Mm. To pull that dish off in the wilderness for the blue team, it was almost impossible. Yeah, to braise, to make pasta, and then to do all that to those vegetables. So I think the blue team had more heart on the plate than the red team. It had more soul, for sure. So more soul. Yeah. And the red team looked more fancy than the blue team, but I'm with the blue. So, Joe, you're red. I'm red. I'm blue. Graham, it's down to you. Of course it's a 1-1. One, one. Of course it's always a 1-1. One, one. What direction is the smoke signal supposed to come from? I don't know. I want to win so badly. I want to be able to prove to everyone that I can be a good team captain. This would definitely be a painful challenge to lose. Oh. I feel bad for blue team. I picked, but I'm sure glad that I ended up on it. Yo, Christy and her 0% win rate, man. Oh. Bummer, y'all. You? Yeah, we did our best, and I think we did a pretty yeah, we, good job. Yeah, we made a really valiant effort. It's my first challenge as a team captain, and I failed my team. It just sucks to know that it's on your shoulders. Now what? So pressure test. <laughs> That's a first. I've never had to do one. But Christy did a good job with her pasta. Do you know in these shows the judges the consult so with far. producers so on certain nominations? No, what does that mean? Like they send people home people home who don't deserve to go home or something? Unfortunately, Bree. Your team lost the survival challenge, and you will now have to face a pressure test. But not all of you will have to compete. One of you gets to go up to the gallery and be safe from elimination. But thankfully, we are not the ones that have to decide. They are. Wow. Yes. The red team. You will be deciding who from the blue team is safe from elimination. We have never, ever placed so much power in the hands of the winning team. Your decision tonight may well have a huge impact on who wins this year's MasterChef. Got it? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. We have the ability to decide the oh, fate wow. of someone and the direction of where this competition is going to go after this. We need to think this through. So, so maybe being there toxic there is a strat. So you stay on longer. I think we should save Chrissy. I mean, I do think Chrissy if cooks we well, leave though. Jesse, Jordan, and Bree, they're all three strong. I actually think we should save Brie. It doesn't seem too obvious to me. I'm really worried about Brie. I think that she's extremely smart with her flavor components and her vegetables. She can't taste meat. It doesn't matter. She's it, gotten it, this far. It mattered yesterday. She's gotten it this far. mattered yesterday, it, though. S. Look Dominic named the $3 journal. Are you ever going to check your ban appeals? It's been way I too long. I haven't been that really much of a bad boy. Person. OCD Chrissy. killed me that night. Kind of helped everyone to have fun. Everybody feels that we can beat Chrissy. I'm going to do it whenever I want. Remember, it has to be a group decision. Whether it's tomorrow or in 10 yes, years. It's really difficult. <clears throat> Time's up, guys. OK, red team. Who from the blue team will be safe from elimination and joining you in the gallery? Please tell us. It's going to be Chrissy. Uh, Chrissy, how do you feel? I think that the reason that I'm going up there is because they know that I'm going to kick ass either way, and they want those three gone before me. They know I'm going to win. Chrissy doesn't get it. She doesn't get that we think that we can all knock her out. We look at her as she's the weakest person. Chrissy, you're oh. now safe from this pressure test. Make your way up to the gallery. I am shocked. 
simply because I know they all hate Chrissy and I can't believe they want to keep her in the competition. Maybe they <laughs> talked to the producers. I don't know. The three of you still stand I think that here. one is we'll scripted then, maybe? I don't know. In the dreaded pressure test, at least one of you will be leaving the MasterChef kitchen tonight. Are you ready to find out what you are going to have to cook to make it one step further in this competition? It's a mouthgasm of epic proportions. A chocolate eclair. Oh my god. Perfectly cooked, lighter oh than my air pastry god. with a delicious mm -hmm. chantilly cream delicately finished with a beautiful Rough layer of Raw lobster. Chocolate. Thank you for using your prime on oh, me and ice bandit. Thank you for using your prime on me. Eclair. Welcome. This is a very oh, technical, that's bomb. very difficult challenge. That looks good. Well, he's a great cook, but he's not a baker at all. So, he's going to struggle really bad. You have Ooh, I really want dessert. To make a stunning eclair. Ooh, I have this dessert. Could be your last 60 minutes in the MasterChef kitchen. Bree has food. bad time management. I have Honestly, leftovers. She will definitely from my have lunch. a chance of going home. Please head to your stations. Jesse is very organized. She has a plan in her head, and boom, 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 she's doing everything. She will be safe. In front of you, you have all of the ingredients necessary to create stunning eclairs. Mm. Oh, one more thing. You're not making one eclair. <gasps> You're making six. Oh. Everybody ready? Your 60 minutes starts. That's now. loud. Never seen Stage people one, make eclairs. Making the patisseur, the choux pastry. Right. Once you've made that roux, when you've got the milk, the butter, and the flour, and you've cooked it out, you've then got to incorporate those eggs. If the eggs aren't folded in and whipped in, and there's not that even distribution of those eggs, they won't rise. Right. The pastry doesn't rise. This challenge is over before it even begins. I might make some banana Look bread sometime right because now. my yes. bananas so are really brown. What makes a good chantilly cream? It's gotta be slightly creamy, and a touch of sugar. But I don't think I can eat it. Like <laughs> I think I need to just so mush it up sweet, and make like them glaze. into something. And then you got the chantilly too sweet. You've got this mouthful of like sugar, sugar that's just, yeah. you know, unedible. Right, Jesse, how are you feeling? Good. Um, you've never been in one of these before. I know, I've avoided it like the plague. What's going to separate you from the two standing in front of you to make sure you don't go home? I hope I just get the technical part right and I've made enough extra that if something goes wrong, I can use one of those. I love that girl to death, but I hope she makes a big mistake and eliminates herself today. Hi, Brie. Hi, Chef. So, have you made eclairs before? I've made them once before. Okay. And they came out great that one time, so as long as I can do them well again, then they'll be fine. Just keep an eye on that clock. I will. All right, Jordan, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling the pressure. How many are you making? Uh, I'm doing six, but I have a little extra. I'm going to throw them in, but I just want to get the first six in right now. How long are you cooking them for? 30 minutes, uh, 15 on 400 and 15 I didn't on know you had to, like... Put stuff on top of it. I've got to get that pastry in the oven. The big eclairs, they minimum. I want to add chocolate to my banana bread. I have to go and buy some flour though. I don't have, I don't have a lot of it. I, I think I need to buy eggs too. Jesse also a very technical cook. I don't cook much. I only use my egg for my ramen. <laughs> and I haven't really been eating a lot of ramen, so my eggs are expired. There's a good chance I could be gone today. Exactly. 45 minutes gone. You have ads? minutes to go. You shouldn't have ads. I'm oh. the pastry out. I've done everything I could possibly do to do it correctly, and I feel like I'm getting enough cream in, but you've only got like a two inch nozzle. So I don't know how to get it in the middle. So that's the part I'm worried about. Oh, mine are still moist inside. But I gotta pull them if I want them to be done. Am 
My chew pastry get into the oven a little bit late, so I'm a little bit nervous for time. I pull them out of the oven, and I can see that they're not as done as I want them to be, and I still have to cool down my chew pastry. If I don't cool them in time, my filling is going to turn into complete mush. I'm just really nervous now. Freeze eclairs are all uneven. They're flat. They just look like crap. I want Bree to go home. I mean, how could she not? Why? Because she stood up to you, you bully. So scary. In this pressure test, each home cook must make six perfect eclairs in 60 minutes or face elimination from the Master Chef kitchen. Last five minutes. Jordan is dipping them in the chocolate before he's filled them with the cream. Well, they'll get all messy when you start filling them. I'm really worried about Brie. She's still filling. Come on, Brie, get some chocolate on those. Brie's probably never moved this fast in her life. Never. Oh, they all look gently, so gently, gently. good. Come on, guys, let's go. Come Me on. want. 15 seconds to go, guys. Me want. Brie, she's going to pull it out in the last seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, Can I have. Four, 3, 2, 1. Oh. Well done. Fuck. Dessert Seriously, challenges well always, always get me exactly hungry. Bring your tray of stunning eclairs down to the front, please. Thank you. I'm very surprised about who's in the bottom because for me, they're actually in the top of the competition. We are going to lose somebody big today. Right. Bring. So visually, they look flat. Whatever, I would still eat them. Fuck yeah. <laughs> My God. What is cream? They should be filled. Yeah, um, no, they should be filled. That's not last. But uh, oh, for no. lack of time, I didn't fill them as well as I had intended to. I would still fucking eat it. Finally, some cream. Pastry in the cooked. As you know, that's why they've uh, gone flat. It's lacking four or five minutes more in the oven. The cream is almost sort of melted because obviously they were hot when you tried to pipe. I would still eat it. Nice, even though you've slightly over Don't fucking the chocolate. care. Okay. The unfortunate thing is it needs more filling and more cooking time. Yes, chef. Eat Thank it. you. Thank you. Wow. They don't all look the same. They don't. No. Consistency is not really my forte. Oh. I would still eat it. It's undercooked. It's pretty flat. Okay, it's pretty undercooked. Flaccid. Mm -hmm. And there's no filling. Mm -hmm. um, when the he opened it like that, I was nice like, uh, visually lacking. I Not would eat the chocolate the part. Thank you. Thanks, Chef. You know, nibble the top part. <gasps> oh, scared me. Raw oh my god. It now. Okay. Does this one have any filling in it at all? I did my best to, to fill them in time. Sodden. It's completely raw. Yeah, it is. But I would, um, I would lick her chocolate bowl. Jordan. Oh, you can see. They consistently do look the same. So it's how about that nom nom nah. It's holding more than Breeze did, which is good. Kind of cut lengthwise. So I can see mm, nom, the, nom, filling, nom, the nah. consistency and the cook. Is it good? I think the filling is a little on the sweet end. Yeah. With the chocolate and there's nothing wrong the with pastry, sweet. It's kind of sugary. Yeah. But oh, there's nothing the wrong with sugary. It's a had, dessert. Almost pulled it off. Thank you, chef. Mm. I had mochi donuts for the first time, and they're too... Okay. They're not sweet enough for me. I Obviously, love sweet Obviously, you pipe them when they're still hot? Yes, indeed. That's the reason why they're still liquid. Crust is nice. Chocolate's got a lovely glaze on there. Um, mm. It's very, very sweet. 
Yeah. That's the secret about putting that salt into the mix. It's a little bit more forgiving then. I mean, this was definitely a pressure test, wasn't it? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah, I like the chewiness, but I want it to be sweeter. So I'm the very last person I'm thinking, Jordan's looks the best. Three is their funky shape. None of them are matching. I'm not too stoked about my eclairs, but I'm just hoping that Let me there's see. gonna be cream in the very they middle. Look That's the part fun. I'm Yeah, if you don't like like really test. sweet things, yes. mochi donuts are really good. Kind of flat. Really wanted to see them more round. And you piped in the the cream from the sides. From the two ends. From the ends. Yes, the ends. And you think you got it consistently all the way through? I'm hoping. I'm worried about the very middle. Did it reach? I mean... Nope. Well, I mean, I make the pastry. At least it's cooked through, which is. Oh, Bree is so what going Bri home. Is still raw. Bree's going home. No. Chocolate's very um bitter. Is that a stylistic decision? If I were smart enough to put sugar in it, could have fixed it. So, what went wrong? Why are they all split down the middle? I have no idea what causes that. Let me tell you why. So incorporating the eggs uh, done badly. So the mix is separated. They're all cracked. How can you stuff them? The stuffing did stay inside of them. But um, look, how much chantilly do you get inside? I have no idea until you open You've got it. no idea. There's nothing in there. Wait, so what makes it crack like that? Like the mixing yeah, I don't think it of the, the dough? And there's nothing in there. And there's nothing in there. No, I th I think and there's Bree's nothing going in home. There. And there's nothing in there. Oh, okay. Where's the filling? On the ends. On the, the ends. Two fits. So let's go back to the ends. Okay, bingo. Not one of them has got any of the chantilly anywhere in the middle. Here's the downside. Your first ever pressure test. I think it screwed you. Big time. Shocking. Well, the thing is, is Jesse's is, is, is at least cooked. There's All the way through, that. Breeze is no, raw, and she there's also in lacked that. cream in hers, in too. So, Where's the filling? I think Brie. Jesse's is definitely didn't really do well, but I think Brie did worse. Okay, we got some very tough decisions to make. Please give us some time. Thank you. There are some tough competitors here, but my hopes is that we lose Jordan because down there. No, the Jordan did the best no, out of the perfect, three. Jordan's at least have that pastry outside yeah. that's a little crisper. Jesse's and Breeze, you know, they both had a lot of defects. If I want to win Master Chef, Jesse has to go home, and she's my biggest competition right now. Breeze flat. Mm -hmm. Jesse's, I mean, that chocolate was terrible. At least it's cooked through. Breeze, they were raw. Disgusting. I'm tired of Bree. She's not a good cook, oh, so no. I want that bitch to go home so bad. Oh my god, I hate you. You're so mean. Why are you so this mean for your bully? For You're such that a bully. Oh my god, she's such a bully. I can't. Ship, alone, three amateurs. Jeez. Jordan, step forward. Thankfully for you, we found yours to be the best out of the three. Please take your apron off and join the rest on the gallery. I definitely have nine lives, and I've expended about six of them, so hopefully I don't have to use any more. Jesse, honestly, Joe, Graham, and myself thought that you were a strong contender for the top three in MasterChef, as did much of your competition. But you know, big names fall in pressure tests. Jesse, please, take your apron off, <gasps> say goodbye. Because you are safe, go upstairs. Just slightly worse. The dough is undercooked. 
Three. Stop. I'm gonna your cry. Your, your attitude to that every was second nice. during this competition is extraordinary. <laughs> Holy We've fuck. We've seen you shine. You have an infectious passion. You know, I think. What kind of future. a debate? Yo, super why? Super excited to see what you do. My mom told me not to cry, so I'm trying not to. Come and say goodbye. Crying is okay. Crying is okay. We're gonna miss you. Thank you. I never thought I'd say that to a vegetarian. <laughs> oh my god. Last words for Chrissy. <laughs> Good luck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> See, well done, she man. said Thank dude, you. and Thank you me. called her up. I'll come visit you in Lancaster. <laughs> what did she I say? Really I'll come visit your there, what? Just because I'm a vegetarian, it does not and will not stop me from becoming a chef. <laughs> Master Chef has changed my life completely. Brie. Oh, Lancaster. Well okay. I learned so much. Good dish, Brie. I'm impressed. Thank you. Is wonderful. Congratulations. Great job. Yeah, I mean, uh, at, like, it just sounds like a threat at this point because, like, Chrissy has threatened to, like, beat people up. So it sounds like, like, I'm gonna come visit you. That's what it Next feels week like. On Master that's what it that's what it came off as that's all i'm saying yeah i'm pretty sure she doesn't want to visit all right i'm gonna play some ads and we're gonna go peek get a snack i'm gonna go and get my food too kioni thank you for the tier three sub and the 61 months welcome back thank you i'm gonna bring some food over that last bit the eclairs oh so so good Suck my dick, bitch. Uh, Talone 5, thank you for the sub, thank you. I'm just going to down a canned mus mushroom smoothie. Why? Why would you do that? I know. Okay, so I got some beef and broccoli. Because I ate zero vegetables this weekend. Um, I have a pork bun chasu bao if you know it's like dim sum and then i got this like sesame um oh wait i brought the wrong thing i got egg tarts too but i want the sesame balls and then i got these Sesame balls. These sesame balls. It, it's there's dessert. It's like red bean inside. These are my favorite like dim sum desserts. It's like this chewy. I don't know. It's so good though. It's so good. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. Yeah, they're huge. They're so good. Broccoli is your vegetables? Yes. All right, at least I'm eating it. Yeah, I'm gonna show you it once I dig into it. I wanna go and order and like eat my savory food and then dig into my dessert. I love food. Yeah, I order, um, I over order dim sum because I love to just have it throughout the whole day. Like this is gonna be my dinner as well. I just like, I love dim sum. I miss, I miss, the one thing I really miss about Toronto is going out to eat dim sum with my family because my dad on the weekends um would take me out 
and we would go eat and stuff and it's just nice hello ukami yoru thank you for the two months welcome back thank you Hmm. No ceilings! Hello. Hello! Thank you so much! Alright, let's begin! Magnificent Seven. It's definitely a humbling experience to see so few people around me. It's really fucking loud, right? There is this huge box. Come on down, guys. Doesn't mean anything because last time it was killing me just now. Was like five feet to Eva Longoria. Welcome back, everyone. Now, this is the biggest culinary competition on the planet. Oh, okay, I turned it down a bit. A quarter of a million dollars richer. Publish your very own cookbook, and most importantly, one of you will win the coveted title. Sorry, chat. Let me do a quick shout out. Blue Sassaurus! Shout out to Blue Sassaurus! Thank you so much for watching this stream! Blue Sassaurus! Of Master Chef. Okay, are you ready for your next mystery box challenge? So the box starts going up. And I see a bunch of feet. I really hope it's not past contestants. I want people to keep going home. I don't want more people to come back. Oh my god! Is it their what? family? Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's my wife. Oh my that's right. Your families have flown in from all across America. Usually that's like all at of the end of the like the finale. Months on end. We thought you could enjoy a extra level I got of her baby. The that mean the most to you all. All these people standing in front of you are so proud of each and every one of you getting this far. It's been months since I've seen my son. By far best mystery box ever. Natasha, your husband Robert and your son Diego are here. Hi, it's mom. Jordan, all the way from the Black Hills of South Dakota, it is your dad, Russ. Oh, I lose my appetite Seeing if my I'm sad. <laughs> Once my mom passed away, my dad took I was on so all hungry. the emotional roles. And he's constantly telling me how proud he is. I know, me. this video, Jesse, this is your the... Your mom and dad have flown in from your hometown of Social oh my Circle, God. Georgia. Her mom is so beautiful. Jesse around. We miss our baby. Why don't you go over and give her a big kiss? Luca. They look fucking rich. It's your gorgeous wife, Kate. <laughs> Kate, Aww. how did you guys meet? Uh, he hired me as a waitress. It was my second day in the city. And was it love at first sight? No, he tried to fire me two weeks later. <laughs> 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 Luca. Seriously? Yeah. Please, go and spend some valuable time with him. Put him out of his misery. <laughs> he looks so beautiful. Hello. Check is the name of a hero. Thank you for the prom. Thank you. It's your girlfriend, Melissa. Aww. James, your fiance Jessica came from Houston, Texas to see you. Yeah. James told us that you postponed your wedding for James to come here and compete in this competition. Wow. Mm -hmm. You believe in him? I do. You want to go say hi to him? I do. Please. I missed you so much. I'm looking and I, I don't see anybody for me. Why is everybody's family here except for mine? Chrissy, the one person you would want to be here right now, your son couldn't make it. <laughs> because he couldn't be here, he recorded you a very special message. I know, now, but even though she's okay. mean, I feel bad for her. Hey, Mom, I love and miss you, and I really do know that you wish I could be out there, but I have my state Yeah, it's like karma, but also I feel bad for her. And you have nothing to worry about. See? Because as the whole place pretty much intact, nothing burnt down, nobody's dead. Bless <laughs> um, I'm going to see you at the finale. Joe Sniffle! <laughs> too much. I love you. How cool is that? Huh? 
He wants to see you in the finale. <laughs> yeah. My heart's definitely hurting for Christy at this point when she, you know, doesn't have her son because I can understand that hurt. So it was hard to watch it. Yeah. Okay. Please, all the families, head up to the gallery to watch your loved ones oh, doing what they do best. I don't cooking. Want food. We brought you a sad. taste of home. Bring for me back to the eclairs. In this mystery box challenge. I forgot we want to you open to cook a dish inspired by your loved ones. Something that just reminds you of them. You will each go into the pantry with your empty mystery box and can bring back up to 15 items. Using those items along with the staple pantry box, you'll have just one hour to cook an amazing dish. Right. You've all got 60 minutes to cook us something amazing. Please be dessert. Inspired by all of them. Your 60 minutes starts now. Today is blank canvas. We get to go in the pantry and grab whatever we want. My mom died five years ago, and I've grown so close to my dad. And seeing my dad like this, it's that extra kick in the ass to keep, keep humming along and, and keep fighting for your apron. It's been extremely challenging to put aside my family and focus on something other than them. So I'm, I'm ready to cook from the heart on this one. We've been together for six years, a long time, and, um, you know, she actually entered me into this competition. So, you know, if Aww. it wasn't her, I, I wouldn't be here right now. Aww! Got all our fingers crossed today here at Chrissy Station. Me and Mikey. <laughs> right, Natasha, how are you feeling? I'm good, Chef. Unfortunately, I forgot my chicken stock for my curry, so I'm making a vegetable stock just Natasha, to kind of get that going. You have 15 ingredients to pick up, yep. and you forgot the stock? I think that in the end, the result is going to be phenomenal. I mean, I'm incorporating a lot of flavors. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> That's a fucking cute baby in his lap. Luca. What's the so dish? Cute. Cold Hollywood on top of this white asparagus risotto. What, what, what is it with you and risotto? This is my wife's favorite dish. It's very intense. Be careful with that. Thank you, Joe. So Luca, Master Chef, is a huge opportunity. He wants to open his own restaurant one day, so this is a huge deal for us. The idea of my parents above watching on the balcony is a little nerve wracking because my mom and dad are kind of my biggest critics. So I can just picture them. Yeah, do this. Add more of this. What, what about the green stuff? What about the green stuff? Like just oh no, me to death. Just put more. She, because it's so sour. Hmm. And that is. Well, Honestly, puree, my parents, my mom puree. is the same. She must not like it. She's looking good. It good. looks like she's making. My a mom dump, is, is the one of our same. Things to have. She is a tough and. One time girl, I was streaming really like focused on this, and she wants to do this for a full time the rest of her life. I was streaming this theme game the where I was like cleaning like windows and like vacuuming the house. I forget what it's called. Hey, house chef. flip or something. I'm gonna do a curry and my mom was like, I was watching you and you're not cleaning the windows you right. proud your father would be if you did win this competition. Like, oh, man. I covered the title. Right. Who would you dedicate that book to? That book would be in my mom's name. Good. Good luck. Thank you, chef. All right, guys, less than 10 minutes to go. Really? Some good smells out there. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, I just yeah. love the energy. So, Natasha, I mean, she's doing a, like a Thai green curry, vegetarian. It's not the kind of food she usually no, makes, no. Asian spiced curry. Yeah. I think that Luca really is going to show his journey on MasterChef with this cull fat wrap halibut. I mean, knowing how passionate he is, it's going to be a love note to his wife on a plate. Right. And Chrissy, what's she doing? Chrissy's doing Mikey's favorite dish, pasta fagioli, which would be in a tomato broth with fagioli, which are beans and pasta. Yeah. Mm. Seems like a, a typical Mikey lunch or dinner. She says that she's going to elevate it, the plating, and the flavors restaurant style, really incorporating all that she's learned. Wow. Now, 60 seconds. Come on. Perhaps one of the most emotional mystery box challenges ever. It's time to shine. 10, 9, nine 8, eight seven, 7, 6, 5, five 4, three, 3, 2, two 1, five, and stop. It's time to shine. Come on. In this mystery box challenge, the contestants' families have been invited to the Master Chef kitchen yeah. to help inspire the remaining home cooks, transform a family favorite dish into a restaurant quality plate. Three, two, one. 
It's Victory Damon is six months. Welcome Throughout back. Throughout the Mystery Thank Box you. Challenge, the judges taste elements of all the home cook's dishes as they come together. They now take one last look to choose the top three standouts, and the winner will receive a major advantage in the next round. There were three dishes in particular that really stood out. The first dish we want to bring forward is a dish made with a lot of love. Please, step forward. Natasha. I need to get rid of Natasha. <laughs> she wants this more than anybody else. Beside Luca. <laughs> Tell me what the dish is. So basically, I've got long grain rice. It's infused with a little bit of shredded coconut. And then I did a homemade green curry sauce. And the corn is underneath the yeah, rice. Tell I've me got, about the corn. It's roasted. And then I've got a little bit of shrimp paste in it, a little bit of that olive oil, so some garlic, good. some ginger, and just kind of let it marinate a little bit in there. Could Diego eat something this spicy? He definitely does eat his vegetables. He's a big boy. Great flavor. So judiciously spiced, light, assertive. The rice is fluffy. The corn is like a non-traditional addition, but one that's intelligent. It adds a, a texture and a sweetness. I think it's really good. Congratulations. Thanks so much. So what's in the uh, the rice? Is it jasmine or? It's long grain rice. Long grain? Okay. And then it's got um, just a little bit of unsweetened coconut in there and um, a little bit of coconut milk and a little bit of water. It's beautifully balanced. I think it's one of your best yet. Wow. You won mystery box and you might be on your way to winning another. Good job. Thank you so much. Mm. Um, it's delicious. Yeah, it's sweet, it's spicy, it's creamy. Rice, fluffy, Wait, fragrant. take another bite so I can eat this broccoli and pretend so it's really? what they're uh, eating. Robert, you should come back more often. If that's what kind of inspiration it gives your wife. Um, really, well done. Great Thank job. Thank you so much. Mm, the green second curry. dish that we would like to take a look at further, this dish might be a family favorite, but this home cook elevated it to a completely new world. Step forward, Jesse. Yes. Yes. Wow. Look at that. Explain the dish to me, please. All right, we love duck in our family, so I seared the duck breast. We also have blackberries in Georgia, so I made a blackberry red wine reduction. I got my peaches down in Georgia. Got a Ooh, yeah, sprouts with a little bit of pancetta. And then got to use the pecans from Georgia. Wow. Okay. Flavor of the duck, it's delicious. The acidity from the blackberry completely complements that richness. Mm. Mom, Dad, what do you think? She's got a lot of tricks up her sleeve. Duck. So she's improved since she's come here? Mm -hmm. Probably the best dish that you've made so far in the competition. Good job. Thank you so much. Presentation-wise, the dish is definitely restaurant quality, let me tell you. It looks like a restaurant quality. Yeah, it's cooked beautifully. It's pink, the fat's rendered down beautiful. Well, that flavor of the sort of gaminess has become mellow. The acidity of the fruit has made it work, and then that charm with the sprouts and the rice. You've done your parents proud, and yeah, great job. Thank well you done. so much. The first and final dish that we'd like to look even closer at. This individual, they stuck to their roots. Congratulations. Luca. <laughs> it would be the best thing if I win the mystery box with this super classic Italian dish and my wife in the balcony. First of all, look at that smile on your wife's face. Describe the dish, please. They're it's so cute. Hollywood, which I wrapped in cold fat, served on a bed of white They're so cute. risotto. You're starting to think like a chef is listening. Beautiful color on the top. It's seared beautifully on the bottom as well. Mm. Two highly skilled bits there. The risotto, nailed beautifully, without going crazy. Asparagus, lovely garnish. But the freshness, that mint, you know, only a crazy Italian could think of that. Um, and that's you. Well done. Put this on a menu. I would eat it. So this is very typical from where you come from? Yeah. No? The risotto is perfectly cooked. Delicious. Thank you. Mm. We asked for a restaurant dish that was inspired by the love of your life. You delivered it. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. That's three outstanding dishes. But as you know, only one dish tonight can be the winner for that huge advantage. They're really cute. One dish 
just had the edge, showing great finesse, amazing restraint. This dish was paying tribute to the loved ones. The person who cooked the best dish, congratulations. Mm, let me think, what did I write in this script? Mm. In tonight's Family Mystery Box Challenge, the top three dishes have been tasted by the judges. Natasha's green curry. Luca. Jesse's duck. <laughs> and Luca's halibut risotto. As you know, only one dish tonight can be the winner. The person who cooked the best dish. Luca. Luca. Woo! Well done. Oh my Before God. Before we go into the pantry, family, loved ones, please make your way down and say goodbye. <laughs> Wish your loved ones luck. Because they're going to need it. Bye bye. Bye bye. Wow. Let's go. Uh, good job. Um, really well done. Bravo. Damn, I can't believe Luca got the W. He's gonna try to f me over bad. I know it. He didn't get gone. along on your last thing? Yeah, but he still wants me gone. It doesn't mean that we like each other or whatever. You won't be choosing what everyone is cooking in the upcoming challenge. We've already done that. But don't worry you will still have some very, very important decisions to make. Are you ready? It got so quiet. Out there will be I'm turning it up. Tonight's elimination challenge. Ready. It is one of the most composed, beautiful, elegant cuisines on the planet. The cuisine of... Uh, sushi. Japan. Look mm. at this beautiful plate of Japanese favorites. Shrimp and vegetable tempura, Alaskan king crab California roll, ibi sushi, uni sushi, Ooh, ahi sushi, ahi. salmon roe sushi, and mackerel sushi. That's a lot of because you won the Mr. Box challenge. Sushi. You will not have to compete for this Holy elimination. Shit. Congratulations! You are now one Thank of the you. final six in this competition. You are about to make a decision. Yeah, it reminds me of last season. Game, big time. In tonight's elimination challenge, your competitors will be split into three teams of two. Oh. You get to decide which home cooks will have to work together to replicate this stunning. Also, I'm going to go into this, Japanese by the way, if you want to see it. You have some very big decisions to make, Luca. It's like red bean inside. The judges it's and I really walk out of the chewy. pantry, and this is the best feeling when everybody is watching mm. me going up to the balcony. Is he safe? Mm. Because I'm safe. Darn. Hi, guys. How you doing? Please. It's so, like, chewy. Luca is safe from elimination. Congratulations. Top six, therefore, Top six. automatically. You want to say congratulations to him? No. All right. Luca doesn't like me, but also I think he's a little bit worried about my ability. I 100% think that Luca is totally gunning to get me out today. Tonight, you will all have to cook. Sushi. A beautiful plate of Japanese classics. Take a good look at it. We want you to match that perfectly. So, Chrissy. What are you thinking? Sushi is disgusting. Now I have to work with something that makes me sick. It's going to be rough. I might be going home today. I know that plate looks very daunting, but here's the good news. Wait, what? Sushi is amazing. Alone tonight. <sighs> There's six of you. You'll be in three teams of two. I can't believe she thinks it's disgusting. Luca got to choose the teams. Sushi is this so is a huge good. Advantage. I can really focus on somebody. I and guess them out raw of the fish, but like, depending oh on who no. my partner is, I think I would rather do this by myself. I don't know if you guys know the streamer Luca KP. The like, she doesn't like raw fish, but I've never heard her say home. like, "Oh my god, sushi's disgusting." Start on She's the right. like, "Oh, I don't really like it." James, 
And I'm like, oh, okay, that's fine. Let's get like chicken teriyaki or something. Sushi with James. And like Jody him someone very only likes like warm sushi, like sugar fish. Jordan. Jordan. Please go stand with James. I never heard her say something as disgusting like that. Are you kidding me? The, I'm with The James word disgusting today? in food is like Booyah, I'm feeling good. This is a cake It's walk. loud. This is exciting. What do you think? <laughs> we'll see you in the next round, Luca. Wow. Give that compliment, Jordan. I'm not too sure why I gave us a free pass. There's got to be an ulterior motive. I don't even think I've ever called olives disgusting. Food. I just say I really gotcha. hate them. <laughs> and they, I never really think they're so, disgusting. Who are you pairing Natasha with? Chrissy. Chrissy. Please stand with Natasha. Yeah, you know me too. Oh, Benny, thank you for the wow. 78 Natasha, months. Welcome feel? back. Thank you, Ben We ben. are the top seven, and I'm pretty sure Chrissy knows how to make rice, and she knows how to make tempura batter, so he made himself a stupid decision, but... Doesn't that make you stronger? Absolutely. Just makes me want to win this. Natasha, if you eat sushi, I know she knows how to make sushi. Whatever she tells me to do, I'm going to do it. I'm seeing myself as a direct extension of Natasha. The only asset that I'm going to bring is cutting up vegetables and filleting that fish. So that obviously leaves Jesse and Eddie. Uh, Jesse, how do you feel? I'm excited. I think we've got a great team. Eddie, I feel good. OK, you may be working as a team, but you will not be working together. This is a tag team challenge. One of you will cook first, then when we shout, switch, you'll trade positions. Each team will have 60 minutes to replicate that stunning plate of Japanese classics. Please, head to your stations. Your 60 minutes starts now. Start washing that. Oh, you already know, bro. Get the rice going first. You take that rice and you rinse it. Are you on the same page with me as we're going to make pretty much two rolls, one California roll and one just rice roll? OK. So the first thing you've got to do, you've got to rinse, remove the starch from the rice, and then get that in the steamer. Is that it? What does it say? It says rice. Good. From there, the big preparation would then be with the tempura. Get the batter made. Get your batter has to sit. Yep. Because everything else is nice exactly. at the end, which is very, very Mr. Tadakichi, thank you for the five months. Welcome back. Thank you. What do you think of the team? Some of the smartest team picks Felix and seen. Monty. Have you seen the determination in Tasha's eyes? She's just steely-eyed. Neither one of us are going home today, so Luca can go f*** himself. You think that... Jordan Damn. And James are the we champion. love Luca. Work fast. We have two huge egos. That does not play in the sushi game. You don't gotta take it so personally, technique. you know. Start healing shrimp. I think their egos may get in the way. Don't cut them too thick down there because we have to butterfly them out. Butterfly from the top. No, no. Don't piddle around with it. Eddie, you may want to put it in a strainer and just yeah, bring yeah, yeah. I need a good strainer. It's in your drawer. I don't think Eddie's got a clue on how to make sushi. So what about uh -oh. Jesse? Do you think she's strong enough to carry him? I don't think Jesse's got much of an idea either. Maybe we should cook it first. That's this. what I was wondering too. Do you blanch these things? Yeah, that's, no what, that's why I asked. Is doing that yet? But they may be wrong. 20 seconds. Guys, when Gordon yells switch, you will drop I everything. I love, have you guys ever had Lotus fruit? Two, one, switch. And like, inside is just like, the big elephant in the room Sticky tonight. Sticky rice. Mm -hmm. It's got to be so delicate. Mm -hmm. You start washing those things and they destroy the flavor. And it's like yeah, kind of like Swedish. Oh, like in the holes. There you go. Get that beautiful bastard out of there. It's, oh, there's a few in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. I got a nice piece right here. A beautiful piece? Yeah. Great. You should be using the back of a spoon. Okay. So it doesn't weigh down with your fingernails. Chef, what's the white stuff in this? Uni? Never wash uni. Never. No, come on. Jordan. Right. My bad, my bad. Uh oh. Switch. In tonight's elimination test, Luca has selected the three teams that must each create a platter of Japanese cuisine. You should be using the back of a spoon. Okay. So it doesn't weigh down with your fingernails. It's proving to be their most difficult challenge yet. Chef, what's the white stuff in this? Uni? Never wash uni. Never. No, come on. Jordan. Right. My bad, my bad. You've only got two. I have some of this beautiful juice stuff. I don't really like uni. You got it, chef. Come on, guys. Lift it. Let's go. It's too potent for me. With Japanese cuisine, there's nothing to hide behind. It's a piece of fish on top of rice with a little bit of a Ten seconds before we switch. Tell me what you're going to do. Um, I'm going to give you tuna. Five, 
It doesn't Clean taste creamy and buttery to me. One, okay. It tastes like... 20 minutes left. Speed up, guys. Come on. Is it up to temp? Yeah. Ocean-y. Ocean's ass. I don't know. No skin on the tuna, correct? <laughs> no. No? Okay. How about the tempura? You're not worried about that? <laughs> the batter's done. And they're really like it. Yeah. Do you think Chrissy would be the best one to fry the tempura? I'm confident with her level on fish. But I really but, I mean, want I to. Take to. Over, I will as well, but I think she's going to be okay. To cut the fish? Yep. Hmm. Chrissy, you got to make sure that you get just a nice, clean cut yep. through that. I just need to see where the grains are going. Okay. Good luck. Thanks. Real thin, more bias. Real thin, more bias. How's it coming, guys? Uh, going all right. Yeah? All right yeah, or good? Uh, all right. Five, four. Uh, this is a tough Were challenge. Were you as far ahead as you thought you would be? I mean, no. Switch. Come on. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Let's go. Jared, what do you think? I think that Natasha is really commanding her team. She's very well organized, and I think that Chrissy is being very subservient and taking direction very well. Oh. Yeah, watching Natasha in this situation, I have a newfound respect <laughs> for her desire to win this competition. Hunger. Stir faster. I'm so surprised. I thought James and Jordan would have been so much further ahead of the pack, and they're not so far ahead of everybody else. BCM, thank be you for 11, 11 donation. Thanks for the hey, after work Jeff, entertainment. It was Eddie? definitely up like, there as the know, most Monday ever. And, and since I'm superstitious, I'll give you the good luck dono. Lovey, thank you so much. Happy no, Monday. So happy to be a part of something good for your Monday. We need how many of these? Four total? Yeah. Preparing to switch, guys. In five, serving tray. Four, three, two, one. Switch. You gotta go. Get the tempura go. going. As soon as you're done with that rice, drop the veggies. Okay. I need you to cut the avocado. It's right there in front of you. Okay. 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 We forgot the tuna. All right. No, don't. You don't do the tuna. I'll do it. All right, all right. You finish oh. the vegetables. Awesome. 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 Salt them. Salt them over here. Salt right by the sink. Please just cut the avocado now. I am. Oh, the shrimp is right behind you. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I told him what I'm doing. <clears throat> pull those, pull those, and oh. put them on the tray. Your next switch is Looks your so last so frustrating. Switch. Put extra in there. You need a safety net. Jordan, Jesse, Natasha, make sure you're talking to them, telling them what they need to get done. If you can get the shrimp done too, you gotta fly, buddy. You gotta fly. I'm flying as fast as I can. A little too much rice. We might see platters that are half done, maybe yeah, not yeah. even half done. It's not looking good. Go ahead. Wait a minute. Go ahead. Yes, it's perfect. Take it off. Just take it off. Don't ask me. Just do it. Okay, just, it's fine. We'll get it. Stop, Don't worry. Natasha. This shrip looks That's like That's fine. That doesn't Jordan. matter about looks. We just need it to get it matter. It does matter. Kind of a little bit. Two, one, switch. This should be done. Okay. The vegetables should be done. The vegetables should be done. Okay, Final okay, okay, time. Okay. Come on. Final round. Final five minutes. Let's five go. Five minutes. Come on, come on, babe. Come on. You're doing good. You're doing good. Be easy with it. There you go. You can do it, brother. Where's the shrimp? Both here? There's Holy. both. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. They're falling apart on us. Put them up anyway. Put them up anyway. Move on to the roll. Oh, my gosh. Butchered. Go, brother, go. Keep going. Keep going. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Push, 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 Put push. those things on the plate, Natasha. Honey, honey, hold on. Neither of us are going home today, right? No way. Make it happen. You've got 90 Yo, seconds. Yo, I can't on. breathe watching this. Oh, I'm so stressed. I'm not part of this competition. I'm just a viewer. Calm. Uh, <sighs> oh, I need to Come pour on. some tea. Oh, <laughs> I feel like I'm like in it. Like I'm so immersed. Look at the speed of Natasha. Give encouragement. Come on, guys. Make it tight. Make it tight. Yeah, I was like the holding my right breath there. for Check them. The, where's, the, where's, the, where's the thing? Right here, right here. Right. There you go. Come on! Jesse, speed up, please! Let's Eddie, go! Yeah. 30 seconds to go! <laughs> Let's go, come on! Sushi! A California That's what he says. Tempura, yeah. Sausage, garnishes. Yeah. 20 seconds to go! Yeah. Come on! Get that fast! Come on! Oh my god, going, Graham, why? Come on, Jesse, get it on the plate! Oh my god! 15 seconds to go! One more, Natasha. Do one more. Wake up, Jordan. Come on, James. Push him. You can do this. Yo, oh my God, this Rachel editing. Lee. Holy Rachel moly! Ten, nine, eight, eight. I got this. We're only missing one piece. Everything else is there. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I need some water. Yeah, the camera switching is is crazy. I need to get more water. Actually, I have none. I, I owe you water. I owe you water after this episode. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on, Jesse, get it on the plate! Oh my gosh! Ten, 
Why are there? I drank all of them. I just haven't been checkmarking it. Squeegee Luigi, thanks for the two months. Welcome back. Thank you. You did it. Hands in the air. We got it. Let's start with the front row, please. Natasha, Chrissy, let's Hello. go. Skeldon, thank you for the nine months. Welcome back. Thank you. In less than a minute and a half, maybe we don't have all of the components on the plate. But hey, don't doubt her. Good. Don't doubt her. I'm trusting her. Yeah. Who plated that? Natasha. I did. Visually, um, it looks beautiful. The roll. Who made the roll? Um, I did. A nice balance of color. Who seasoned the rice? Uh, I made the seasoning for the rice. Yeah. Uh, the rice is cooked perfectly. Uh, right, who made the batter? Um, I did, Chef. The secret, really, is to take out the basket, get the vegetables, dust them, put them all in to your batter, drain off the batter, and literally throw them all in at the same Natasha time. Natasha did so a lot. Their own stick. Um, I'm amazed you actually got it together with literally three minutes to go, because with two minutes and 50 seconds, <laughs> there was nothing on your platter. I've always said it's not how you start these challenges, it's how you how finish. You finish. I didn't expect you to That's bring That's what that I tell myself. Did, so Every League of Legends perfect. New season. Well done. I solo Thank queue. Well I go one seven in my placements out of eight. And I think to myself, it's Everything not where you, you have start. On the plate looks like it's, it's done end. the way that it should be done. That's what I, I used to, to tell them. myself. Are you guys taking 50 50 ownership of this plate? Yeah. Thank you. So, Luca, did you sink Natasha with the Chrissy anchor? Is that what happened? Yeah, maybe not. I don't think so. Can you silver. see the cut on the fish? Yep. Yeah, the cut on the fish Got is Got placed in silver. Oh, my God. I certainly gained a new respect for Natasha and how much One time I was on the 13 lost streak. Anything you want to say to Luca? I'm coming for you. You're my next target. And this vein hit our nexus. Like, we lost. They were at our nexus. And the vein broke. Oh, my God. Uh, it, it I'm finally honestly, silver. Like, saved. I've never been silver before. Okay, James and Jordan, come on down. I'll drop it. And that was my lowest point in League of Legends. Who cut this? I did. Very nice. Is it your understanding that Japanese people do not use salt in their cuisine? Taste this. Oh. That I has did a relive grain it. of salt on it. I'm a monkey's uncle. That one we did second and didn't salt. I mean, it's the same reason you didn't put any salt in the rice. Salt. Definitely not enough. Not even close. What happened to these shrimps? They look like... Whew. They've seen better days. There was, a, there was some debate between us on how to cook the shrimp. Um, so you decided just to step on them? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're raw. Yeah. It's just, I'm amazed oh. they're laughing. Because, it, honestly, I mean, if anybody remotely respectful to Japanese cuisine, giggling, laughing like two <laughs> stupid teenagers, get a grip, guys. I mean... Maybe I'm they're nice. like, it's I'm like their mechanism, I know of you guys coping cooks. mechanism. Certainly the two of you could have done better than this. Okay, I have a really bad habit of laughing in like bad situations. Not like laughing hard, Visually, but like... Visually the roll looks lovely. You've got a nice even cut. Sometimes I'm seriously embarrassed with I do it to here. like I mean, cope just, You know guys, shit. I think of what you've done and how far you've come in this competition. For you two to present that, you know, raw, badly split, curled. I just don't expect any of you at this stage in this competition to panic. It's embarrassing. The roll looks delicious, but it's just bland. It needs seasoning. Ah, excuse me. So what happens when you don't degorge an eggplant? They're bitter. They're bitter as They're well. bitter. So you know all this stuff. Disappointing. Damn. Next up, please. Jesse and Eddie. This is by far the hardest challenge. And walking up, I knew we were going to get chewed out. Oh, no. So who, between the two, you had the most experience with sushi? Uh, I've made it before. You have. The uni. You've never made it. I never made it, but I eat it uh, at least twice a week. What really? to the uni here? He didn't know how to make it's rice, though. Getting it out, but also making sure that it's <gasps> cleaned the right way. To have this coming out. That's kind of like part what's, of the what's inside What's the stringiness of, the of it? Actual seal. What is that? It's not what you're looking for oh. to eat. Who did the fish butchery? I did. 
You did. It's kind of torn apart. And the rice, who cooked it? I'm gonna cook the rice. Oh, the intestines. Oh. It's very overpowered with this the vinegar. It's a very tart show. rice. Hey, Prox, thank you for the 52 really months. Holy shit, energy. welcome back. Thank you. Into the dish. Did well, you change your name? 50-50. 100%. 50-50. Oh, Do you feel the same thing? Hey, Prox? Okay. Hi. Thanks. Several times. Okay, what was your old name? Because it's like so if there's no way you were sub 52 months and I just now recognize your name. Like, there's just no way. Yes, like, you must That's have name changed. Believe. 100%. I don't agree. So I was like, there's this no way gross. a 52 month sub would you go right under my nose. Oh, Sherman. Hi, Sherman. Okay, okay. If I hand this to you no, right no, now, no. He's not new. He's like, I don't recognize this. I'm asking you, will you eat this? I would own up to it and say yes. I wouldn't even like uni and I would you eat it and be like, this uni mm, I'm for so good. Tea. Like, I would if I fake hand this it. To you right now, will you eat it? Say yes. I'm Just you, own up this? to it. Yes. I'd be like, no. oh, you fool. That's interesting. I would gobble it up. I'll go home. I ain't got nothing to hold my head down. But I know something. I had no idea what to make, how to make it. It comes down to the disrespect. But no one's communicating. Mm -hmm. Guess we shouldn't have been high five. How can you miss <laughs> Wasabi and all that money? <laughs> if you don't make That's the rice so right, so funny. Like I guess we should have been high fiving. Everything. Yeah. Back when there was twenty of us, you know, there's a, a good eight that don't even deserve to be here. So you had leeway to mess up. But now there's no room for it. This is a very tough decision. The first pair that are safe. Congratulations. Chrissy and Natasha. Wow. <laughs> Luca tried to take Natasha out and me along with her and watch out for the moms. We're fierce. Natasha, you just put in an extraordinary 60 minutes of work. Chrissy, for the first time in this competition, that's the most humble and the most dedicated you've ever been. Both of you, well done. Mm -hmm. Please join Luca on. If the she gallery. could just be nice. Thanks. Luca's my number one. Oh my God, right she now. would have number been one. my favorite, Chrissy. Like we were literally now, rooting for you, and then you just went like teams. full. Eddie, Jesse, James, Ursula, and Little Next, Mermaid, Evil. I can't even, let man. Like it is, is weird. This is DT D Maroc. Thank you for the six months. Jordan. Welcome back. Thank you. Welcome back, welcome back. The technical back. ability. She really did run it down mid. That's what's got you through. Please. Yeah, we were all Make your way up to the for back. you. Jesse and Eddie, please make your way down to the front. I don't know. Er, I watched The Little Mermaid a lot when I was younger. Like, it's the one Disney movie really I rewatch. Failed to identify with the so, Ursula is the only villain I always remember from Disney. Like, I don't remember any other villain. Like, who was the villain in Tangled again? The mom's name? I don't remember. Snow White, mom and stepsister's name? I don't remember. Move on, freaking evil person is Jesse, some like woo. I don't party. know either like I never remember their names yeah, I only remember wait that was really fast Eddie Eddie's going home and I'm just fucking stuck talking on Disney NFL, a personal trainer but a serious foodie tonight the sushi got the better of you and for the first time in this competition you look what? completely lost what the fuck however you found your calling hello Food is now Nicole, hello. Thank you for the 29 months. Welcome back. Thank you. I liked Eddie because a lot. A he was super, cook. yeah, phenomenal awesome. and Come say goodbye. unproblematic. Oh. Like, I love people who kind of just do their own thing and stay in their own lane and they just, like, do whatever they want right. as long as they Six don't hurt anyone. 
Eddie, like that's just in your mind, what I want to do too. So like I, I like him a lot. Has a lot of heart, um, and they're starting to show it. So I think Natasha, Natasha, is gonna win. Take care, man. Yeah. I came to MasterChef to compete. I just think about how far I've come. I have nothing to hold my head down about. I always said that football and cooking is two of the things that I love to do. And I was able to achieve football on the highest level that you could possibly I was thinking imagine. You were describing and yourself. now, in my mind, I feel like yes. I've achieved food on the highest That's level. That's kind of what I want to do. I mean, it's absolutely delicious. Thank you. Learning so much from the best chefs. I in never want to hurt like or intend to hurt like anyone. Congratulations. Eddie. So I'm very and I really am sorry if I ever do. I'm just trying to like do my own thing. And be successful like I know I'm gonna be. And I feel like Eddie. Yeah, I really like Eddie. Love you, Eddie. I'm gonna try to finish the season today. Right now, I don't feel tired, but Next I did on only get five hours of sleep last night. So we came home at like 2 a.m. Back to the hotel at 2 a.m. and then um, woke up. I don't know when I fell asleep, but. Woke up like 9 a.m. So I think it was around five hours of sleep. I feel fine because I had an energy drink and stuff. Oh, okay, sorry. I was yep, 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 yep. talking. It's Clubby thing with the 19 months. Welcome back. Yeah, I really want to do a cooking stream. I really do. I will plan one soon. I'll try to plan one soon. Yes. Um my brain i wanted to refill my water bottle because i owe some Hello. water and need to hydrate um the spare tire thing of the prime thank you and then yeah i will get some water i'll play some music i'll be quick bear back guys Hello? Your pizza arrived cold? How fucking dare they? Yes, I shouted out Blue Sosaurus. And I will drink my water now. Nimbus 6, thanks for gifting us up. Thank you. Oh, I 
like this song. This is a nice song. It's called Where'd You Go by Chris Mazura. Where'd you go? I want to remember it. Is it this one? It is. I want to save that. I kind of really liked it. I usually don't like lo-fi because they all sound the same, but I don't know why that one just... I don't know. Sounded nice to me. Tickled my brain a bit. Yeah. Let's go! Yeah, we have uh, this episode and 25 total episodes. And we're on episode 18. Top six is a beautiful feeling. Last year, it's really quiet. Down, Let me turn it up. I'm one of the best home cooks in America. The final in six. America. Congratulations. It's an amazing achievement. But as you know, in MasterChef, things Good. can change in an instant. Thank Tonight's you, David. I hope you had a lovely weekend well, as well. Not be cooking. <laughs> That's right. All of you, please head up to the gallery. Oh, really? Gordon says you're not cooking today. Well, <laughs> what the hell are we doing then? I don't know. Like, I'm going to be honest. I don't really it. listen to Let's Nirvana, go. but like, I think you this shirt is dope. Tonight, so I bought it. <laughs> people cooking. People with very familiar faces. Lovely. I really like That's it right. though. Maybe. Each of us has invited back one of the home cooks. I love this. That has already left the competition. This is bad. There were some really good people that were eliminated too early. So Sorry. there are a lot of people that I do not want to walk in those I doors. Am, but it's those really three pretty will then do battle and comfy. for a white apron and a spot back. At least in I'm this supporting them. Gordon, who are you giving a second chance to? <laughs> the home cook that I decided to bring back has a very strong mind. <laughs> And an even stronger palate. Welcome back. Oh? They're bringing back someone? My favorite vegetarian. <gasps> Bethy! Bree! Bree, I mean! <laughs> Welcome back, my darling. I am Oh, no, Janet! And I definitely feel like <laughs> too soon. So I'm absolutely honored. That oh, yeah, okay. I had the B right. I had the B right. I had the B right. <laughs> I know, I know. Seriously? Okay, wait, hold on. I'm gonna blame it on um, I will lack of sleep. Any day, head to head, and I will cook her little vegan ass under the table. She's vegetarian. Now, my choice, Not I vegan. thought this home cook went home way too early. He's the <laughs> real deal in real competition, guys. Uh, Mitzi Boots, thank you for subbing six months in advance. Thank you. Lynn. Ah! Lynn is back. Oh my Damn. god! He is an awesome cook. More or less, this is Lynn's apron to win back. Oh my god. Uh, Go home, Lynn. When I was eliminated, you could almost hear people give that sigh of relief. And now that I'm back, I can't wait to show them what I'm gonna do. So, the final home cook. Wow. Like me, I feel they put emotion into every dish that they play. <laughs> Sammy. <laughs> You're so the funny. That <laughs> Betty could be coming back. A Bethany perfect back. use of pokey no easy. Standing at 5 foot 11, 295 pounds. Welcome back. The Taunton Tiger. Beaming. Oh, oh my God. God. Uh, is this a joke? Beanie is just a loser. Ooh. He's like the cockroach that won't die after you step Ooh. on it multiple times. Damn, people fucking hate Beamy. I don't even remember. Damn. Oh Yo, my god, they're I'm literally better, telling back. Luca to Beanie stop back, baby. clapping. Dude, the they, they literally compared him to a cockroach. <laughs> Only one of you. I fucking hate cockroaches. Like, we'll I, that is like an ultimate. This. <laughs> oh god. A Master Chef apron. One apron, three of you. There is nothing in the world that I want more than to get my white apron back. Thanks, I let myself down last time and I want the chance to earn it back. Yeah, respect the three to Luca. Of you will now compete in a high impact, high speed challenge. Um, After the first challenge, one of you will be eliminated. 
I think Beamy didn't like it two. when it was Those like it was his fault for some things. In the but he didn't like admitting it, I think. Lives. Ready to see what you're gonna have to cook? Yes, yes chef. chef. When you enter the luxurious Master Chef pantry, Other than that, I don't remember. To grab everything you and need. then for Lin, Your he just under seasoned things a lot. Starts. Oh my god, right. Oh yeah, he said a really Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He it has said stuff about people's people weight. Think something up and then go in and get And I was like, "Oh, what the beautiful thing. frick?" And it wasn't even like a nice way. It was like one just eats oh a lot gosh, the and then the other one looks like they don't eat at all. Uh, and it's like, is dude, this, this is it. What the clock is this? It's just like That is so fucked up. Everywhere. What? No way. Open the other side. Look at this. I don't know what you're cooking. Oh yeah, Lynn's eggs. the guy who sweats a lot. This is Master Chef. You never have enough, man. <gasps> Do not trip. <laughs> you look like a chicken. <laughs> if you haven't guessed it, you will be cooking us eggs. We're looking for a perfect egg, sunny side up. That egg looks plastic. No edges. Like no it looks so yolks. perfect. Beautifully set white. I don't think I've ever been served an egg that looked like up. this. But we're not just looking for one. You have 15 minutes to cook us as many perfectly fried. Like it looks like as you can. what you see in wow. like pictures, <laughs> and then you don't Please get that. You know what I mean? To your stations. At your stations, you have a hundred plates and twelve identical eight-inch pans. Yeah, you like a display egg. Two stoves. Are you ready? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Your time starts. Now. Eight pans, eight burners. How would you start this off, Greg? Uh, I would lay out all my pans, get the first one started off cold, and then from there, start rotating. By the time the last egg goes in, the first egg should be cooked. It's all about working the stove. Technique, volume, speed. We're really bringing these cooks to the oh, test. Oh, no. This challenge. Beanie's getting more organized than anyone because mm -hmm. he's laying out his place, he's getting yeah. his pans warm. My worry there is if he starts cracking those eggs in those hot pans, the eggs are going to blister. You guys going to do oil or butter in here? I put my oil in first. I've never been able to right. make up mm -hmm. good. And it starts that raw egg white closest mm -hmm. to the yolk. Sunny side up egg. There now. That butter, it does burn a lot faster than mm -hmm. that oil does, so. Beanie hasn't even put an egg in yet. He's using butter, what an idiot. That's why he doesn't deserve to be here. This is going to be a tough wow, fight. People Getting the second chance. I'm going up against Beanie. some top dogs. God but, you know, damn. I'm going to get past this. Get My head God. To head this. Lynn I'm ready. Like, I just am shocked. Come on, let's go. But you got a little bubbling going on over here. Drop your heat on some of them. Thank you. Well, That's the sweet. One's doing it right. Hello, John Green Two Face. Thanks for using like your prime on me. Welcome. When you're happy, I'm happy. Thank I'm you. Give it everything I have. Take no prisoners and get my apron back. Okay, but don't oh, look how good sweat. I don't want Lynn back in this competition. Lynn. I don't want to face Lynn. I don't want to watch Lynn cook because Lynn's the top dog down there, and I don't want to see him back. Lynn's already playing up. Damn, he's flying. Oh my god, he's sweating, huh? Is he sweating? Oh my god, he's wiping his face. I can't with Lynn. Like, I'm too triggered about the sweat. The judges have chosen Beanie, Bree, and I Lynn can't. to battle it out for it's a single time white just... apron. Long ago, the two homegirls that try the most perfectly executed sunny side Big up eggs in 15 Thank you for the four months. We'll Welcome head back. Head Thank you. When you're happy, I'm happy. To Thank get you. Back into the Master Chef I kitchen. know, but like... Minutes to go. Come on, guys. Bamboo Pistolas. Hello. Thank you for the prime. You when you're happy, I'm happy. Thank you so pants. much. You know, I got two preheated ovens. I might as well use them because they're a heat source and see if that gives me a leg up. So I'll screw those up. I know he can't help it. I feel bad saying it. Hello. Get him on the plate. Should be but I'm just imagining right out. sweat in my Get food and it like hand. really I'll grosses me out. Hello. Management has always been my biggest issue. A Dill Caro. Thank you for using your prime on me when you're happy. I'm happy. Thank you. Closest plate to you, Brie. Always the way. Uh, Back yes, on the heat. Chef. Good. Yes, there you go. Chef. You gotta put everything you got, get them on the plate. Think of cooking for your daughters. Breakfast time. 
I'm like so wrong, full. Shaky because, you know, oh. Brazilian man 69. Like, you know, Thank I'm you for the 10 here. months. You know I mean? Welcome back. So I'm just throwing everything out the window and just keep it moving, you know, and everything is starting to roll. Bearded panda bear, they have 100 bits with how much he sweats. It's weird how his food is always under season. Let's go. I think he got a bit better at seasoning his food, though. Hello. 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 Thank you for the prime. When you're happy, I'm happy. Thank you. No, 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 no. Uh oh. Wow. Fascinating. Lynn's using the ovens, too. Wow. What happens with an egg in the oven? It starts to cook on the outside. The whole idea. Sunny side up. No heat for the top. Lynn is the kind of guy that could take me out of the competition. But I've experienced firsthand that Lynn definitely cracks under pressure. Oh no. <gasps> Boy, what go. is going now, on? Your burners in the last two minutes to make sure those last eggs get cooked in time. Anything that's not out of the pan when the time is up does not qualify. Hello. Come on. He cracks this like an egg. challenge, it is about technique and speed. And it's going to take a lot of accuracy. And there's also a lot of pressure. Oh. Come on, guys. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Come on, guys. Six, five. Hello, four, Rhythm King. Thank you for the prime. Three, when you're happy, I'm happy. Thank two, you. One, and stop. Put well it down, baby. Hands in the air. This is moving. Well done. Squirtle yeah, Power, they were the four months. I'm Welcome back. Thank number. you. When you're happy, I'm happy. I have Sunny Sunday eggs. You have Papa. 27 plated. Me, Gordon, and Graham will now take a look at these eggs and see how many are perfect sunny side up eggs. How many do you think? I think most of them will pass. Mm. Let's take a look, shall we? This one's raw. It's definitely under. And this one's Under. definitely raw. Agreed. These two? I mean, no. literally raw. You can just see with your eyes. Do they have to break the plates? Mm. If those two mm. eggs didn't pass... I don't know. Okay, Joe is so uncool perfect. when he perfect. does perfect. that. Like, I really <laughs> hate I mean, it. I mean, it's just like, give the plate to me. I love having There's extra plates. Like, just let me that. have it. I don't it's know. Good. I just want it. It's so fried. It looks like a taco. No good. No, completely serious. It looks awesome. I guess. I watch. Too hot, hot. I mean, so Crispy. Seared the bottom. It's tough. Oh, is it fake sound effects? That's not even a fried egg. Pan too hot. It's gonna be a heavy trash. I am rooting for more smashing. Holy shit, Lynn. Yeah, oh my god. Smashing. This one. Yeah, gone. Every time I hear the crash, it's almost as if there's no other sound. The Mexican AQ, thank you for time. gifting you five sure subs. Thank you. Oh my god, how many actually passed? Yeah, I feel like you don't. Wow. So, you have eight perfect sunny side up eggs. Thank you, Mexican. I thought you were going to. No. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Eggs. But at the end of the day, guys, eight may be enough. Let's find out. All I can hope now is that when the judges get the brie and beamy, that they'll trash more eggs than they trashed on mine. If you get more than eight, I'm rooting for brie. Cooked, sunny side up eggs, you'll be safe and through to the next stage of this extraordinary challenge. Lynn only got eight out of 27. Those are really bad chances. They obviously must be judging really toughly today. Visually, mm -hmm. that is raw. This thing here, it's almost got his <laughs> feathers on. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Too raw, that's not a good start, is it? Oh. <laughs> that looks nice. That's good. That looks that's good. A good one. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Wow. That's perfect. That's okay. four already. Textbook. This one, split yolk, crispy. Nice. That was pretty. Beautiful. It's just a sound. It's just Seven. a sound. 
Dude, I would eat the crispy ones. I love like fried eggs. As long as the yolk is a little bit, you know, gooey, I'm okay. I'm there. There's still a bunch of eggs left, and I have to have a perfect one out there. I don't know what you did there, but. That's perfect. Oh. So, that's nine. Congratulations. Thank you. Three. Three. Perfect. Ten. Stunning. Eleven. <gasps> Stunning. Twelve. Oh. Thirteen. Is it too crispy? Lucky thirteen. Oh. No matter what happens with Beamy's eggs, you are through to the next round. Let's yeah, go, Bree! Now I have to hope that Beamy messed up worse than I did. Beamy, how many did you actually get on the plate? 32. So, the question is, can you beat Lynn's total of eight? I think I got nine in there. All right, let's check him out. This isn't going to work. Two of these were all ready. Jello. Seared oh, with raw in the middle. I've never seen an egg like that. Crisp on the bottom, overcooked, and raw, raw on top. top. This is the worst <laughs> start we've had. Uh, this is embarrassing. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, Lynn, things might be looking up for you. For a second chance at a white apron, Lynn, Bree, and Beamy cooked as many perfect sunny side up eggs as possible in 15 minutes. Looks fine. Not sure. Oh, he mm -hmm. got one. Bree has moved on to the next round with 13, leaving Beamy to see if he can beat Lynn's eight. Damn. You gotta be <sighs> this is good. It's three. Really? It doesn't even. Four. Does it look good? Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know. Uh -huh. So so far we have five and nine is the magic number. Yes. Great, that's burnt. This is gone. Crispy. Oh, that's really burnt. My favorite part. This is mine. That's beautiful. Okay, I don't know why I love Lucas so much. Like he's that's, just. That's a good one. If anyone else said this is my favorite part, I'd be like, oh, that's again, mean. But I don't know why like, yes. when he said it, I just want to laugh. I'm really nervous. I, can hardly I don't know. I'm so away. biased with him. Nice. I think that's, that's going to tie it. Tying run. And then look where we get back to. These are all raw, Beamy. Is there a winning egg in the bunch? Armin four seven one thing with the eight just months. One. Welcome I back. Just need Thank one you. Perfect egg. Come on, there's got to be at least one in it. Oh. Oh no, Lynn. Man, I know I brought you back, but you're going home. That's nine. Perfect. Damn. Yes. Woo! I got this. I did it. All the haters up there is just like, you know what? Keep hating. Lynn, please take your apron off and say a final goodbye to the MasterChef kitchen. <sighs> Love being here, guys. Good luck. Good night, Lynn. I forget about Lynn. I think he's not going to have eggs for breakfast tomorrow morning. I'm surprised that Lynn's walking out of those doors. I'm also relieved that Lynn's walking out of those doors. It's going <laughs> like, to be an interesting I don't battle. know why Luke is so funny. <laughs> Congratulations on making it through that 15 minutes of intense pressure. Are you ready for your final challenge? Yes, Chef. Chef. You six up there have a reservation in the MasterChef restaurant. Please wow. take your aprons off. I go into the Master Chef restaurant. Thank you. Beam and Brie, please come with us.
Round two. Last hopes are in this challenge. They're two strong cooks in their own each individual ways, but it really depends on what these two have to cook. I'm I really sure want Bree to come back. Beamy and Bree, welcome to the most amazing Master Chef restaurant, where tonight in this room, your fate will be decided. Chrissy, Luca, Jesse, James, Natasha, Jordan, you will be judging this head to head challenge alongside. Mr. Joe Bastian. You know what's funny is when this all started, I would have been so uncomfortable with judging food, but after having it done so many times to me and everyone else, like I feel like I could do a decent job at it. Mm. It was pretty exciting. Mm. Their decision. I want to judge food too. The dish. This I fucking is going love to judging. Be a blind taste test. It's a blind tasting. We have no idea if Beamy made one dish or Brie made one dish, so we're strictly going off flavor. I'm coming in here. I definitely didn't feel no love, so I'm glad that they're going to be tasting blind because they're going to find out Beamy's not a fake. The eliminated contestant who receives more votes will regain their apron. Right now, Brie and Beamy's hopes of getting another chance in this competition are literally in your hands. Please, all of you, take a seat. This blind tasting That's true, yeah, I don't like so rejecting people. I feel so bad. Are you two ready to find out what you have to cook? Yes. Sure. Come this way. Bree, you are about to go head to head in the biggest Maybe battle Maybe Beamy thinks he's a Pokemon. Beamy. This is more a plug. Thank you for the two years. Happy chance. two years. Thank you. The most Thank you so piece much. Of this epic battle is an amazing ingredient, something worthy of the world's finest restaurants. Doesn't his name sound like a Pokemon? Beamy. Skills, and it, he would sound like that. To cook Beamy. with this most incredible, this most beautiful, the freshest. And he would have a fedora. Whoa, tuna, right? King salmon. <laughs> salmon, right? These beauties are caught while trolling off the coast of Alaska. Undoubtedly, the greatest I don't know my fish. in the world. These fish in front of you cost over $500 a piece. Tuna wow. is huge, Janet. You'll that shit looks fucking down. huge. What do you One mean? Look at it. Each, and then make salmon. Like I've never Perfect. seen... Using those salmon fillets. that big. A pan seared, crispy skin side up with a perfect hollandaise sauce. We also want to see some beautiful asparagus and potatoes. This is a true. And it is bigger than a dog. Showdown. Okay, I feel like that I'm salmon is bigger than some dog. All let right. Let your dish do the talking, and let me wish you good luck. Okay, well my bad. All right. Please, That's the biggest salmon I Beaming saw. I thought it yes. was tuna. Bree, you're red. Thank you, chef. You'll have just 60 minutes to cut your fillets and cook seven perfect identical salmon dishes. Come over here, pick up your fish, and head back to your stations. Um, oh my god, I'm dead body. <laughs> I have two. Lay this fish, cook it, <laughs> prepare all my sides, make a hollandaise sauce, and plate oh, seven Bria, portions of it in so one summer. hour. This is the ultimate pressure test. I'm feeling a little nervous. Oh, God, she's like, Bimi, are you both ready? yeah, the way yeah. she yeah. said that you guys is so need to cook true. better than you ever have Oh my cooked God, <laughs> she said. Your 60 minutes. Oh, it's a dead body. Started. Now. Across 60 minutes playing, even for a professional chef, tonight, this will be a tough call. Absolutely. That's a monster to take down. The first thing I'd do across the 60 minutes, I'd fill it one side. The secret to filleting a great salmon is you've got to let the knife do the work. You can't start hacking and getting stuck with that rib cage. So clean your knife every time you slice it. You've got to turn it around. Let the dorsal fin sit in front of you, turning the fish around as it suits you. Your knife 
Yeah, let your knife do the work. Like, what the so fuck does that mean? Your your hand so you're not slashing. I'd get my second like, no, I don't understand on it. Top of the stove, and the salmon goes on the plate at the very last minute. I cannot believe what Bree's doing. I mean, you're going in at it backwards. I mean, she's upside down, almost like she's slicing the cake as opposed to filleting. Yeah, it looks just like a cake. Whereby, Beamy, look, he's coming off with one big, beautiful fillet. Oh. Just how much easier do you think his world's going to be? Slicing through this fish like butter, and it's just like, you know what? Right now, this is going smoothly for me, you know? Uh -oh. So I'm excited about this. I think I, think I got the edge. We need to clean and fillet this giant giant Alaskan king salmon still has its eyes and then I have to stare at it it is gross I feel like I'm completely screwed right now tonight Beamy and Bree are cooking seven portions of king salmon poor Bree with potatoes asparagus and hollandaise sauce Joe and the remaining six contestants. Yeah, I'm glad will judge she's back. Well, I mean, I hope she wins still. Who will but it's not looking good. But I hope she does. This is a big opportunity for me, man. You know, it's for my daughters. I'm not just cooking for me. There's no way that I could fail right now. Beamy. It feels like I never left because it hasn't been that long since I got eliminated. So there is nothing that is going to stand in my way of getting that white apron. Nothing oh my god, no what did one. she pull out right, of the right, salmon? Right. It looked really satisfying. Kind of like taking out blackheads or something. Hey, I don't know. Why did that look so good? That. Like, gross good. Like, understand how long like, they like, take like with the, the, with the, a bone? Down, oh, nice I don't know. It looks so good. Exactly. How are you cooking the potatoes? Like, she just wheezered it out. I like, oven, and then I'm going to finish them off in the pan with a little bit of rosemary and thyme. I like that. I am going to quickly blanch and then grill the asparagus. Hollandaise? I'm going to start that um sure. you know after i get the veggies and everything yes. else on this is a very tough extreme challenge how confident are you i'm not the yeah i liked operation but, as a kid you know, i'm i'm not stopping at anything sure. in order to get this apron Bree, good luck thank you i would only get to play it at like daycare Amy, how are we doing i'm all right, all right and then like the Salmon, daycare potatoes, operation holidays, always was missing like roast my asparagus in the oven i'm doing our garlic the, mashed potatoes the pieces and, cream, a little bit of cheese, and, you know, and then the sometimes it won't Bowl, buzz it was whack. What the star of the dish But is, I loved right? it. Salmon, salmon. They look beautiful, but it's going to come down to you guys cooking that salmon. Yes, are sure. you going to throw it in the oven first? Are you going to get it in a saute pan first? I'm going to cook it all in a, on, a, on a pan. Remember how thick those are. Yeah. You, okay? Yep. This is like that second chance that mm -hmm. never comes. You know I believe in you, right? Thank you, Chef. Right? Yeah. Find a way to make this happen. Yep. Thank you, Chef. Yeah. Oh, my favorite Green games as a kid, post. though. Love. The sound. You like you the can make like a little like you have a marble and you put the marble in, you make like a playground for the marble. You put the marble in and it goes swirling down whatever you made. And it's so satisfying. It just goes down, you just watch it. forgotten some of those skills and that fight that you have to have. I think it was Mousetrap. Yeah. I don't know. It was really Please, fun, though. Already blanched. Mm -hmm. Potatoes in the oven, pretty much ready to go. Mm -hmm. She's got her holidays going. All she has to do is hear that salmon and then mm -hmm. start getting everything in its place to go. She seems very cool and collected right now. She wants back. Beanie is cutting his fish beautifully. I mean, they look regimental. Which means that they'll cook even more. Yeah, if you can get them in the pan soon enough. Yeah, exactly that. But they're a thick piece of salmon. Right. So if he hasn't got his salmon in there now, within the next five minutes, he's going to be screwed. Oh. In life, you don't get too many second chances, man. In this competition, I got a second chance, and it's just like, I got to make the most of it, you know? I didn't have any games at home, so I got to play all my games at daycare. But I had to fight with the boys. They're hoggers. And a white apron. Play with them. Minutes to go. So, I mean, it's a blind taste test right now. You know, the top six plus Joe have no idea whether it's coming from Beanie or Bree. This is the fairest way to get one of these two back in the competition. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. The best day in MasterChef Kitchen. We I would feel so oh nervous awesome. sitting really next let's, to let's Joe. Get this started. I'd be like, I don't feel that anybody that they're bringing back is better than me. Beanie has a lot of hey Joe, heart, passion, and soul. I do think Bree is uh, underestimated. It's like sitting next to your teacher. I know Bree's gonna kick his ass. I didn't like sitting next to my teachers. Life.
60 seconds, come on. Let's go, Bree. 30 seconds to go, come on. Let's go, get them all done, guys. Come on, push. For a chance to return to the Master Chef competition. Let's go, get them all done, guys. Push. Bree and Beanie battle it out to feed Joe and the really? current contestants in a blind taste test. Five, I only like four, doing it if I'm doing three, well in that class. Two, one, and I'm like, <laughs> and stop. Hey. Well but if done. I'm doing Good really job. bad, I'm like, <sighs> here come the waiters, guys. <laughs> I'm looking down at my seven dishes. Feeling a little bit nervous about my sides, thinking that they could be a little bit under seasoned, but I'm feeling really confident about my salmon and knowing that that's the hero of the dish. I'm feeling good. I love holding my teacher's hand. This was not easy, man. I mean, I mean, not in high school, in like I'm tasting my potatoes. elementary they taste great. school. My asparagus, they I taste love great. holding their the hands. The sauce is on the money, man. The salmon are seasoned very well too. They're gonna love these flavors, man. I had to clarify that. Three, Bimi, well done. Right now, the fate. Of your future in elementary in school. In this competition, rest in your fellow competitors' hands, please, both of you. It's Take that thing with a five dollar dono. Great job. So thank you for watching this. Now I don't feel so lonely because I usually watch this by myself. By the way, you look like Rose from Blackpink. Thank you. I love it when people say I look like a certain K-pop star. I'll take it any day. Mm, thank you. Wow. So you can eat. It's an yeah. honor. Mm. So how do you think you did? I think the flavors are good. My plating could use a lot more work. What do you think? I think that the filet is okay. My asparagus is probably good. I can't remember if I put salt on it or not. So that's what I'm like freaking out about. Let's start with the red plate. Jordan. The red highs, I think, instantly I go to the fish. Great cook on it. I found no bones in mine. They're so sweet uh, to each other, season, you know? Like, it was throughout. they both I sound so humble. Would have, would have came together quite well. James? They're I think both the red like, plate, the yeah, I think I did this okay, but I don't know if I did tasting. this. The no. potatoes were kind of bland. The asparagus was fine. The hollandaise was great. Just wish there was more of it. Natasha? Um, I think that the salmon was actually seasoned to my liking because I like the fish to shine, and it did so. And it's a perfect cook. As far as the asparagus, it's crunchy. It's the way that I like it. It's uh, still beautiful on its own. Maybe a little bit more salt. But I like the blue plate as well. My fish, I cut some big chunks, man. I flayed it beautiful. When they taste it, I think they're gonna like what they what they taste, you know? Okay, the blue dish. Chrissy? My salmon was cooked beautifully. Potatoes on point. The hollandaise is like my ideal hollandaise. Yeah. It's perfect. I, I like love it too. It. It's, it's very so buttery. buttery, it's rich. Love it. Jesse, what do you think? I enjoyed the salmon a lot. Um, the cook on everything on the plate was really good. It had such good flavor. I feel like they tasted their food more as they cooked it. Okay, Luca? I want my salmon rare. The salmon is very overcooked, but the potatoes, I think they're cooked just perfectly, as much as the asparagus, because they still have this crunch. Overall, the size, you know, I, I wish I could switch this salmon and put it with this size. Mm. Whichever one of us gets in here, they did not make it easy for us, man. With the blue dish salmon, the salmon itself is seasoned well, and the skin is crispy, and it's quite delicious. Obviously, the quality of the fish shows through. It's a very delicious, rich, buttery salmon. I think the hollandaise sauce is good. The asparagus, they seem to be maybe a tad undercooked. And the red plate salmon is um, very, very good. Uh, all things considered, it's very moist. The asparagus have excellent seasoning. Um, they're cooked very, very well. They still have a nice crunch to them, but they're not raw. Um, whoever cooked those asparagus really knew what they were doing. The potatoes, very well cooked, but they're kind of plain Jane. And the hollandaise sauce has excellent flavor. I just wish there was more of it. So I thank you for your insightful interesting assessments of each dish. Chrissy, why don't you go and vote first? 
I feel so honored judging these dishes. And um, I feel like I've grown so much as a cook that I've learned so much. I feel like my palate has gotten a lot stronger. The destiny of these two cooks is in our hands. This is awesome. This is what it feels like to be a judge, and it feels good. This is agonizing right now. Did I do enough? Did it make a strong enough argument for me to get back in the kitchen? I don't think I've ever been given a second chance An in my life. And I am feeling the pressure. My heart is racing so fast. I'm just praying, please, please, please. All right, guys, results are in. She's gonna vote for Vimi. They don't know who cooked who. Like, they don't know who's blue and who's Vimi red. And Brie. Congratulations. So to they both just of see you. it as like a both blue work great. plate it was or a, a red huge plate. Challenge. But they don't know, like, One who. Certainly deserves your place okay. back this in the MasterChef awesome. competition. Zenbound, theme of the nine months. There Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you so much. Myself. Thanks and for the support. In front of me in these envelopes. The first person to reach four votes you will rejoin the competition. The first vote. Wow. Blue. The second vote. Red. Third vote. Blue. Blue. Two blue, one red. Fourth vote. Red. Red. Close. Fifth vote. Make it interesting. Make it interesting. Right. That's three votes for Brie. Brie, the next vote, if it's red, confirms your re entry into the MasterChef kitchen. And Bimmy, if it's red, you'll be leaving. The sixth vote. Red for no script. Red for no wow. script. <laughs> Holy smokes. Whatever color is in this envelope, Why? that person will be rejoining the biggest cooking competition. In like, America. I would love this show so much more yeah. if it was just like, the person not like this. MasterChef tonight. Like, it's always like is... this. Red! I really like Brie. Are you the next master chef? No. We'll be coming to a city near you soon. Okay, Go but like, listen, I will need to find out and then the Wow. Whatever color is in this envelope, that person will be rejoining the biggest cooking competition in America. Gordon Ramsay chose to bring me back. He saw a lot of potential and he thought that I went home too soon. I want to win today. I have to win. I have to honor him for choosing me and I need to make my culinary dream happen. Man, Graham decided to bring me back. That means a lot to me to have someone give me the second chance opportunity. It's really big and I'm very grateful for it. If I get in here, I'm going to win this thing for my daughters. Are you ready to know your fate? Yes. Yes, chef. Red. Coming back into the MasterChef competition. Red. Is. Red. Red. Oh my God. So, the votes are in. And I can tell you all, it could not have been closer. The home cook re-entering the competition mm. won by four votes to the losing <laughs> cook's three votes. <laughs> After tonight's blind taste test, <laughs> all of you have brought back one Buzz person. Jam. Please, welcome back. Bree! <gasps> Did you guys miss me or what? Oh, God. It's Bree. You know, 
Can I not get this girl out of my life? You know, I can see that these people are pissed to have me back and that the competition is on. Let's go, let's go. Dude, I'm okay, I thought it was Be Me in Heels. Uh, motivated, keep going. Bree, you know, she won today. Congratulations to Bree. She deserves it. Congratulations to Bree. My reality is I want to be a great chef, and I leave here feeling like I got this. I thought he wore heels Welcome to back. debate us. Welcome back. Thanks, Chef. How'd you feel? I feel great. Well done. Thank you. You're joining the Talented Six. If you had one individual right now that you'd love to take down, who would it be? It's always going to be Chrissy. Chrissy. <laughs> I'll go head to head with you anytime, sweetheart. All right. Anytime, any place, all the way back to Philly, I'll kick your ass. <laughs> all right. All seven of you, you're here for a reason. Now, the competition She's is seriously so on. violent. I think that all of the other contestants look really wow. nervous, and they realize that, you know, I'm a serious competitor. I'm back, and I want this more than ever. Aww. Throw me whatever you got. I'm so happy she's back. I love her. Next time on um, Master Sh Oh, oh wait, James's face is on that. Spoilers! Okay, I feel a poo poo coming. I feel a pooper coming. I do. I'm going to play ads. I don't know when I'm going to be back, but I feel a poo poo coming. Enjoy the music. I'll be as fast as I can. Maybe it won't come out. Who knows? But I gotta go. Bear back!
Was music even playing? Because my headset died in there. Sunny, thanks for getting five subs. Thank you. Was I long? I don't even know. <laughs> Thank you, Sunny. Alex B. -B. Thank you for using your prime on me. Thank you. Oh my god, Keone. Thank you for getting 10 subs to the community. Thank you. If you got gifted a sub from Sunny or Keone, please thank Hello. them. Hello, Dexter. Thank you for the prime. Thanks for using your prime on me. Feeling lighter? Yeah, I feel better. Goodbye. I'm, it was like a whole weekend of no poo poo, so. Okay, I felt bad. I was like, oh god, am I taking long? Walking into the MasterChef kitchen again just feels so right. I Yay. feel like my full potential hasn't even been reached yet. I feel like there's so much more for me to give in this competition, and this time I'm not letting anything stand in my way. You have all accomplished the almost impossible. You have made it to the final seven of the biggest culinary competition in all of America. Soon, the seven of you will be down to six. One of you will be walking out of this kitchen forever. To make sure that's not you, win this upcoming mystery box challenge. Now. Ew, it's for Your mystery boxes. <laughs> When I lift up that box, I hope that there's something I'm comfortable with. One. Because I really Why does a squatter to like a whole nother Like level. what those squatting Two. stool thingies or whatever? Three. Why do those work? Like, I don't I don't That's know. That's right. A like why does that help? Like what's the state. science or whatever behind it? I'm so curious. I'm from Texas. I'm also a man. These two things will tell you that I probably eat steak once a week. That's a fact. Walmart has provided Caveman you days? with a choice oh. premium T-bone steak. Walmart sells the highest quality choice beef, More which line? is inspected by the USDA oh. for quality. We want to see you make a composed oh. dish featuring that T-bone steak as the star. In just a moment, a truck from Walmart will be stopping right outside, oh. packed full of a variety of fresh produce and groceries. You have 45 minutes to make Maybe us a I'll steak dish one. featuring that Walmart steak as the hero. Your 45 minutes start now. I'll figure. It's kind of fun. We've never done this Walmart. before. Walmart. So I'm excited to see what's in the truck. Honestly, Walmart did a good yes. job. Like sponsoring Bingo. Everything this. Everything I need is actually there. I get some beautiful fingerling potatoes, a beautiful red onion, Brussels sprouts that are gorgeous. The produce is awesome, and the steak has flavor already. But adding more flavor, I think, is a key element in winning today. Yeah, they got their money's worth. T-bone steak, a dream, a chef's dream. But tonight we want to see this T-bone steak elevated, right? right? We do not want us to see meat and potatoes. No, exactly. Something more substantial. So, what would you do, Graham? A uh, simple rub, not too spicy, mm -hmm. and uh, grill it. And then with that, maybe some potato salad, something cool, just mm. again, kind of screaming summertime. I like Graham's hair. The mystery box is steak. I'm trying to always remember my time management skills and how important that is. I'm just trying to constantly remember all the things that I've learned, you know, and all the mistakes that I made, and I'm trying not to make them again. That's good. James, how are we doing? I'm doing great, chefs. How are y'all? What is your plan for this T-bone? Here's the thing. Every time we use these Walmart sticks, I'm always blown away at the quality of them. So when I get a good cut of meat, I don't try and screw it up with crazy sauces or anything. Good job, I try and cook James. it perfectly, serve it medium rare. I'm going to cream tough. some spinach and kale on the okay. side and make it like a nice, rich kind of thing. Good luck. <laughs> Luca, tell me about the dish. I'm doing uh, filet mignon grill. The sirloin on the pan. Nice. I do it classic Herico Verde, roasted potatoes, and a Parmesan crema for the filet. So you're going classic. And a little bit more elegant, I try. A little more elegant. Yeah, plus you don't want to play it safe. It sounds adventurous. There's a lot going on there. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Jordan, okay, but I actually hey, shop at Walmart. Blue cheese and parsley like, and whenever I can. They really the do, steak. like, a nice dry rub with have the best spice. prices yeah. for things. Yeah. Right. You think I'm not even sponsored. Like, it's much. just really yeah, fucking but, cheap. How come you've never won a mystery box? Because I overthink it and I go a little too crazy. And that's it's just not, it's not. Good luck. Like, I actually 
don't like going to places like I think Jordan's is gonna be good. I mean, yeah, he's got some uh, squash that have been battered, kind of like. I mean, like it's really pricey. So Luca's gonna do a uh, T-bone steak two ways. He's gonna quickly grill the fillet and almost like braise the New York strip. But that's the wrong thing. You would braise the fillet. Yeah, I buy, the I buy I buy things in bulk. Like if I, I want bulk Brie things, I go to Costco. Oh, really? Like yeah. my Coke Zeros, I always order from Costco. How's it going, Chrissy? It's going great. Wow, it's beautiful. Thank you. I call them palms to Chrissy. What are we in for here today? A nice uh, crusted steak with some uh, sage and... What's um, this like, a beef? That is a Brussels sprout caramelized onion salad. I like Very Trader fancy, Joe's. Chrissy. Thank you. Where did all this inspiration come from? This and is I actually so like new. sprouts. Me, I've only it's, had it, or I've only ordered I'm from so there excited. once. I'm excited, too. <laughs> and it, it was pretty good. Oh my gosh, how did that happen? Oh yeah, I don't like Whole Foods. I went to Chrissy's and I was like, who is this cook? Potato galette with like a warm vegetable salad. Whoa. Really? Or I'm like, out of nowhere. She's like a different person. Wow. Come on, guys, you've got to start finishing those plates. Come on. Last 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, six 5, five four, 4, 3, 2, two one and stop. Five, four, three. I like two, I like Gordon's stop. voice when he's air. counting down. I don't know why. It oh sounds like he's singing. Throughout the mystery box challenge, the judges taste elements of all the home cooks' dishes as they come together. They now take one. There's like garlic butter on that one, the one before. And the winner of this challenge will receive a major advantage in the next it's round. It's like I can smell it. We gave you a Walmart Choice Premium T bone steak and some groceries. We asked you to make us a delicious steak dish. The first dish that we want to bring forward, this person has yet to win a mystery. I box. love garlic butter. Today, could be it can go on anything. Bread, changes all chips, crackers, everything. Jordan. Meat. Oh. Finally. Yeah, seriously. What's the dish? I have a seared New York strip with a dry rub on it, a little spice on it. Parsley and celery root puree. The compound butter is parsley, blue cheese, and lemon zest. Along with some I don't think onions, that's the one I saw spice. earlier with the garlic like the butter on it. <laughs> Maybe it is. <laughs> We're looking for a perfect and it looked like rare. garlic butter to me. What do you think? Nah, a little more rare. I don't mind that. Me neither. I love that. I do like the seasoning on your steak. These are caramelized onions? Yeah, I took the uh, bones and fat that I did remove, I rendered down mm. and then caramelized with those. I like that. Thank you. Sweet, rich, definitely top three dish. Really good. Thank you, Wow. Joe. Hashtag you top like three CD. dish. Yeah, strip. Just strip. Like, did people actually go on Twitter and, and use those hashtags and stuff? Um, like, I, the onions I'm sad I missed the protein together. that era. Delicious. Like, I totally would have been that girl tweeting you, at MasterChef while watching. But I don't think I was on, I don't know. Flavor's there. Sweet, sour, the spice on the steak. All of those flavors are really nice. Yeah, this but I never to be in the top see it for sure. trending. Thank you, Chef. I've only been in the top three yeah, one I'd be time, like, and it's OMG, been quite some time since then. Jordan's this dish looks so good. I thought that was garlic butter. Hashtag top the three dish. dish that we would like to examine That's further, what I would write. The home cook that put it together is starting to hit this level. The subtitles aren't accurate. Oh Luca. yeah, that garlic butter. That's garlic I don't know butter, what I think. The hell's been going on with Luca? But all of a sudden, that dude has been on fire. I really like that to stop. As we say, Luca, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. What's the dish? I make a grilled filet mignon, served with dairy covers and roasted potatoes, very classic, with the parmesan crema. The sirloin steak is actually pan seared with caramelized onions, and I made beef sauce. So why did you wait till now to start creating these kind of dishes? Like, in the beginning, were you just fluffing it? Were you not no. paying attention? You almost went home. In Vegas, I mean, come on. I think it's really like a learning process. This is like a steak you would expect to have like in a really good Parisian bistro or maybe in the West Village in New York. Really good. Aww. Thank you. 
Luca, why two different ways? Because I didn't want to grill the T-bone steak just like that. It would have been, I think, way too simple. Delicious. It's seasoned beautifully. You're taking this competition very serious now because the amount of effort you put into that dish over the last 45 minutes was extraordinary. You're the real deal. Good job. Thank you. Two times in a row in the top three. Nice job, dude. I worked so hard to get that to this That sounded point. like that hurt. That fist bump? Oh, I don't know why. I didn't like that way. noise. It was like... The third and final <coughs> dish that we are so excited <coughs> to taste. This individual, they have come out of their comfort zone, really pushed themselves, but elevated their execution the sort of one better one. than we could have hoped for. I just want to know if it's... Is it garlic butter? Is it garlic butter? Please tell me. Oh, my God. Yes. She's bringing the garlic butter. Is it... What is the dish? Just a uh, pan-seared steak with compound butter. Um, compound I call it butter. Chrissy. And uh, caramelized onion and Brussels sprouts. Why? Well, just call it garlic right butter, right? Does not look like Were garlic butter to butter, me. Butter, or what did you do? Like, no, uh, garlic cast iron butter skillet. looks like that. Oh, a cast but it skillet. is, right? I always thought it was the best because it gave it such a good caramelization on there and crust. The steak on its own is delicious. But when you rub that compound butter on, that lemon zest comes through, those There's herbs. Lemon incredible zest complement in to the minerality of that steak. We saw a lot of variations of fingerling potatoes, fried, crispy, cut up like home fries. These surpass them all. I think you found your voice in cooking, so great job. Thanks. The cook on the cup at medium rare. Yeah, it just looks like the garlic and herbs. Steak is done freshly. Even though I've never been to a fancy steakhouse. Never? No. First of all, the ingredients aren't unusual for you, but what you've managed to do is elevate it. I mean, it's just, again, like something out of a stunning steakhouse. Um, the gamut wow. is delicious. Absolutely blown away by that because of the Thank crispiness you. and the seasoning on there. Those good potatoes job. look good. <sighs> Seriously, great job. This is where it gets more difficult for us. But there was one dish that was just outsmarting its competition. The person who cooked the best steak dish tonight, who will now receive a huge advantage in the up-and-coming elimination challenge. Congratulations. In this mystery box challenge, the home cooks had just 45 minutes to prepare an amazing dish with a Walmart T-bone steak. Only one of you three can be the winner and join us in the pantry for this huge advantage. I think the it might be the best Chrissy. Steak dish tonight. Congratulations. I think it might be Chrissy. Chrissy, finally. I won. <laughs> I'm feeling oh, really no. proud. I kicked ass today, and my kid would be proud oh, of no. me. Chrissy, are you ready? To go to the pantry you know? and find out your huge advantage. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's go. Good job. Well done. I just well done, do. Well done, well done. Like. What just happened? If <laughs> I were I'm them, so I would have picked She's Chrissy the too. She's done uh, potatoes before. I thought they got it. I thought you had it too. Chrissy no, I mean, is now in control of the elimination test. Where you can tell by the way they praise the them, like Welcome, before Chrissy. and after. And you just like tally up the, the points. Of the challenge. Just As a minute, always, you watch these before you watch them the with us. I swear. I swear, I would never, I would never, I would never be able to sit here and pretend like, yes, I would be so bored. I got like this evilness going in me. You've got to use that to your advantage. Absolutely. I would be so bored if I had to rewatch and pretend I never watched it. That you don't have to cook in the upcoming challenge. Congratulations, you are now in the top six. The theme of this challenge is fresh food. I hear something. Really fresh food. <gasps> Any oh idea what's under God. here? That sounds like a frog or a cricket. Well, under here. Sounds I like have... a bird. What is well, that? Weighing only oh half God, a pound. It is a bird. This tiny bird can easily be overcooked. Oh, under here. Oh, I'm so happy Bree didn't win. 
A pigeon. Uh, she would hate this. This meat is dark, tender, moist, but it can be gamey. I have a beautiful Midwestern Ooh. pheasant. Oh my gosh, which she's is probably beautiful. the bird that people are least likely to have worked with. But it's if so you don't know pretty. what you're doing with this bird, it's impossible to know. I don't think they have to Okay, they just keep getting bigger. What do you think's under here? I don't know, but I'm just so excited because Bree's gonna freak out. She has to cook it. I know, but she doesn't have to see it like a alive. Chicken. Does that make Easily. sense? The most Does familiar she? bird in this country. I don't think they have to the butcher it. I have a gorgeous duck. Very difficult to get right. Laced with a lot of fat, and by the time you render the fat down, you're hoping you haven't overcooked the protein. And then finally, the most amazing. Incredible. Turkey! It's very cumbersome to work with. It can be very easily dried out. I hate mm, the you neck of turkeys. Are, uh, bird it's so like uses mm, in this elimination challenge. Rough looking and dry. I totally have <laughs> the neck of, of turkeys. It's and like I'm oh. gonna make a devastating strategic blow to these peeps, and they're gonna be like, "Wow, we just got hit with a Chrissy missile." <laughs> they are really tasty. Peeps. Because Chrissy won the last mystery box challenge, she is safe from elimination and is now guaranteed a spot in the top six of MasterChef. At the end of tonight, at least one of you will be leaving the MasterChef kitchen. There were six different proteins in the pantry. Chrissy assigned one protein for each of you. You guys will have five minutes to collect your assigned protein. Chris, the pantry. send them the thousand bits because be I like smart. Nirvana, even if be Janet fast. doesn't. Okay, fine, I like Janet More too. Well, it doesn't mean I very, don't very like careful. Nirvana. I just didn't really grow up <laughs> listening to them. Your horrific five minutes in the pantry. Oh, thank you. Start I don't dislike them. Now. Paralegal, their job is to gather information. Why does Natasha wear heels? Like every time I see her try to run to the pantry, she's like, So I got a lot of ammo to take out a key player. Like I'm like the girl. Just bring shoes. There's a series of live avian creatures in this area. No, like they the don't have to scenario. butcher it. It's a pico, right? A pico? What is this? It's a turkey. It's a turkey. <laughs> Losers. Do they have our names on it? Luke that has Lucas face on it. I'm a turkey? No, go get you it. Get I it. don't get it. You gotta catch it. I don't catch a turkey. Each <laughs> bird has a tag on it with the face of the cook what that did we left we to cook that bird. Oh! <laughs> You should like me. I'm a vegetarian. Oh, God. <laughs> Natasha and Luca are my biggest competition, and third is Jordan. I know that Natasha has never worked with nor even tasted a pheasant. I think she might struggle the most today. Hi, guy. Stop. Come here. <laughs> they have outfits the and styles they are required to wear for the show for the personality on screen. Wait, how do you know this? <laughs> I don't know how like to believe guy. you or not I'm as well. giving the quail to Jordan because the quail is very complicated and Jordan is so complicated that if my plan with Natasha doesn't work out and Luca doesn't screw up like I feel like he's going to, Jordan's bound to. I'm holding a turkey. Hello. I've never killed an animal before, but I didn't come to MasterChef to be the one that doesn't do what I have to do. Uh, if I have to kill it, I'll kill it. If I have to kill it with my bare hands, I'll kill it with my bare hands. Whatever it takes. Oh my god. All of you are holding a live bird in your hands. The kind of bird that you have to cook with this evening. Yeah, the turkey's head And is... produce a stunning dish. <laughs> Its heart is beating out of its chest, and I'm like, they're gonna make us kill the chicken. I can't do this. But all of you, don't worry. Those birds are safe. 
come with me. Let's put them back in the cages, please. Thank God. I do not know what I would have done if I had to butcher the bird. Nice, thank you. Ooh. Okay, great. Right, all of you, please head back Chrissy to the station. Chrissy looks where you'll find disappointed. Bird, but this time, plucked and ready to cook with. I am very relieved that I do not have to strangle a duck in front of other people. Seems like more of a private thing. We've got 60 minutes to create a stunning dish where the bird has to be the hero. My Your God. 60 minutes starts now. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know how to butcher this bird, so I might as well take my apron off. This is a very tough elimination challenge. We all know that Chrissy can cook. This is the first time I think that she's shown that intellect of understanding yeah. what every bird represents and brings to the yeah. table and how each contestant is going to get screwed with it. I don't know anything really about the pheasant. I just know that it's a different taste than chicken or turkey, so I think I'm a little bit in trouble tonight. Chrissy gave Natasha what I consider to be probably the most difficult bird, the pheasant. It dries out immediately. You have to know how to cook it. It has a very particular taste. It could put Natasha in the bottom three and it could quite possibly send her home. Get this yeah, I love joint. looking at the purple Amazing vegetables. Too, uh, There's this hopefully make a little pink stock. yam. I'm not as confident as I normally am going like into all of these. Like a pink potato from Japan really or worried. something. It was so pretty. You got me, Chrissy. You'll be fine. I'm not really worried about you. I am. Nah, you'll be fine. Obviously, I want Natasha to go home because I don't like the fact that she can cook and bake because, like, that's my thing. There's only room for one Chrissy in this competition. <laughs> In tonight's elimination test, the home cooks have just 60 minutes to prepare a dish using a bird. Oh, come here. That was no, selected it wasn't for them Ube. by mystery box winner, Chrissy. That's purple. Oh, my God. She's like an time. evil villain no, no, laughing the up there. Be the hero. I've got three missiles out there focused on my biggest competition. I hope they, like, told her. Lucas, They're like, give Jordan, us your evil laugh. And she just, like, did it, maybe. Right, Luca, how are you doing? I'm doing great, chef. So, how are you going to cook the turkey? Well, I took the breast, put it in the oven, just in You're case. You're roasting the breast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 60 minutes, not six hours. I know, I know. But it's not that big. In this one, I'm going to treat them like a chicken breast. Why do you think she gave you the turkey? Because I believe she doesn't think I have experience uh, with turkey, because in Italy, we really don't eat turkey. No, there's a short version of that. She wants you out of here. Yeah? <laughs> Good luck. Thank you, chef. So, just what are you making? Pan-fried chicken? You got a pass today, huh? I don't, wouldn't call it a pass. I'm going to go a little southern today, do a little succotash. This looks like a very homey south dish. I see bacon, yep. I see chicken, it's I see It's going to be a homey south dish. Yeah, don't make it too homey, though. We're still looking for, like, right, nice elevated. plating, elevated restaurant dish. Right. Who do you think needs to leave now? I would love to see Natasha go home today. And I kind of think that was part of the target plan of Chrissy and something we all want. Just coming up to 20 minutes to go. Marie, what are you doing? I am uh, stuffing my pigeon. This was my stuffing. What's in there? Beet greens, apples, sage, chives, a little bit of lemon juice. Mm -hmm. So you're bringing a vegetarian sort of blend into the pigeon's cavity. Yes, chef, right? exactly. Okay, good. Good luck. That sounds good. And, like, Gordon seemed to not okay, mind the taste. Walk me through what you have with the quail. Just salt and pepper it in and let it sit. What is in the sauce? Some chicken stock, and then I fortified it with some root veggies. You know like what the problem cinnamon? with this sauce? It tastes like pre-made chicken stock. I just used half chicken stock, half water, and, and put more flavoring in oh. it. Dude, you did nothing with your quail. It was on the bench till 40 minutes gone. You didn't marinate it. You didn't do anything to just it. Food. If you don't figure out how to get some quail flavor into that sauce, you're in big trouble. Uh -oh. Fix it up. Fix it up. You got, like, 10 minutes. Chrissy's been the distributor of a lot of pain in this elimination challenge. Jessie is really underperforming for me. I mean, she's got another corn relish on the side, and then the chicken. Jeff's she's five on one. Pain. Yeah, That's yeah. They were the 44 one. Four months. Welcome back. Fair, Thank you. Yeah. My I'm brain. With Brie. So she stuffed the pigeon, and she's left it whole. She's been so creative with what she's doing. This girl's a vegetarian, right. guys. I really impressed Natasha thinking about making a stock with the feds and making a result. It might not only save her, it might elevate her to the top. It's that smart of a dish. 
be really refined. Mm -hmm. Jordan took some pre-made chicken stock and reduced it to make the sauce. And then he boiled the quail in it. Okay. It's like flaccid, just quail skin yeah. sitting Still in a pot. Yeah. This is, again, Jordan reaching way beyond his ability. And this time, he's going to fall flat on his face, and it might take uh -oh. him Last minute. Do that bird justice, guys. Come on, guys. Ten, nine, eight, eight seven, seven, six, six five, five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. And stop, guys. It's when Gordon says well done. four. Right. Who thinks four. they've got the best bird? Four. Not all at the same time. Do you like Natasha? No one? Um, Seriously? Not really. Uh, Chrissy, please, would you be so kind to make your way I to like your Jessie station? I like Jessie and Brie. Right, let's taste these incredible birds. First up, Jessie, please. I can't say I feel overly confident about my dish, but these flavors go together, so... Who do I want I to win? I should be fine. I should be safe. Um... So, what is it? We have I don't have a, someone I really sauce. want to win. Summer vegetable sauce. But I'd be happy with Jesse, Bree, and Luca. This was a challenge where we were looking for sophisticated dishes. That's my top dishes. three. You think that a pan roasted chicken breast with mashed potatoes and corn succotash is like restaurant? My ideas of going super gourmet I hadn't practiced, so I thought chicken breast would be the safe bet. Mm, safe. Is that how you wanted to play it? Just didn't want to try something new that horribly went wrong. Does that look juicy? It's cooked through. It could be juicier. It's really dry. It seems like a dish that's not really in the game to play. The disappointment, Jess. Right. This looks like uh, what uh -oh. we did at the family reunion with Skinner playing in the background. Look at that. Looks like frozen dinner. Yeah, Christine was just like. This is not. I loved her best. so much. This is the no kind of one plate came. That we send people home. Close. On. I like full on just, rooted for her. So Same with Whitney. Like just playing safe. But I here, I just like. In this competition, we're down to the final seven. Safe doesn't get you anywhere. I don't have someone like that in this. Um, the sweet season. corn, you know, is pale. The peppers are, you know, raw. If that's your best, then maybe it's time to go back and have another dinner with your parents. Dude, I gave you chicken. If you go home, you kind of deserve it. Yeah. We're getting down to the wire now, and playing safe isn't going to get you very far. I don't want to see mashed potatoes anymore. I don't want to see bland, boring succotash on the plate. If that's your best, then Maybe it's time to go back and have another dinner with your parents. I completely agreed with everything the judges had to say. There's only six of us cooking. You can't get away with simple, and I have no excuse. Next up, Natasha. Walking up to the judges, I'm a little bit nervous. This plate right now doesn't look like it's a winner dish. So what is it? It's a risotto with a pheasant breast and some purple cauliflower and then some white Whoa. asparagus. This purple cauliflower tastes like cauliflower, excellent. like and, regular. Uh, the pheasant is cooked like cauliflower. perfectly. It's just still moist and really great. Considering that Chrissy really tried to give you a roadblock to stumble on, instead, you took the pheasant and used it as a stepping stone really kicked it up a notch. It's Delicious, taste great, cool. smart, intelligent, flavorful, very elegant, very refined. I wish you could all taste this because it, it makes... really is on another level. Congratulations. Her Thank plate you. look better. Like it's just so What's pretty. The I the love pheasant? the um, color. It's salt, some pepper, and I added a little bit of sumac on there. The pheasant is delicious. Uh, pink, beautifully cooked. The citrus flavor from the sumac is wonderful. I mean, traditionally, North African. Moroccan, sometimes French-inspired dishes are seasoned with that, but uh, that really works. Thank you. I thought, honestly, you're going to overcook that bird, but no, now you've nailed it. You're a force to be reckoned with. Good job. Thank you. Chrissy, I think your plan's backfired. Natasha keeps getting these passes. I don't think she's as great as she thinks she is. 
All right, next up, please. James. <sighs> My duck is rubbed with togarashi. And oh, that looks seared, so good. Kimchi, some ginger scallion oh rice. Oh my god, he used kimchi. Okay, this I like fat. rarely, I don't I think I've ever seen kimchi of, quote, in unquote, Asian food. It consists of like adding soy sauce in or something else. Master Here you're Chef yet. Kimchi, spicing the duck with like, togarashi. That's awesome. Which is a Japanese chili pepper spice blend. I think this is the first time. Duck's flavor and what you put together with what you had is as good as I think anything else you put up. Good job. Thanks. That looks so good. Okay, Luca. His duck looked so the good. Turkey. turkey. So what did you do? Pancetta wrap, turkey tender, served with braised Swiss chard, sweet potatoes puree, saute mushroom, and uh, red wine cranberry sauce. Why did she give you a turkey? I think because she knew that, you know, in Italy we don't eat that many turkeys, and the only time that I really eat turkey is for Thanksgiving, and I usually never cook it. The uh, turkey is actually delicious. It's moist, seasoned very nicely. The saltiness of the pancetta gives it a great flavor. I like the puree. I mean, you took a turkey breast and kind of turned it into like a restaurant-y kind of dish. Good job, Luca. Thank you. Let's go, Brie. Fly that pigeon down. Brie apparently decided to leave the pigeon whole instead of butchering it because of her animal views. And I hope it's rolling inside because I hate her. Oh my this God, Chrissy, stop. I'm like pigeon. uncomfortable with apples, how like greens, hateful sage, you are. Thyme, it is like uncomfortable. Egg, like I just can't, like holy fuck, I... Red beets. Visually, it's it looks weird. like it's just been sent out to the restaurant to get carved. It's got that wow factor, because you've got color all around it. It's what are you looking so in terms weird. of cook-wise? Well, I believe that it's supposed to be rare. Yeah, rare, medium rare. And there already, you can see you have a absolute, perfectly cooked pigeon. Extraordinary. How do you know how to do that? I took your advice from last time, and I touched it. It's delicious. I mean, really good indeed. The reason it's so moist is because you stuffed it. So that is cooked absolutely on it's point. Okay, Chad, kill him with kindness. Nice. The center's delicious. Look, she's Part of me is still worried Keep that one your day head she's going to come back and bite you on the butt that you are vegetarian. Try However, to ignore every challenge, the you're nailing it. Weird good job. hater. Really good job. God, so weird. So, Brie, I went to your bench, I touched your oh, pigeon, great. and I said, you know, guys, this is going to be bloody and raw at the bone. And Gordon said, no, it's not. It's going to be perfectly cooked. And I was like, no, it's not. It's going to be raw. And sure enough, and it happens once in a while. Gordon's right. <laughs> you really nailed it. Thank you. Your original cook is uh, very intuitive, very smart. I think you are a front runner. And I think that more people in this room should really look out for you because you're strong. All right, next up, please, Jordan. Looking at Jordan's plate as he's walking by, it almost looks like he's kind of given up. It looks like something that came out of a diner. So describe the dish. Pan-seared quail finished off in a braised. I don't think it looks that bad. Root vegetables fortified with some red wine. So, I mean, as a chef, instinctively, did you feel out of your element oh, yeah, with the quail? Definitely felt out of my element. Uh, I've never dealt with quail. Didn't know I if mean... I should let it sing by itself and just treat it with some salt and pepper, pan sear mm -hmm. it, and that's what I ended up doing in the I le It has a lot of sauce, which I love. Cherry lip it's Jojo, thank you for the prime. I didn't know thank if I was you. supposed to serve it raw or all the way cooked. That's oh. almost 200 to eat, no? I mean, Ooh. that's disgusting. I didn't know how to cook it. Dude, I expect so much more from you now. Have you already checked out? Are you not <laughs> I didn't, anymore? Or what's... No, I didn't mean to check out. It's the quail got the best of me. The olives, the burnt vegetables, and then the quail trying to be cooked in a cream sauce, which was so thick and so dense, and just tasted of chicken. Here's what you've got to start doing. Something you're not familiar with, don't ignore it for 45 minutes of the 60 minutes. Get used to it. Whether it's a brine, a pickle, a marinade, quail needs help. Okay. I think this has been your worst performance. I see. Honestly, if I didn't know something, I would deal with it later, to do with too. Because that's like it's how like I. Fleshy, raw. Would always 
go about taking my exams or quizzes or this tests. Is beyond any like if I got stuck on a question, I move on and then I come back to it later. To think about this but book. I guess it's different mm -hmm. when cooking. Chrissy targeted me today and she nailed it. Hook, line, sinker. I have been sunk. This is a fleshy, raw oh, God. disappointment. If you get back on the delivery route, you'll have a lot of time to think about this quail. Yeah. I'm not meant to be a delivery driver because food is where my heart lies. My ultimate food dream is to build a five-star dive bar. So I'm not ready to go home yet. For tonight's elimination challenge, we ask you to cook us a restaurant quality, stunning dish using the birds that Chrissy selected for you. Yeah, you could deliver Chrissy food. Definitely well, he'd probably eat cards. my food. They're good move. <laughs> what if there he were ate? Two successes tonight. I'll the never forget. Book continues to excel, continues to surprise like years us. Years ago, two years ago, well done, Brie. before COVID and stuff, you they would like will be one of not the team package in the next things challenge. properly. Well, like now, it's like fully well, sealed. Because with I tape and stuff. But before it the wasn't, and I would get my fries, and one time I had like really, three really fries left. Would leave the competition tonight, but the exact opposite well, happened. Up. The person that excelled once again, Natasha. Okay, well not done. three, but it was like I could hold all of it in that one hand. Yeah, I complained. Challenge. I'm on cloud nine. Yeah, I think I'm my happy. driver ate my Chrissy food. I'm serious. Work. I'm not going to take it easy on anyone anymore. I have to sit back, have a glass of wine, and, and go through my hit list. The vast majority of you did a great job tonight. However, there were two dishes that just didn't work. The first dish, nowhere near ambitious enough, but maybe this individual has peaked. Jesse, make your way down here. The second disaster dish tonight, this individual had no idea how to execute this small, delicate bird. Jordan, make your way down. Yeah, I, I mean, I set out three missiles today, and Jordan was a direct hit, but Jesse, like, dude, I gave you chicken. How easy could I make it for you? Okay, Jesse, chill. that was boring and uninspiring. Protein itself was Overcooked, lackluster in flavor. You want to know her past? The garnish was even worse. Bland. I feel that way with some stuff. Jordan, that was underwhelming. And just, you're out your depth. Two home cooks. Yeah, she's not wrong. I just don't like hearing it from Chrissy because she's just so, like, five. mean. Like, if I heard it from Luca, I would be like. I'd like to keep you both in the competition. I don't know why when Chrissy says it, I'm just like, Ugh. But we can't. <laughs> Someone is going to leave. Jesse, step forward. <sighs> it was really seriously close. Oh, man. Uh, not Jesse. Please, not Jesse. Please. Into the top six. Oh my god. Please say goodbye to Jordan. <sighs> Honestly, I would riot if Jesse went home. Because between her and Jesse, Jordan, I feel like she has is not an option. Cooked oh, no. had better dishes Jordan, before. I think that And you his was raw. Have a tremendous ability to cook. And you're very hard working. Minneapolis, Chicago, they're pretty close. So if you ever want to take that trip and come work in the restaurant door to the kitchen's open. Thank you, Graham. Yeah, hers is just basic. Attributes. What I want is the foundation. And that would be an amazing opportunity to go and spend three months in a kitchen. Because you got it. And that's what hurts, sending you home tonight. You've got it. And it's you not about how it. you start, it's how you, you end. Too much of it. Yeah. Do not fall out of love with cooking. I know the dream. For and this? I don't know that. about this. We'll say goodbye, big man. Look out there, the top six. Who is going to win MasterChef? I don't think there's a question in my mind. That lady right there, Miss Natasha, she can be a bitch because she knows what she's doing. And you can get away with being a bitch if you can back it up, and she can back it up. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Peace, man. It's been a fun journey. 
I've worked my ass off to get to here, and I love food. And this is what I want to do with the rest of my life. Goodbye, Jordan. I'm going to continue taking risks. I'm going to continue being confident, <laughs> but there's going to be another humble side of me. And without this experience, I wouldn't have learned that. You are the one to watch, my friend. I'm really proud. <laughs> no, I mean, like, oh, I we don't cry. I'm going to cry. And I got to be tutored under them. That's a lifetime experience that not many people get. You're a delivery driver, yet you cook like a pastry chef because you've got that kind of magic in you. Thank you, chef. I have learned to keep kicking, keep treading, keep giving it your all. It's perfect. It's a restaurant dish. My mother instilled in me at a young age that if you don't cook with the emotion that you carry yourself in the world, then you're not cooking with your heart. <sighs> I came and I wanted to do my mom proud. And I think I did my mom proud. Next time on Master. Get in the chopper. Oh, God. That was kind of sad at the end. Not going to lie. Had me in the feelings. This is Luminosity X Choco Bars, bro. Um, brr, oh, I'll drink my water and scruff scruffy. Thank you for 38 months. Welcome back. Thank you. Can you watch this in between episodes? Um, maybe send it to my mods or my mods will click in. Let me know if it's okay. I don't know. I'm trying to be more wary with the. Hello. Uh, quiet Kevin, 33 months. Welcome back. Thank you. It's safe? Okay. Thanks, guys. I took your advice from last time. Hello. Oops. I took your advice from last time. Um, Christian Threat, thank you for the two months. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's watch this. I touched it. So, Brie. I went to your bench, I touched your pigeon, and I said, you know, guys, this is going to be bloody and raw at the bone. And Gordon said, no, it's not. It's going to be perfectly cooked. And I was like, no, it's not. It's going to be raw. Hello? And Gordon said, no, it's not. It's going to be perfectly cooked. And I was like, no, it's not. It's going to be raw. And Gordon said, no, it's not. It's going to be perfectly cooked. <laughs> and I said, you know, guys, this is going to be bloody and raw at the bone. And sure enough, Gordon said, <laughs> not. It's gonna be perfect. Imagine if that was an actual and thing. And it happens once in a while. And Gordon said, No, it's not. It's oh my god. Oh Gordon my god, it. why? You really nailed it. I touched it. Oh my god, why? Wait, let me test. Okay, it won't be too loud. Thank God. Tay Tay Todd, thank you for the prime. Welcome to Tino Army. When you're happy, I'm happy. Thank you. No, no, no. It's an edit. It's an edit. But imagine if that was real. I'd be like, what? Dude, okay, yeah. It, it hit me pretty late until I realized, wait, this is on loop. That's sweet. All right, 30 seconds. I'm waiting and then we will play the rest. Yeehaw. Hello. Hello. Meta Clips 2, thank you for the three months. Welcome back to Tito Army. When you're happy, I'm happy. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Simba Fish 23, thank you for the prime. Thank you. Ba -ba. Charlie Man chat for the win. <gasps> Kill our man, Gerald. Thank you for gifting five subs to the community. Thank you so much. Thank you. Orful Brush, thank you for the two months. Welcome back. Thank you.
get in the chopper. I don't know why when I see a helicopter, I always hear it in my head. Get in the chopper. It looks like we are in a movie. The three judges coming out from the helicopter. I've never been in a helicopter before. I think I would shit myself. Los Angeles. My God, I would hate right, standing guys, up there. Six, I see five. It looks Where's scary. Chrissy? She's on the roof, but she couldn't make it up here. She's what? She's terrified of heights. Serious? I'm deathly afraid of heights, and I realize how high up I am. Ooh, I I'm don't like, like I'm it either. I'm gonna out up here, and I'm probably gonna die. Well, Master Chef waits for nobody. As you can probably I understand guess, that we a just little. Bring you here for the view. Directly beneath our feet sits WP24. It's a stunning fine dining restaurant with a very modern take on Chinese cuisine. That's where you're going to face one of the most grueling challenges we do in this entire competition, the restaurant takeover. Natasha the Ritz Carlton. Marie, since you had the winning That's dishes a nice in the last hotel, challenge, right? You will be the captains in this team challenge. Please step forward. The last challenge that Brie and I went up against each other as team captains, I won. So hopefully I can keep that streak running. Natasha, mm -hmm. since you had the best dish, you get to pick first. I need a co-captain. And Jesse puts out beautiful plates, and she's got finesse, so Jesse. Wow. I obviously want to be on Natasha's team. Didn't work out so well with Brie being the captain last time. Can't trust a vegetarian because she can't eat the food that's being sent out. Three, captain of the blue I mean, team, we still have I mean, Chrissy downstairs. True. Don't forget about Chrissy. See, I just feel like she's James. just nice about it. And Luca. I'm choosing this person because I know they'll be comfortable with the cuisine we're working with today. James. Wow, good choice. Natasha, this next pick, you're picking for both teams, so you have a big advantage here. I would like someone who has been around the restaurant business before and still in it. Oh, so Luca, Luca. It's gonna be my pick. So that means no, by default, Brie gets Chrissy is in Chrissy the blue team. again. Chrissy has a record of zero wins in team challenges, which is impressive in the worst way possible. Are you guys ready? Absolutely, yes, chef. chef. Let's get it on. Do you think she'll ever get one win? Chrissy, you okay, darling? We missed you up there. Let's uh, let's head back down. Uh, I didn't know you were scared of heights. Guys, come down, please. I want to introduce you to a very special man. Executive chef, John Lechleitner. So, John is going to give you the most amazing demonstration, and then you are going to replicate those dishes. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Let's head over to the walk. Our home cooks will now have to learn the four top-selling signature dishes of WP24. Hello. Appetizers, Hello, steamed Ratman. scalloped shrimp Thank shumai. Thank you for the prime. And Thank crisp you. Welcome. And crisp lettuce with tempura sweet mein lobster, along with entrees, oh my God. Singapore style chili prawns, Holy and moly. stir fried wagyu beef with Bruh. a chili garlic and sweet I bean sauce. I want to eat, yeah? This is going to be for the shumai. It's a uh, Worcester sauce, Shaoxiang stock, slurry, salt, sugar. Shuma. Drizzle in your egg. Let the egg cook all the way through. Throw in your crab. I got a cook four-star Chinese food, and I hate Asian food, and I've never cooked it before. Put your scallop How on could top, you? and then you go around, and you just start pinching around, and then put the whole plate just right How in the How could you, like Chrissy? Seven minutes in the steamer. I love Asian food. Based on food. feedback from the diners and performance in the kitchen, the judges will decide the winning team. So next we have the lobster. Take your lobster, drop them in one at a time. The losing team will face the dreaded pressure test. A little bit of cilantro. So, John, entrees, please. Uh, chili prawns. Chili prawns. Everything that is being produced tonight is being produced on a walk. And getting the technique down of no, working yeah, on a walk, she's like, that takes years I mean, she hates practice. sushi. You can't your shrimp. And she I'm called slow, Chinese so guys, moss, ideally, like, Chinese pubic hair. And that they're cooking Chinese food, and she's fast. like, I hate and Asian food. Like, I genuinely one think one she just doesn't Stir like buddy. Asian food, like, uh, in all Chinese countries. Chives, budding chives, snap peas, snow peas. There's, like, and 37 that's... ingredients into it. It's quick. Start to finish, two and a half minutes, and I was taking my time. It's a ton of info to take in at once. It's going to be intense. OK, guys, wow. each team will have to serve 22 regular customers of this fantastic restaurant. And there's one more 
very important part of this challenge. I will be expediting. There's no way on earth that I am leaving that to any of you. <laughs> Ramsey is going to be expediting, which already freaks me out. I, I want to expedite. Hope we don't lose our focus when he's at us. One hour of prep, and you've got two hours. What is of this? Service. We can't send ready? this out. Yes. It's Your raw. Time starts. Ramsey, get down! Okay, guys. Okay, this is what I think we should do. At your Home cooks I'm must get organized to quickly to prep for these highly complex dishes. You're comfortable with frying the lobster off? Speak so to me! Okay I can do this, Shumai. Then I'll be plating everything, putting it out on the window. Come on, let's do this. For the appetizers, Captain Natasha has assigned Jesse to the lobster lettuce cups and Hello. Luca to the scallop shrimp shumai. Diamond shumai, Miner 619, thank you for the prize. The thank you. Plating. Hello. So for both the appetizers and the entrees, I'm going to be on the end at plating, finishing all the garnishes, like Captain Natasha, Captain Bree will be overseeing the final dishes and has assigned Chrissy to the lobster lettuce cups and James okay, to the shumai. Okay, I want to add one more thing scenario. to my list. I've got a vegetarian and a girl. I want to make wonton, my own wontons. I would watch my mom Asian make cuisine. homemade wontons. Them. I've always wanted to learn. Like, maybe I can ask my mom for the recipe. I want to like be able to fold it and everything. Good, good, good. This is as hard as it gets. They're gonna cook Asian food in woks. I wouldn't know how to cook in a wok. And don't forget, it's three versus three. And yeah, like my mom's a pro, though. This no. is really she small like, kitchen crew. Mm, I don't Team know. Is crucial. The she like dips her out. hand in this like liquid, and then she like does this, and then she just does that. I As love my mom's falls, wontons. WP and then she just freezes it, and business. whenever we want it, we can just take it out of the freezer and like and boil it and make soup out of it, cooks. or we can um, pan fry it and, and like dip it in like soy sauce, and it's and so order. good. Yes, Let's go, guys. You know, the prep part was pretty easy, but steaming these guys and having a sauce I think it is water. Right <laughs> is not the easy part. All right, James. Here we go, baby. First table, blue team. Two on the table, 50. One, two, my one lobster. Yes, chef. Thank you. This is it. Okay, on order, red team. Yes, chef. Two on the table, 52. One, two, my one lobster. Yes, chef. Thank you. Let's go, guys. Is that steamer on full? Yes, it is. It should be. Yeah, no, my mom's oh, wow. like. Chrissy. Yes. Thinking about steam, visiting me salad, with my dad in August. They're going to get well, it's August now, but okay. Start again. but okay. she's like Where's really Oscar? scared Thank of the variant, Lovely. which Very I totally nice. understand. Service, and like she's 65, so service, and she's fully vaccinated, but she's just I worried. How hectic it could be in the master. I think I get my anxiety and worry from her. Kitchen, this is crazy. This I is understand, insane. so two sumai, two it's okay if she can't come. I don't want to, like, nice, pressure nice, her nice, nice. We're to sorry. come. I'd Chris rather her be quickly. safe. Bree is garnishing, dressing, yeah. and calling out orders like a mad woman. One shumai, one lobster. But my dad is, like, a shumai, really... Shumai is coming off okay. my station perfectly. My parents are, like, stress-free husband yes, and yes, stressed yes, wife. <laughs> So they While like the do each other really well, out their and it's like <laughs> the red team is falling behind as Luca and it's is kind of cute, with but the that's of literally the their dynamic. So the my dad's like, so I'm still coming. <laughs> yeah, they balance no each other out. out. This is supposed to be put the dumplings in the steamer. The steamer cooks them for you. I have no idea um, what I'm doing. Luca, yeah. yes, chef. Come on, guys. I'm also like the stress in the dining room. Things girlfriend. are about to go from bad to worse and my for the red current team, boyfriend is Joe like is stress free. By a very angry they just customer. balance each other. What, what happened? I have a raw scallop shumai. Oh, oh no. Shumai. Oh my god. Completely raw. Is our brother stress free? Um. Guys, red team. I got freaking completely raw. You guys gotta steam these things. Red team, come here. What is that? I don't know that actually. Crap. What is going on? Chef, we, we need to turn it up more. Minutes. They were there for seven minutes. Is the steamer up? Yes, Chef. Is there any water at the bottom? Yes, Chef. Just put it in. You put it in? Yes, Chef. Cold water or hot water? I think it was cold. <gasps> so you put cold water in the, if you put cold water in the steamer, what happens? It's going to bring down the temperature. There you go, guys. This is a disaster. Oh my god, he's so angry. At this point, I'm just wondering. My how brother. Are we gonna come back from this? Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> My brother's like Gordon Ramsay. <laughs>
Our top six home cooks have taken over the upscale But like he can be really sleep, but my brother's like order resi. I'm not even kidding. My brother has this. He can get pretty. Or crispy lobster rolls. The blue team is off to a great start. What do you think so far? Oh my god, the shumai is unbelievable. Really? Aww. While the red team continues to have problems with Luca's shumai. It's embarrassing that we've been putting these plates out, but I'm not willing to give up. And I know that we can I don't know, this. like he's not red much team of a jerk. Uh, decides it's time it's to hard. take over from Luca on the Shumai to appetizer. Say, like he's my brother, so oh, I, I kind of just let it pass. Here, okay? But if just it was like a friend or a stranger or even an SO, it wouldn't pass. In the it's like different because he's my brother. I don't know. Last two tables. Let's go. Woo! Get fired up, bro. It's like... Yes, there you go, chef. Service up. Nice. Routine. Really well done, the appetizers. Thank you, you chef. Do that for it's the totally is a home run. kind of justified. I'll talk, guys. Woo! But yes, excellent, excellent. Table forty-three. Thank you. It's also right, like he's my brother. That was a bad start. Yeah. We can pull it back to the old okay. okay. We really messed up the appetizer. So right now we just need to keep on going and make sure that the main course will be perfect. On order, red team. Three beef, one prawns. Yes. Yes, chef. Good. There we go. There we go. Siblings have their own rules. Exactly. <laughs> will continue to play and has assigned Luca to the Wagyu beef stir fry and Jesse to the Singapore style prawns. <laughs> two beef, two prawns. Yes, chef. On the blue team, Captain Bree will play and has assigned he is James the Gordon to the Ramsay of the family. What does that make you? I don't know. I'm looking at the notes that I maybe like taken, a but I'm like, oh my god, Whitney I'm like, or Christine. I I'm lost. Um, wait, should I? Oh, you know what? I can't remember what the plate's supposed to look like. Chrissy, does that look right to me? <laughs> uh, it doesn't look right to me. Come on. I'm like, I don't know what I did wrong. You put too much in all at once. Keep it moving. Chrissy is handling that walk with the finesse of 27 drunk bulls <laughs> in a very, very small china shop. What? What yeah, is chef. that analogy? 27 drunk bulls. Is everything okay, chef? No, it's not okay. No, it's not. Come around. Chrissy, no. James, come here. The shrimp it's are so cold random. And the shrimp are raw. Who's cooking the shrimp? Chrissy. You can see they're raw, right? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Start again. Yes, chef. The whole round. Got it, chef. Yes. What, what do you mean the whole round? What, what do you think I'm going to do? No, we're not going to send half the now. table. Of course, the whole <laughs> table. While the blue team struggles with their entrees, the red team has finally started to find their groove. Chef, order up. And dishes are flying out of the kitchen. Yeah. Natasha, great start, yes? Yes, chef. Keep it going. Thank Let's you. Go. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. Our service for entrees is just flying by. We have plates going left, right, left, right. Jess and Luca are totally rocking those walks. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. We got this. Die, 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 guys. Die. I had the red team's prawns. The spiciness was exactly what I was looking for. It actually wowed my expectation. Let's go, let's go, guys, let's go. While the red team is finally seeing some success, the blue team is falling even further behind. Oh my god. All right, how long is it going to take you to Every get time I ready? see I those. I, 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 hey, 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 come on. Bring it back. Chrissy, what's wrong? I, I, I'm, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I am literally ruining everything for this team. Oh, well, she's at and least. I'm not doing it on purpose. Is this, is this on? Look, it's not on. So oh I'm going to crank up the heat. There you go. This isn't my thing. Just might as well be sending me now. While the blue team struggles I'm in the kitchen, I'm just at least Joe happy she's not. Complaints from the diners. It's been at least an hour since we've eaten anything. And I, and I apologize. I know it doesn't help, and I know it's late. I know you've been waiting a long time. I'm gonna go back and check on them again, and I do apologize. Everything's burned on them. Oh, fuck. They look pissed. I, I got some blue team tables who are ready to walk. They've been waiting an hour and a half for entrees. I'm disgusted with the performance of our team right now. I don't know what to do. I can't do the job of a leader and do the job of the line cook at the same yeah, time. Yeah, she's taking Bree responsibility. Yeah, I never finished my sentence. Bree, blue team oh, what is she doing? Oh, God. I hope they didn't have to pay for that wine.
dinner service is in full swing at the prestigious WP24 restaurant in downtown And I hope it was expensive wine, LA. yeah. While the red team is quickly getting entrees out to diners, Riley the blue team TV is at a standstill six months. Welcome as Chrissy back. Thank you. with the Singapore-style chili prawns. Joe's dying in the dining room. Customers are complaining. We have customers that are leaving, guys, walking out. What am I doing? Please tell me what I'm doing with this. This is the complete opposite of how it was going with the appetizers. The appetizers were absolutely perfect, and the entree round is a disaster. Now, now it's burning. I'm literally broken at this point, and I don't know what else to do. You got to get that flame up. Flame up, flame up. It is a complete relief to see Graham step in. So get it hot, and then start working. Call me, thank you the 69 months. Welcome back, thank you. Aw, thank you. I got you. two minutes. Okay, you'll be done in two minutes, good. Get your sauce right, and you're going to warm it up. You can finish your prawns in there. As bad as I'm feeling, there's people out in that dining room that want their food, and I've got to suck it up. Come on, Chrissy, fight back. I, I got it. I got it. Here, Bray, behind you. With Graham's help, the blue team is finally getting entrees out to the customers, and Joe checks in to see how they rate the dishes. So, sir, what did you think of the red team's entrees? Well, I had the chili prawns. The chili prawns. And the flavor was unbelievable. Wow. I had the blue team's prawn, and it was, it was chewy. It was, it was not very good tasting. Oh. Don't worry, we're catching up. We're catching up. Yes, we are. We're Keep fine. up the pace, guys. We're doing OK. Dude. I had the pink dish from the red team. It was fabulous. I think it had great flavor. It had a good pop. I had the blue team's Wagyu beef. I've eaten at a bunch of different uh, high-quality Asian restaurants around the country, and this one, by far, right up there. Wow. Last two tables, guys. OK, two weird tables. flex, Take but you. OK, let's sir. Go, let's go, guys. Let's go. I've eaten that How many high. Sam's just jealous. All right, we're ready. We're ready. <laughs> Very nice. Good for you. Up the last plate, it's amazing. We did a good job. We're <laughs> doing great. I'm extremely proud of my team because we were able to work together and all the high quality the that we didn't have such a good start. Thank God you worked as a team for the My onset. jealousy Great talking. Job. Blue team, red team have finished. Two beefs, two prawns. Chrissy, yes? Yes, yes. I definitely have a much bigger appreciation for anybody who cooks at this level. This was intense. Come on, guys. Last table. Come on. Come on, guys. OK, Chrissy, I need prawns right now. Here you go, Bray. Two prawns behind you. There you go. Ba -da, ba -da. Service 41, 42, please, yes? Chrissy, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Chrissy, James, Bree, well done. Yeah, I'm Look at fine. me, that was a slow finish. Like, yeah. Smell uh, the flavor, okay? okay. Go. With dinner service completed, the diners Never complete ask you their comment okay. cards. <laughs> the winner of tonight's challenge will be decided by the judges based on this feedback and the team's overall performance in the kitchen. The losing team will face a pressure test. I, I was, like, beating myself up big time. Yeah. Like, I really was. I know it's frustrating, but, like, if we really think about it, three home cooks with no experience working in a professional kitchen yeah. come Just in and bang a out a night. dinner service? Although our food was slower than now, I'm really thinking. hoping that the Great. quality of our food Hello, Tofu Trump. Thank you for the prime. Welcome. You know, maybe they can overlook the fact that the appetizers didn't come out the way that they should have. Yeah. Both teams had ups and downs. The stupid dumplings. Overcooked. The stupid raw, dumplings. Cold inside. Even if we did a great main course service, I don't have any excuses to how bad I perform in my appetizers. Red team, blue team, seriously, all of you should be incredibly proud of what you accomplished tonight. You ran the kitchen of one of the best restaurants in this country. Joker There's King, thank you for gifting five subs to the community. You thank you. Oh, champagne. <laughs> now, he listens Hello. to all the guys Everything Fan Gazar. Thank you for the prime. Hello. And thank we you. We'll Thank decide you guys. which team is heading to the dreaded pressure test. And that team is... ...going to be decided... Oh, of course. 
at home. Overnight. Got some I would be like, to do. Good night. drink my freaking champagne. The judges Fuck this. I'm not going to tell us tonight. Now is the time to relax. I think we did an amazing job. But tomorrow is another day. Anybody can go home at this point. The final six contestants return to the MasterChef kitchen to find out who won yesterday's restaurant takeover challenge and to discover who will face tonight's dreaded pressure test. The last supper table. I look at it this way. Entrees, I were used 10 minutes to visit behind. Shanghai. At the end, I still think we did very a good frequently. Job. The like, only was well, not very frequently. Like the dumplings were just once like a every. I don't want to go in a pressure test. Three years Natasha. during the I summer. I don't want to think about it because the risk to be eliminated right now is too high. Last night, you ran the kitchen of one of the finest restaurants in the entire country. You guys each had your ups and downs. But overall, the three of us were extremely proud of what you were able to accomplish. But there has to be a winning team, and as always, a losing team. We watched you cook. We spoke to all of the customers, and we tasted everything you made. One team will head up into the gallery and straight in to the top five of this competition. The other team will shortly face one of the most dreaded pressure tests so far. The winning team. Congratulations. Red team. Yes. Wow. Honestly, we always tell you, blue it's struggle. not how you start, it's how you finish. And you it's finish. not well. how you start it, it's gallery. how you finish. Well I don't want to be in another pressure test. Oh my I've god, Chrissy. Test. <laughs> it's literally it. zero percent win rate. Like, holy fuck. It switches out. How? So, blue team, you know what this literally. means. Literally. One of you like... will be walking out of those doors <laughs> when this pressure test is over. Dude. Three. <laughs> Based on yesterday's performance, I think I would who, cry. Out of the three of you, including yourself, <laughs> should be safe from elimination. Looking back into what was done in the kitchen, the attitudes of my teammates, I would choose myself. You think that you would perform the best? Yes. Chrissy, what do you think about that decision? She knows that that's. Free? Fortunately for you, you do not have to make such a difficult decision. Because tonight, all three of you will be cooking in the pressure test. Are you three ready to find out what you have to cook in order to stay in this competition? Yes. It's one of the most common menu items. Is it gonna be America. dessert? It's Dessert's my favorite. Your knife skills. No, your knife work, skills. No one needs knife work, skills. And especially sure. your frying technique. Oh, I grew up eating this fine. along with most of America. Calamari! A plate of fried calamari. Calamari. With flavorful marinara sauce. It's like really a really meaningful dish crisp, to me because like it's something calamari. Iman and I would always order if we traveled together. The calamari. So like every calamari. time I see yes. calamari, I Love think it. of Iman. All of you. Like I almost don't order. I don't order calamari unless it's with stunning. her now. Like it's Squid. like a betrayal. And prepare yourself. Like I only get Head calamari with Iman. We tried it. We have. We went to New York. We ordered it there. Identical ingredients. San Diego, San Francisco. Six, squid, AP flour. Like any time we travel together crumbs, and we go eggs, to a restaurant, we get calamari. Tomatoes, we try garlic, it in different restaurants. Lemon, parsley, and seasoning. You have to know exactly what you're doing, and during the preparation, you have to navigate that ink sac very carefully 
as not to puncture it and spoil that calamari. <laughs> it looks like small like little onion plate. rings. Let me tell you, this is a very difficult challenge. Your 45 minutes starts now. Did you find the best one? Honestly. Calamari, something that seems not super really basic, no. But technically difficult to master. I think the what best makes it one so, great? One of the steps. so far. First and foremost important. We never ate one that was so like that wow, holy moly. Take off the tentacles. Remove the I don't know why it just became a thing for us. And start removing it but the guts. So if you I grab a quilt do remember the one in New York being the pretty good. In one shot gets everything out. If you start destroying it, then you're in trouble. Right, absolutely. It's a tough one, this one. Bad. I quite like it once it's been cleaned, sliced, and then into some form of milk or buttermilk to tenderize it in the batter. Right, it also helps to keep that batter on it. Mm -hmm. What would you dredge them in, Brent? I would make a, a really seasoned flour with maybe some of the Italian seasoning, a lot of salt and pepper. Just get them dusted in that, and then you get them in the oil. I think for me, it's the sauce that makes the oil temperature or breaks the, the calamari. Biggest point of jeopardy in this like competition. they usually always the taste pretty similar time, by itself because so it's like fried too much. They never squid. Get soggy. But then, then the sauce is always together a portion. It's very technical. Yeah. I prefer the tartar sauce over like the, the tomato you know marinara, so marinara ones. I love the tartar, oil, cloves, like the white whole plum sauce. Tomatoes, break them up with that my one's hands, my favorite. Kind of spices, that's it. It's the acidity that really juxtaposes the sweetness mm -hmm. of the fried yeah. calamari. But most people do the tomato sauce one. It's okay. I've already achieved one really? I love dunking, dunking it in so sauce. Hi, Peter. Oh, thank you for the 33 the months. Welcome back. Hello. For to clean the squid. That's a big part of this no. challenge. No. It's all preference. My money's on Brie. She's smart. She's very clever. She thinks a lot. So I'm hoping tonight she shines. But I think I, Chrissy, think I just don't like dry it. food. It's like her favorite thing in the world. So she has to find like a way I to get need in the zone, sauce. Get that calamari clean. The only problem is she's cooking angry. She is pissed. How the f do you get this out? I have no idea. This is painful. What should, should do? I don't know. Can you shut the f up up there? I might not be an expert at breaking down squid, but damn it, I'm gonna try. Please go home. Go f yourself, Luca. Hello. We love you too. <gasps> Jeez. Keep it up. That's messed up. <gasps> Nine V, thank you for the prime. Hello. Oh my God. In this pressure test, Bree, James, and Chrissy have just 45 minutes to make a perfect portion of fried calamari and marinara sauce from fresh squid they must butcher and clean themselves. Gross. Sorry, Bree. You got it. Oof, damn, you got the ink sack on that. Just under 20 minutes to go. Right, Bree. Good luck on are your you final, Jelena. You're a vegetarian. And Paul, thank you for giving this up. Thank you. you. I taste my flour before I season it. So you're going to eat the flour? Yes. And you're not going to taste the squid? Correct. Right. Who's going home tonight? Uh, Chrissy. Whatever. Can you eat raw flour like that? Like just a little anything. bit, it's fine. I have a fire that no one else has because this is my second chance and I can't let the judges down. <laughs> Small bits. Hi, Chrissy. Oh. You seem like you're frustrated or cooking angry. Mm -hmm. And now you've got these three 10 feet above you watching your every move. Okay, and yeah, they she just want said you she out. ate They're it. They're scared of me. That's why they want me to leave. I've dominated every, Luke, are you scared? every pressure test. Yeah, I'm not scared of Chrissy at all. No. Natasha, who's going home today? They all point to you. Mm -hmm. I just may go home and they might get their wish, but. Did she just I crack an egg with one hand? That's that kind of cool. For them, and I'm coming for them hard. I know they only hate me because they fear me, but they're too stubborn to admit it. Because you can kick me, you can stop me, you can so beat me with a bat. Cool. I'm going to keep getting up and I'm going to no win this No one wants whole to beat you with a bat. Why are you so violent? Y'all just cooking. You've got five minutes to go. Speed up, guys. Come on. What's she doing? 
Why would you put lime on the marinara sauce? I'm Husky, same with a $5 dono. I thought this challenge was difficult. I'm trying to marathon it. Sure. From what I'm seeing now, this may have been more difficult than we thought. Uh, Geeker, thank you for the two months. Welcome back, thank overwhelmed. you. How's that sauce looking? There's no seasoning in there. You can't ignore the marinara on this dish. Yeah, Absolutely. sauce is so important. And she not clean the squid properly. However, I like the way that she slices it nice and thinly. So she's sauce going for an ultra crisp is squid. Important. Should I pull this off again? I don't want to see her in the top five. My big worry right now is Bree's pan is about to explode. Well, I don't know. There's like That's five more episodes and it's already 7.30 p.m. She really hard way too hard. They're not cooking inside. She's gonna get burned if she doesn't be careful. You're screaming. Don't seconds to say they're screaming. Taste everything, guys. Think smartly and do not underestimate the power of your sauce. Come on, guys. 30 seconds to go. Come on. Finishing touches. Season everything. Five, four, three, Two, one, and stop. Yeah, I'll never forget where she was like, oh my god, dead body. <laughs> well done. Please bring your calamari down to the front bench. Thank you. I've struggled with this challenge, but you know, in the end, I came back and turned it around. So I'm feeling good. Brie, let's start with you. It looks good. Visually. They're very thick, those rings. How do I know they're cooked? I cut one open and tested it. Did you eat it? No, chef. How did you test it? I open it up and see what the consistency was and make sure it looked like Why? it was cooked. Why? Yours looked heavily coated in flour. It's all clumped together where yeah. you haven't dusted them down properly. OK. Normally, when you have excess flour that mm -hmm. hits the fryer, it burns instantly. And so you can just, if you just smell that plate, OK, it smells slightly burnt, even though it's not burnt. So you've got that sort of perfume burn smell. OK. I like burnt. I wish you could have tasted them, because you would have put less flour on there. I want the calamari to be the hero, okay. not what you dredge them in. Thank you. Thank you, chef. Well, well. All right. It sounds so crunchy. Definitely undercooked. Let's take a look. I mean, you can see that the breading is fried, right. but this inside is complete squid tartare. Oh. So, thanks. OK, tell me about your marinara. So my marinara was garlic, tomatoes, a little bit of Italian seasoning, and lemon juice. Why do you put lemon juice in tomato sauce? Because in this particular dish, it was complementing seafood. Bree, you're a smart girl. That's about the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Tomatoes are inherently so acidic that adding acidity, I mean, Hello. it's just unheard of. OK. Why does he have to eat with his knife? That's scary. What if he accidentally... It's too raw. Buddha, thank you for the prime, and thank you for the 36 months. Welcome back. Thank you. Chrissy. So visually, I mean, to me, it looks like a plate no. of onion rings. <laughs> Marinara sauce, how have you made that? Just uh, tomatoes, I crushed them up with my hand, olive oil, garlic, red pepper flakes, and uh, just some fresh parsley in there. Mm -hmm. How many times did you egg wash this? Just once. Can you see what I'm saying? It's just like this sponge texture. How did you cook them? Um, I just, I fried them. I had the, the oil was way too hot, so I brought it down a little bit. How'd you cool down oil fast? Add cold oil. Are you done? Absolutely not. So how do you think that's going to keep you in the competition? Because I didn't put lemon juice in my marinara and it's not raw. Damn. Damn. She's just like, at Tell least I didn't do that I bad. I just crush up my tomatoes. I usually put fresh basil, a little bit of olive oil, pepper. Garlic? Onion. Yeah, I put like uh, three cloves in. You know, your marinara is garlicky. It's rich. Calamari is sweet. It's cooked through. The batter is a little like fried, like funnel cake, like fried dough on a street fair. Chrissy, could you imagine going home on fried calamari? You? I kind of like they funnel say? cake. They'll probably no. laugh at me and break my balls forever. It might not be that funny because you could have just walked away from being very close to winning a quarter of a million dollars. Yep. 
I'm a little worried about my marinara. I kind of forgot about it, so I'm hoping they don't. Oh, it looks that. really plain. I'll Change notice it. Blue. I love sauce. So they're all pretty much uniform in size. Feeling them, you can tell right now that they are cooked just the way you want them. Oh. What about your frying technique? I was kind of thinking that instead of leaving it in for over a minute, if they were sliced thinner and the batter wasn't as super, super heavy, mm -hmm. everything would get done at the same time. All right, how about the sauce? It smells like canned tomato juice, you know, like you're on an airplane. Oh. Yeah, that tastes like the tin can. I thought you were like the sauce guy. Uh, apparently not. It's too bad. James. Uh, what? Wow. Visually, it's the perfect size. It really is the perfect size. I love it. I love the precision of the way you're working so thinly. What have you done to the sauce? Uh, it's just garlic, crushed red pepper, and sea salt with the tomatoes. It's got a very funny aftertaste. I don't know what it is. No olive oil in there? Uh, no olive oil. No olive oil at all in the tomato no sauce? No olive oil in marinara. No. Yeah. OK, today I learned you need olive oil, olive oil in marinara yeah. sauce and for calamari. You know, I think it's. Mental note. I was Mental expecting note. better. Okay. I'm just disappointed. I have no idea. Way too close to call, and you just made it a lot more difficult than it had to be. So maybe we'll And no lemons. Out. Yes, no lemons. That would be nice. I think this Brie might go home because hers is raw. You just made it a lot it's more difficult than raw. it had to be. So maybe all three we should go home. We need some time. If I go home on calamari, I will be the laughing stock of the neighborhood. My credibility as an Italian, ruined. It's a very difficult uh, challenge, this one. Very tough. James I was disappointed with. I'm surprised by Chrissy. Chrissy, you believe yeah. that? Brie as well. She was scared. I've never seen her slightly this petrified. I like my marinara. Very, very difficult. James. James, please step forward. Joe, Graham, and myself felt that your calamari was... Good. ...the best performance of this evening. Please, take your apron off, and make your way up to the gallery. You're now in the top five of MasterChef. Wow. James is safe. Now, I'm not even religious, but I'm praying to God that Christy goes home. Nice for you to join us. Bree, Chrissy, one of you will be leaving Master Jeff tonight. One I don't of know, you man. will be the top five of this competition. If I lose <sighs> to a vegetarian, I will literally go home and give up cooking. Bree, there's tonight, nothing wrong with losing to a vegetarian. Test, Rob, you know that. Yes, chef. Could you cope with leaving this competition twice? Yeah, I probably would never forgive myself for it. Chrissy, please step forward. I think Chrissy. Okay, I don't want her to you stay. You've come but... so far, but it's time. To take your apron off. Wait. And head on upstairs to the gallery. Oh my God, Bree sighed. You are safe. Did I fucking knew it? Did I knew it? Because like I knew it was gonna be Bree, man. I knew it. No, Bree, you can't you know get me means. twice. You are leaving the competition once more. Raw I've never, never slides. Known a tenacious vegetarian Tommy, to cook thank me you for the, the way donation. you do. Places, Send Joe you. home. Gordon wanted to bring I don't you back. Think he can. He was right. You have a big heart, and I think you have a big future in whatever okay. you want to do. I don't know how rigged it is, because, oh, like... Dream. Get yourself into a kitchen. Come here. It doesn't feel rigged, almost. Amazing like, job. Her <laughs> calamari was Look, raw. Who's going to win MasterChef? I'm still confident it's going to be James. James. Aww. And if there's any parting advice you could give to Chrissy now, what would this it be? Be nice, please. Try to be nice. <laughs> Well done. Thanks. She's so sweet. Like, I, she oh, literally, her okay. advice is to just be nice. Coming back in this competition was like, everything what? to me. Please welcome back 
Rames, if you six things in 13 months, welcome back. Life. Thank you. Like, it's just, only she's here just for a short time. I learned so much. Like, like that, I feel like that is really such a it. nice well response. Done, Thank you. And I will take every single thing I've ever learned from the judges because they are the three greatest teachers I have ever had. Next time on Mad. More, more, more. I have to go pee. More, more, more. All right, everyone go potty. Beer back. More. Oh, yeah, I'll play some music. knocking in the music I didn't hear any knocking that would have scared me I'm so glad I should the really charge my headset because it, it, it doesn't let me hear the noise the real competition starts. welcome guys making top five is such a big deal to me Four people away from the title, from the cookbook. Uh, Momo Leo, thank you for the seven months. You are Welcome the top back. five home cooks in America today. One of you will leave here with a quarter of a million dollars. Your Have very a good own one, Tulfo. Thanks for modding and watching. Trophy. We're about to throw you a mystery box curveball. Tonight, we have some VIP guests that will be putting together the mystery box. Please welcome our sons. <laughs> my God. Oh my God, Graham's son Boys is so cute. Boys are cute, I'm not cute. gonna lie. Gordon's son is adorable. Oh he has a God. very little carbon copy of Gordon. Yeah, they look the it's same, crazy. like the I same eyes and hair. Oh there. my God. It looks like I'm drunk. We have the judges 45 years ago. Oh my God, the glasses. This is my 11-year-old son, Ethan. He's vocal and direct, just like me. 
And then Miles, age 13. He's my eldest son. This handsome little dude is Conrad. He's so only two and a half, cute. but already has Conrad exceptional palate so and deconstructs his hot him. dogs with finesse. And this is my son, Jack. He's 13, single, <laughs> and an excellent cook, and he Hi, loves man. great food. Jerry Gone Swan, thank you for the sub so and X Proso. Hello, thank you for the prime. Thank that you. Mystery box and sending them into the pantry to fill it with 15 items of their choosing. With those ingredients and your limited staple pantry box, you will have just 60 minutes to create us. My kid is 21 a now. Quality, Whoa. Delicious dish, not a dish for our kids. You're cooking for us. Understood. Whoever wins this challenge will get a huge advantage in the elimination challenge. Boys, your time is just fun to say hello. Starts now. I love Adios. seeing them in that outfit. This could be very big trouble. A bunch of kids have been given power over us, and now they're gonna pick stuff. They're gonna grab the most. Oh my God, Conrad is so so fucking cute. We're all screwed. Oh my I think. God. Anyone ah. for a glass of wine? Yeah, how about some ketchup? Ketchup looks good. I'm thinking they're gonna be picking everything from chocolate. I'm in love mm. with Conrad. So things just don't go together. I'm peeking because they want to screw us up and see how we handle it. How about they make some coffee? Yeah, sure. Coffee tears good. Where's the bacon? They're gonna have sweet tooth. Peanut butter. Okay. And hazelnut spread. Mini pineapple. Gonna be making desserts probably today. Mm. Yes, mini marshmallows. I think this oh. is pretty good. Oh, he's cute. Wow. White chips. Chocolate spread. Mmm, nice. <laughs> Ketchup. Oh, uh, wow. wow. Thank you, guys. Uh, peanut butter. Man. Peanut butter. Jack. I just felt like a coconut. You felt like a coconut. <laughs> yeah. OK, great. Oh, come on. Marshmallows. I mean, honestly, baby pineapple. Passion fruit. Finally. Wow. Some bacon. Oh, oh there we go. go. We've gone back down again. Cheese slices, <laughs> seriously. Maple syrup, bananas, blueberries, fresh strawberries, and puff pastry. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> I wouldn't they know what the fuck to, be to do. A gourmet restaurant quality dish. And how are we going to do that with <laughs> marshmallows and little squares of sliced cheese? Thank you. Make a Pop Tart or Can't something. Wait. I don't Let know. Let me remind you. We want a restaurant quality dish. Tonight, we expect you to show us that you can cook a master chef caliber dish with anything. Remember, you're not cooking for these guys. You're cooking My for God. us. Your 60 minutes. Conrad starts. Friel just smacked his dad in the head. Now. There's a lot of ingredients in there. But right. I mean, this is so exciting to see how good they can become mm -hmm. with unfamiliar ingredients. It's very, very tricky. They're out of their comfort zone. And we're asking them to perform at a very high level. So we should see which ones have these skills yeah. to manipulate sure. these raw ingredients. But tonight has to be about desserts. What desserts would you make? I would do a stunning white chocolate milfoy with some caramelized banana. I would go on a tropical route. Maybe we'll try to do a <laughs> Definitely not Nutella. Definitely. Tough one, though. I'm doing tropical pancakes. I'm gonna do a coconut. I'm gonna do a pineapple, and I'm gonna do a blueberry, and then have it Those layered with Those blueberries don't look I right. I to win another mystery box. I feel like I got to show everyone here that I'm still in the game and I'm not going anywhere. I'm making um, banana cake with peanut butter, buttercream, and a white chocolate sauce. My challenge today is taking this cake to the next level. Hi, Jesse. Zach, it's a pleasure to meet you. What are you making? I'm doing little fruit tartlets. I've got a vanilla cream over here, and then some of the passion fruit, and I'm going to toast some coconut at the end. Nice. What's the chocolate for? I'm going to melt that and just do a little drizzle around the plate, just to elevate it. Do you have a boyfriend? I do have a boyfriend. <laughs> Coco Bello. They Ooh, definitely told cooking. him to I'm fucking say that. Oh my god. I, I kind of thought he was going to say, and he really did. Like good. the idea? Oh, yeah. yeah. Where are you from? I live in New York. We're neighbors, right? Do you have any kids? I don't have any kids yet. But as soon as I win the show, 
and I'm gonna start making kids. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you, guys. Nice meeting Good you. Good luck. Nice meeting you, too. James, how you doing? I'm doing good, Chef. What are you making? I am doing a white chocolate passion fruit turnovers. This with is my a favorite episode. <laughs> so you're a big fan of making desserts. It's Not like particularly. taking I don't really your kids to much, work day. I don't know. I love it. Zone. I love uh, so it. So I'm going with flavors that I don't use a lot, like white chocolate and passion fruit, because I know acidity and white chocolate go beautiful together. Yeah, true. I don't think I'm going to get an advantage unless I pull something out that's unexpected for me. Good luck, James. Thank, thank you, Chef. Luck. And thank you, Mini Chef. Like, if this was me and my friends, we would just bring our pets. 15 minutes to and go, And they would guys. just be like... So, how are your pancakes here, Natasha? <laughs> okay. And then the dogs but would be like, oh, food, right. please! Oh, no, please. <laughs> it would be so no, cute. Chrissy. <laughs> Don't you like Chrissy? No. Can't stand her. Why? Do you guys ever have those people at your school that are bullies? Yeah. That would be her. Good luck. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I want to see restaurant quality dishes. I don't want to have to put any of your dishes in the trash. Oh my god. <laughs> That's literally a Joe line. Right now, the shiny stars this evening. Jessie sounds amazing. She's doing like little miniature blueberry Napoleons. Oh, like little wow. stacks. That's a good idea. James decided to go with. I love this episode. Oh my god. There's good flavors. That's classic. It right? sounds delicious. And Luca's Napoleon? Luca. Seems to be confident. I, I hope they bring this back. On the like every season. I'm just wondering if he can pull together the flavors and manage the sweetness of it. Natasha, I was excited, but I can understand crepes three ways, but not pancake. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sounds really weird. Last 60 seconds. Start plating, please. Speed, 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 speed. The buttercream starts to melt right away, and I'm like, seriously? This is oh. this is not gonna work. Let's it's go. supposed to pull off. She got one thing on a plate. Oh no! Unbelievable. If he loves you, watch Master Nine, Chef Junior. Eight, okay, I'm convinced. Seven, six, five, <sighs> four, three, two, one, and stop. Hands in the air. I want to see restaurant quality dishes. In tonight's mystery box challenge. Eee. Yes, mini marshmallow. My God, the judges' he's so sons have picked a unique assortment cute. of items, which the five remaining contestants must use to cook their restaurant quality dishes. Five, four, three, two, yeah. one, Whee! and stop! Hands in the air. <laughs> it's time for us now to have a closer look. Throughout the mystery box challenge, the judges taste elements of all the home cooks' dishes as they come together. They now take one last look to choose the top three standouts, and the winner will receive a major advantage in the elimination. Conrad test. is I'm down really for a nap. Yeah, where do you go? Quality. Let's just hope it works for the judges. Okay, let's be honest, guys. It is way past yeah, the bedtime. Yeah, where's Conrad? To our home cooks. Um, oh my god, I, he really yeah. is sleepy. He's gone. Ciao. Hey guys, you're welcome. Good night. Okay. Oh my god. There are that is three adorable. Dishes that we want to take a much closer look at. One of these three cooks will be coming to the pantry and receiving a huge advantage in the upcoming elimination challenge. The first dish we want to bring forward visually. God, sometimes I'm like, yeah, mini me sounds nice. But then I look around me in this world and I'm like, no, Luca. I don't want Let's my go. mini me to live this life. All right, Luca, that looks beautiful. What is it? <laughs> it's a uh, white chocolate pineapple Napoleon. Nice. That looks so good. Even distribution of the pastry cream looks beautiful. Thank you. I love the filling inside. I thought the pineapple was going to destroy slicing through the milfoy, but you've managed to get it right. I'm surprised because you've never been that confident Would with desserts. Would mini me be a lot to handle? this performance over the last 60 minutes. I think my Great mini me really well would be a treasure to this world. Because I would the raise them. No. It was way too sour. It didn't go like together that. with anything. I love that you I am a gluten thing the two months. To Welcome back. Thank food. you. Knowing that I'm not going to put passion fruit on it. It's too acidic. I'm just going to leave it the pineapple and vanilla. Super smart. Great job. Thank you, chef. OK. The dish looks beautiful. It's the best looking dish of the lot. Thank you. It's actually quite good. I think the pineapple is delicious with the cream. A top notch, excellent dessert. Thank you. Well done. Wow. They all like the dessert a lot. 
And maybe it's the day I win my third mystery box. The second dish. I <laughs> show every eye roll. Like I want to try to eye roll. Further, this <laughs> Whoa, that was weird. used fruit to I elevate do it. their dessert. And <laughs> they still haven't won one. Please step forward. Jesse. Yes, finally. So, what exactly is it? A vanilla cream puff with fruit sauteed in brown butter, coconut on top. And these are all cream puffs, so they're all. That looks so good. With like a, a chantilly cream. The chantilly or... cream's in the middle. That one's a sauteed blueberry with some lemon zest and sugar. The and then cream the other puffs one is the remind me of. When my it's Uber driver simple, messed up my order, great flavors, great, and I got cream puffs really instead of boba. Bizarre mix of crazy things that our kids. So did. then I they ate the cream really puffs, but then he Thank came you. back to exchange, and I felt really bad. The passion fruit gives another <laughs> fragrance. Chantilly is perfect. Nice blend with the pastry. Pastry cooked beautifully, so it's bloody delicious. What's starting to happen is that you're getting out of this comfort zone. <laughs> That's and whatever. It seems like you're now Not my proudest so moment. I felt really bad. The third dish. I didn't expect him to come back. I know, I know. I feel really bad. Really I hope he worked dish. things out. I didn't like report him forward. or anything. James. That really bad. I really didn't think. I thought like, okay, this is it. This is What's what I'm getting. So I was like, okay, fuck it. I'm not a big dessert person, but and my favorite dessert are back. turnovers. So I just made a uh, white chocolate passion fruit uh, turnover with a little uh, blueberry mint puree underneath and a little whip of cinnamon sugar and coconut. Very foo-foo for the big bearded man. I know. <laughs> kind of a weird thing for me to make. Wait, the kids don't get to eat it? Like, that is messed up. I just realized the that. good. The cookery's good. That's light. Tasty. I would have been like... Nice like, use of a tricky mystery box. I want to starting to take risks that. more. Kind of have to. <laughs> Just thinking, who are the strongest bakers left in this competition? Chrissy and Natasha. Guess what? None of them made it up here. Well done. Thank you. They said the kids want to eat at the start. Oh. Sometimes I yap. The flavor. And I'm not incredible. listening, and I feel so sorry. The filling, the mint, and the blueberry. I know, just I'm it up sorry. I don't know what I was talking this. about before, I but I was definitely talking kind of over them. To nail it. So for me, it's a welcome surprise. It is Maybe I was screaming delicious. about the I kids. I don't behind, know. You I'm sorry. It. I Good missed job. it. Look, I've been Good watching nervous. this for six hours straight. Straight, like I can't. You like use pre-made I... puff pastry. Congratulations. Ew, Chrissy. I feel really cheated. I'm actually really annoyed because, like, like this? you know, here I am making something from scratch. I don't know. As a baker, I'm kind of offended. Uh, tough one, this one. Mm -hmm. Tough. Not only that, we got three stunning dishes. Winning a mystery box is super important, especially at this stage of the competition. I need to win this mystery box. Okay, three of you, three stunning desserts. Sadly, only one of you can join us right now in the pantry and receive your huge advantage. The person who cooked the best restaurant quality dessert this evening. To be in the top five and have never won a mystery box, that's like the stupidest thing I've ever heard. I have to win this one. I doubt I'll go any further if I don't. Congratulations. You liked that woman at one point. Yeah, why do you keep bringing so, that up? So Jay, what you, if I like Chrissy before, okay? So Sadly, what? Only one of you can join us right now you know? in the pantry and receive your huge That advantage. was episode like two. I barely the knew her. Who cooked the best? Restaurant quality. People change. Dessert this evening. Their true colors show. Congratulations. Stop James. holding that above well my head. Wow. Great job. I gave her the benefit I of the doubt. I always like people first. With baking. That's pretty awesome. Now, are you ready to receive that huge advantage? Yes, chef. Let's go. Good it job, was a James. phase. Bye, guys. Good job. What took you so long? The winner of the mystery box is now in control of the elimination test. James, welcome to the Marcia Pantry. James, your first advantage for winning the mystery box challenge is that you will not have to cook. You are safe from elimination. James, congratulations. Welcome to the final four. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> 
Tonight's theme is so important. We're about to give you the greatest dishes. Yeah, because it's like the Graham, third time I read that comment today. Ever. You know? Eaten. And it, they're saying it in the like a mean dish, way, too. It was you know? To me in like a. Oh, by one of the best good. chefs in the and world. It's like, it is Waku Gin. What is that? Shrimp with sea urchin, custard, oh my and the God. finest of Cetra caviar. That just looks world. like a sixty dollar meal. Your next choice for me has so like caviar is expensive and uni is expensive. With it. it's like that must that be so expensive Franny together. With me, when I was about twelve years old, we went out crabbing in the Chesapeake Bay. My grandfather's soft shell crab. More than sixty. Sandwich. This has the most uh, wow. important connection with myself the next dish was in fact made by a phenomenal elderly toothless lady mrs g high we were on a tiny boat on a floating fish market on the mekong delta in the middle of a monsoon in vietnam this bowl of hu chu mai a stunning mm. delicious slow cooked mm. pork noodle soup so is it like this, pho? It James, isn't, right? Those it doesn't look like pho noodles in there. Please, James, but it looks step fucking up. good. I come and taste all three Honestly, dishes. Honestly, where to begin? <laughs> so first, you need to try. I want to eat some game. pho. I mean, the creaminess mm -hmm. of the sea urchins, marred with that amazing saltiness of that Osseta caviar. It's like a roller coaster. Now you can try this. I know. Uh, oh. The crab between two slices of bread is just incredible. Incredible. It didn't look like he liked James, the sandwich. Jump in. Absolutely. Drink the broth the is mind blowing. Oh. It's oh. like an assault of flavor right away. Remember, James, you're not having dinner. You're creating a strategy to win this competition. Oh, I am. <laughs> what an amazing treat. He liked the soup. For your second advantage, you will now get to choose it looked so which good. one of these three dishes everybody out there Dude, yeah, I heard replicate. steak in Vietnam is like $2 USD or something. I think my it's like camera. really cheap or something. Which dish are you going to give to all four of your fellow competitors? I choose. Oh my god, yeah, choose the Vietnamese one. Chris, someone said Chrissy would do bad because she hates Asian food. Uh, <laughs> I like that. That's right, everybody. Not only did James gain immunity, he also got the chance to make a critical decision. In the pantry, we gave James the choice of three incredibly meaningful dishes. Meaningful because they were the greatest dishes that each one of us have ever eaten. The dish that James chose, that dish is my dish. Yay! The most amazing Vietnamese pork noodle broth. God. It's got the most ingredients. I'm it's the getting most complex. The broth tonight. is insane. Layering the flavors or maybe is going to be tomorrow. insane. I don't think anyone's going to replicate this. I still thing. have Before dim sum leftovers. Pantry, I'd like well, all we'll see. To come up here <laughs> and sample this incredible broth. There you go. Dive in. I'm terrified about the Vietnamese soup. Oh. And we have to recreate those flavor just tasting the dish. Gosh. Chrissy, what do you think of the broth? I have no idea, you know, what these flavors are that I'm tasting. I'm in big trouble. Trying the soup, you have to use your palate to the extreme to figure out what spices in there. If you forget one thing, you could be screwed. Excited? Yes, yes. chef. No. <laughs> you want to go home? I, I, I don't know how to make Chrissy, this food. you just tasted it. Use your brain. I, I am. Cook. Figure it out. I'm really nervous. Doesn't good pho okay, you will all have five take minutes like in the overnight? To gather everything you need. Because like, to if you want to make the broth dish. taste really if good, you, you anything, like. As always, you can't go back. You make sure put the actual good. meat inside of the broth. Like yeah, it takes memory. like a really long Don't time, right? Leave me disappointed. The 75 minutes starts 
Yeah, I don't know how to make no. uh, Like, I would say I want to make it, but I don't know how to stream eight hours of me just in waiting for my bra. It's really a very tough moment because Hello. you need to Dingled. go. Hello. Thank you for the prime. The flavors Thank that you. you put in your mouth and make sure that I can put these flavors together. Do not make pho at home. <gasps> okay. Yeah, I don't want to burn so I'm in the, the pantry, place down. And I noticed that everybody kind of has the same things in their basket. So I felt like. I cheated on a test in high school or something, but I have to. I got to keep myself alive. Nice. Wow. Good. What could be the most fundamental error a home cook is making now in the beginning of this soup? Where it becomes so spicy, you can't identify the sweetness, the sourness, and those vegetables. And if that spice kills that pork butt, you're in danger. The secret tonight is how they infuse that stock, how you blend those spices. That's why you never season this thing at the beginning. It's done through moments. The minute you ignore it for 15 minutes, you've got a completely different profile. I love soup. I love soup. I love soup. I'm looking over my basket. I'm looking all over soup. and I don't have garlic. I garlic is extremely so crucial for this dish. I'm pretty much screwed at this moment. I know that Luca has garlic looking behind me, but we don't care for each other one bit. He's my biggest rival. So dare I ask him? Luca, can I use some garlic? Oh. Um. What's he going to say? Oh, shit. I think Luca will say yes. Luca, can I use some garlic? Uh. Thank you very much. Natasha asked me for some garlic. Why should I not give it to Natasha? That's not the way I am. You're a good boy, That's Luca. Not the way I want You're a to good win. boy. Natasha forgot garlic. It would be really hard to ever come back from that. She asked Luca, and Luca just handed it over to her. He may live to regret that. No. I think he would regret not giving it to her. I know how to make soup. I've just That's never just done with these flavors. That's just how good conscious so works. I'm going to do my best. I'm definitely not giving up. Someone's going home, and in a perfect world, Natasha would go home. While they're down there cooking away, I'm already in the top four, so my confidence level's going through the roof. Professionally, I'd like to see Luca leave. <laughs> what are he's you the best doing? Down there. Personally, I'd like to see Natasha leave. I, if what I did that mean? One of those today, I consider it a victory. I'm gonna do that to well, my Natasha. haters next yes, time. How are you feeling? I'm okay. That smells nice. What have we got in there? Um, I've got some ginger, some star anise, some cinnamon. If you see me doing cloves. this, you that know. That smells delicious. Get that in two or three pans, start reducing that down so you can gain time rather than lose time. Yes, chef. Okay, good luck. Yes, chef. Luca, what's in this pan? Cinnamon, star anise, black pepper corns. I didn't season it yet because I know they're reducing it. Why don't you put salt in it? What's the matter with you? Okay, I'm putting the salt. Then you're gonna tell me it's too salty. I don't want without salt. salt. I oh. want it to be the right amount. I know. Salt <laughs> is like a magnifying glass. Okay. Flavor. They're like okay. brothers. Right. You care for the garlic? Yes. What's the matter with it? If I go home tonight, it's not gonna be. Yeah, look, I gave okay, it I put the salt in. You now sure? you're gonna Honestly, say it's too salty. I don't salty. Really care what the other people are <laughs> going to do. I just want to do uh, the best dish over here. I like brothers. Myself, <laughs> go up there and relax. Good luck, Luca. Thank you. What's the matter with you? Oh. I just well, love it. I'm doing my best, chef. What have you done with the pork? I seared it off, and um, it is in the pressure cooker. Do you think you can nail this? Try my best here. <laughs> when you come across something that you don't like, why turn your nose up at something so delicious? No, I didn't turn my nose up. I was. Afraid of it. <laughs> You're good out of your comfort zone. Stop doubting yourself. <laughs> so adapt. You'll surprise yourself. Okay? Got it. Come on. I want some spice. Jesse, how are you? Hey, doing? chef. Doing good? Does this dish scream social circle or what? Not at all. This is your broth right here? Mm -hmm. Not very much of it. I know. There's not very, very much. Why is it so acidic? Do you already have the I lime? I just squeezed some lime in there right before. Remember, lime is it's just like when you're cooking a piece of fish. Last second, just to brighten it up. The more it cooks, it's brighten. Really bitter. Gotcha. Good luck. My favorite word it in this show. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. When they incredible. describe acidity with bright, like they I say mean, bright. Oh, I don't know why. Two pans on with the broth. 
One it's that's a so natural broth, one that's already a fragrant broth, and she's producing and adding all the time. Hello. Almost like a risotto every time. Mm -hmm. It's ladle. Mars. Mm -hmm. Hello. Thank you for Georgia. the prime. None of these flavors Welcome. are there, but she's always on this boat, right? Yeah. She's stewarding it. Yeah. And you're going to run the Caribbean. You've got all those sure. spices, chili, cilantro, a lot yeah. of those herbs that yeah. are in there, right? Chris's tastes nice. Yeah. It's got that hearty flavor. Mm -hmm. My it's ears, no like, yet. perk no up. There, like, I'll, nice I won't be paying there. attention or zone out, out and then I hear the them say bright, and I'm like, you <gasps> just take the Asian version of the chicken stock, you can turn the soup into something that's good. You understand how to extract flavor. It's very difficult to judge, though, because with so many different stock pots, the formula that comes together at the last minute when they serve it to us is the one we do. Potion. James, from up there, who is looking good right now? I think out of everybody, uh, Luca's looking the best. Yum, 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 yum. 90 seconds to go. Come on. Ah, that does look like pho. Start assembling that amazing dish. I've never had Taste like bok choy. In my Ten, fuss, so I nine, guess it's not. Eight, seven, six, five, mm. four, three, two, one, stop. Hands in the air. Wow. Really? I love that soup. Was a tough dish to replicate. Okay, first up, Natasha, let's go, please. It looks like it's in well. Proportion as far as the vegetable, noodle, pork, maybe a little more pork, but I like the color that you got on it. You seared it mm -hmm. all the way around before putting it in. Yep, all the way around. Yum, the yum, broth yum, is yum, yum, yum. a little sweet for me. Oh. Everything else is great. That pork shoulder, the braise, all the vegetables, everything's in proportion. But that broth yeah. <laughs> that should be the star, it's, it's kind of like a supporting role. Okay. But I think that overall, everything in here cooked perfectly. The flavors are all there. Good job. Pork is delicious. It's cooked beautifully. Did you add any of the pork juices into your broth? I added just a couple tablespoons. It's slightly missing on that sourness, just to sort of balance that sweetness, that caramelized sort of stock. However, you've got the right balance of the pork to the noodles. Vegetables, stunning. It's good. It's very good. Thank you. It has good depth of flavor, but did you not have any salt? I feel like I'm going cross eyed no, sometimes. I did. Why didn't you put any in here? I put salt. tired. I just didn't put enough. The lack of salt makes it taste sweeter than it even is. Yeah. I applaud the effort. The dish is good. But is it good enough to keep you in the competition? I'm not ready to leave this competition. Natasha's dish looks pretty good. I think the judges are like on the fence, but at this point, everyone is a great cook. And right now, there's a good chance she could go home. I applaud the effort. The dish is good. But is it good enough to keep you in the competition? I'm not ready to leave this competition. Thank you, Natasha. Master Chef Junior Series premieres. All right, next up, please. Wow, Luca. I just saw the ad for it. It's a sign. Maybe that's why they brought their kids. It's like the perfect way. It's like, you like this content? Well, Thanks. don't worry. We have Master Chef Junior. That's perfect. That's nice sear on the pork. Aww. Everything's in proportion. The flavor overall, it's got the heat from the chili, the underlying spice that you've toasted off there. Um, and I love the, the herbaceous notes. Yay! The basil, uh, we love to see it's, it. It's amazing to see how much you are learning and taking that and gaining confidence along the way. Thank you. And you're getting into a rhythm. We and you're freaking to love and kind Luca. Of and taste and go. And you are in the zone. This is really good. This is a great dish. You should be really, really proud. Good job. Thank you. Mm. Oh, 
twice. See, this is so close. He went twice. That amazing, salty, he went sweet, spicy, twice. delicious broth. Honestly, just That's a lot. takes me back to that boat in Vietnam. Mind blown. Wow. The smell is incredible. I love the energy that you put into it. You are really seriously hitting the mark. Great job. Thank you. Seriously. I'm so happy oh. for him. If anyone talks shit, Next, you are like on my try. hit list. Jesse, please. I'm serious. This looks like a beautiful soup. Thank you. The broth itself is beautiful, bright oh. thickness. This has depth in spades. It's very complex. It's layered. Depth it's really good. in the spades. I did taste the soup, the Gordon wow. And in my opinion, what that this is very damn close to that soup. Delicious. Yeah. It's fragrant. It's spicy. But it's got that crunch because the vegetables are raw. If there's one thing I'd like to kick back on, it's the sourness. The lime should be at the end. However, it's a bloody good effort. I just love the way you fight back every time. Every challenge, you're nailing it. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Not bad. Luca definitely won this challenge. Right, next up, please. Chrissy. Or I don't particularly enjoy Asian food. I've never been so intimidated yeah, or nervous. You said that a lot. I really tried. You said that a lot, um, Chrissy. I think I did all right. Oh, you got everything in there. Chilies, cilantro, basil, lime, carrots, bamboo. I didn't think you were going to get all in there. So, not a big fan of Vietnamese food or just not exposed to it I as much. I've never been exposed to it. Okay, then just say that instead of saying you hate Asian food. The flavors are all there. The Just say you just haven't had it and it's fine. I wish that it was a little God, I more hate stuff concentrated. You just in haven't flavor, had. It's weird. But I think that overall, everything in weird. here is cooked perfectly, and everything else is equally balanced, and it's a very valiant effort. Good job. Thanks. It has a lot of heat. I get like a spice on the outside of my tongue, on the front palate immediately. But ultimately, it's very complex. It's layered. It has a lot of flavoring in the broth itself. I think it's a good effort. I think it's kind of indicative of your trajectory and your journey here. Yes, you're trying. Are you hitting it on all levels? No. But this is a pretty impressive effort. Hello. Thanks. Seraph MPK, thank you for the two months. Um, I love Luca and I love you know, Jesse. Those are my slightly lighter in color. I want those in the finale. Less fragrant those I'd in the finale. Slightly too spicy, but the foundation's there. So have you ever Jesse thought about and Luca. the biggest problem in your cooking? This is Luminosity X Choco Bars, bro. It's you. Break down. We the will be in the three so months. Hello, welcome about, back. Thank for you. Me, I'm gonna stick to my comfort food in Philly. I don't Get know if that. I could do the and finale today. The You'll surprise yourself because you can cook. That is a good effort. Still four Thank more you. episodes and it's getting kind of late. Mind blown. All of you. Because and I kind of want to go and eat some pho before any pho places pho close. Oh, ye TV thing the five months. Welcome back. Thank Therefore, you. Therefore, we need a minute. Please. Damn, yeah, so next time for sure. So I have a lot of fun tough. stuff coming up for stream. I'll tell you guys after this episode. On the dish. Yeah, that's good. Really we all did, and we should all be proud of ourselves. Please let Natasha go home. It's time. Natasha's knife skills and vegetables were great. Yeah. They look well, just a lot fresh. of games with friends. Too much time being technical. Right. Wednesday and Thursday. They liked everyone's dish. The smallest little mistake could send someone packing. Anyone could go home today. Yeah, tough, very, very tough, especially when it gets down to this floor. Yeah, no stream tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sad. It was I always book a lot of things on Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. So it's hard for me to reschedule it. 
the better he got. It was so, so close. Really. I mean, you know, not a clear worse. Right. There's not any yeah, tough, very, very tough, especially when he gets down to this four. The judges like everyone's dish. And I'm kind of looking around, and I'm realizing, I'm like, I have no idea who could go home from this. Jesse, Chrissy, Luca, Natasha, please come down to the front. Jesse, Luca, please step forward. They're safe, my two Both favorites. Did an amazing job. Two Go upstairs. Very delicious dishes that were millimeters off the mark of what I experienced in Vietnam. We have to pick a winner. Luca, congratulations. Thank you. On the best dish of the night. Aww. Both you, congratulations. Thank you. You're in the top four. Yeah. Well done. My face! You know, as much as I don't get along with Chrissy and there's things that I can't stand about her, I feel as though deep down in my heart that we just don't deserve to go home. Natasha, Chrissy. Again, and who goes two home? Strong performances. That was an extraordinary I don't know who challenge. goes home here, you actually. Both came up with stunning dishes. This is where it's very hard for us. But we have to make a very tough decision. Damn. I would have never Natasha, thought these two would be like in the dream. bottom two. Wow, well, there's on so many occasions. You have I can't. I don't know the script for this one. To cook like a professional chef. Yeah, I mean, Chrissy. I'm hoping it's Chrissy. You've been in all the pressure tests. Yeah, she's Yet won zero. Back. Oh my if god. If anyone confirms food's about an emotional journey, you're the one. This is one of the most difficult decisions we've ever had to make. Chrissy. You're going upstairs. You're <gasps> safe. Please, join the rest. I'm sorry. Diego, guess what? Wow. <laughs> okay, like I can't believe it. Natasha, Natasha is such a great cook. Tonight was an extraordinary challenge. Like I'm and also, I don't what agree an with this performance. So like, I don't like them both, so but like Chrissy has won zero great team dish. challenges. Oh, uh, Natasha. Tell me they both this stay. This is just way too close to call. She goes upstairs. You are joining everybody else on the balcony <gasps> because you do not deserve to go. Okay, home. good, because I was like, <laughs> what? I am sorry. Oh my the god. Dish was that good, and we cannot split. The performance that all of you put in tonight, it was that Yeah, close. I, I like, good. thought so too. Like, I was, what? Is there someone spoiling in chat? I actually it's didn't read it. It's challenging to put aside my family and focus on something other than them. But I didn't read it, thank God. Absolutely, same with the four months. So welcome back, it. thank it's you. Bring me their head! Really That's all I want Bring me their head. That is the first time in the history of this competition that we cannot decide Up with their who head. put out the weakest dish this evening. All of you pulled off a virtual miracle. Get some rest because next time you see us, if you thought that was pressure, we've just gone up to a different level. You big level. softy, me? Good night. Yes, I'm telling you not feel sad for this. Like, I, like fuck, they're competing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna play ads. Um, I'm just gonna rest of the stream, talk a bit. Um, Archangel Arroyo, think of this sub. I'm pretty. Man. I'm gonna leave the red. Wait, one, two, three, four episodes for another day. Um, but I'm done watching for today. Um, I'll be more energized next time.
I'll try. Oh, oh, oh. My mod said, reminder, Master Chef Vaz will be deleted after 48 hours. So that's two days from now. And clips will be deleted tomorrow at midnight PDT as well. Just to stay safe on Twitch or whatever, you know. So, yeah. Um, Tuesdays are usually my days off, but yeah. Sorry about that. But on Wednesday, I am playing... Okay, so I, I am playing... Dread Hunger with Steven, Subdick, Josh, LM, Koji, DK, and 5up. They did ask Kimi and Hafu, but they haven't replied, so I don't know if they're going to join. But that's Wednesday morning. We haven't decided if it's going to be at 8 a.m. or 9 a.m., so one, early in the morning. And then, I'm really excited to play with them again, because I haven't hung out with them in a long time. And then at 12 p.m., I have a Valorant lobby that day. Um, so after Dread Hunger, I have a Valorant lobby with... Peter, Ray, Ryan, Wendy, me. And then, uh, yeah, that should be like a seven hour stream or something. Who knows? But it'll be a pretty fun day. I'm excited to play video games. Um, and then Thursday, um, I'm playing Muck with... Well, let me find the names. It's at 11 a.m. on Thursday. Muck with Leslie, Abe, Ryan, me, Wendy, five people, 11 a.m. Thursday. And then we're going to switch to Valorant as well after. So that's what we're doing on Thursday. And then I have nothing planned on Friday. So I'm willing to promise a Master Chef and watch end of season four kind of thing on Friday if we want to do that. MC again on Monday next week. No, I could do it sooner. I try to like just plan around. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm thinking of that. So like games, games, and then MC again. So I kind of like it. A good balance. So that's my plan. I'm really excited to be back and I'm really excited to game and stuff. I like started watching MasterChef because my computer couldn't handle video games. But then I got my new PC and I kind of got addicted to Master Chef. So, yeah. <laughs> but I'm trying to gain more, but this is really fun to watch. <laughs> yeah, like I, it just happened like this. No, 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 I'm not taking Sunday off. Why? 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 Why'd you ask Sunday? It's such a specific day. What's on Sunday? Eighth? I don't think I'm taking it off. Is there something on a Sunday? Why you skip Saturday? It's my birthday. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no plans on taking Sunday off. I got worried. Is stream schedule getting posted anywhere? No. Unfortunately not. But yeah. I'm super excited for everything. Yeah. Ah, no, I sorry. I was just worried that like it was something important. Like I had something scheduled or something. I don't know why. Oh no, don't worry. I'm such a worrier. Sure, yeah, Keone, you can put the stream schedules in Discord if you want. I dude, Keone does so much for me. Literally. Like I am so lazy. Sometimes I'm just like just watch it and remember it. Because sometimes, as soon as I turn off my stream, I kind of like, I'm pretty hands off of my PC. Like, I leave. <laughs> and try to like, disconnect myself and relax and stuff. Because my brain is always still buzzing sometimes. Oh yeah, it's super late. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you. Yeah, I love you guys. Well, Hazel loves sleeping outside. And I don't know why. Hello. My couch is really comfy. Beho, thank you for the 17 months. Welcome back. Also, like her food bowls out there, and so is her pooper. So, yeah. She just doesn't really like sleeping in here as much. She has an automatic feeder, and it's outside. So I think she just likes sleeping near it for when, it, when it's like the feeder time to like give her food or whatever. 
So she just sleeps and then she listens to it. I recorded like a, it, you can record a voice and it's, hey, so food. That's what it says. And then she hears it and then she like quickly goes to it when she hears it. It's really cute. Yeah, she like camps it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Was it a sub that said that? How dare they? Oh, sub mode was off. Dude, why do non-subs have to be so evil? Bad boy. Bad girl. Bad whatever pronoun. Evil. All right. Longest goodbye ever, but it was lovely talking to you guys and hanging out with you guys. Love you guys so much. Um. Yeah. Love you guys. I'll see you guys Wednesday. Maybe a surprise Tuesday stream. Well, I feel bad streaming on a Tuesday, especially if I watch MasterChef. Because then it's kind of like, people really look forward to these. So I will stick to Fridays. Like I will stick to like fully scheduled MasterChef ones since I know I delete VODs and stuff now. Anyways, have a good one. Thank you. Goodbye. Ah!